jewellery makers, how are we all? Are you feeling summer vibes today? I'm definitely getting summer vibes. The sun's out. The sun's out! Hooray! And look who's with me today. Yes. You look very summery as well. Thank you very much. I'm being a bit floral. Very nice. Very nice. How are you doing, lovely? I am well, thank you. Oh, listen to Adam swooning. <laughs> <laughs> Not swooning, that's the, that's the wrong word. <laughs> complimenting. What would be the word that you'd say for, for, for complimenting? No, that, it's not <laughs> sneaky. It's not sneaky. It was tiny bit creepy. <laughs> uh, lovely Adam trying to be nice. <laughs> Ross just tears him down. Tears him down. <laughs> How are you doing, lovely? I am very well, thank uh, first you. First, the apologies that I missed our last are show. Are you better now? I'm much better now. Oh, much, much, much better. And I got to see Bella as well this you morning, which always Bella. makes my day. Aww. Lovely Bella, who's about to celebrate her birthday. She is. She's going to be nine I can't when? believe it 12th on 12th the 12th June. yeah I love that, that that you said to me that Bella's last birthday she had a pool party she did have a pool party she officially has a better party than my kids do she gets ruined <laughs> <laughs> she works hard for it then. yeah that, yeah bless her let's talk about your kits because your jewelry is amazing Thank as always you. what have you got coming up at nine we have got sterling silver clasps and they are gorgeous so the amethyst and the tanzanite come you get spacer beads you get your sterling gem set little hook clasp they're yeah. beautiful oh wow so you get all your spacer beads you as get, well you get loads and loads so oh, okay i actually had so many that i'd finished making my jewelry projects and i made a hairpin as well as well yeah. just because you could just because i had just a bunch you could. of them left and and we're all very excited about your 12 o'clock as well yeah. because uh, a nod towards your of course van cleef and arpels yes. alhambra but these are let's just say taking it up a notch from the special. ones that you've seen previously yeah we've got diamond pegs with them wow they're gorgeous just i don't know if you could make the clover any more special why not stick a diamond yeah. in the middle well, of it well this, is, well this is what van cleef do as well mm. they've got some which are diamond encrusted Gorgeous. um so beautiful so they're launching jewelry makers at 12 o'clock of course with our lovely carol so we're just a bit excited about we those are a bit projects giddy, yep. um not only that jewelry makers if you are a pearl lover which i think you know that carol and i definitely are yeah. you are going to absolutely love your deal of the day your deal of the day is all about the queen of pearls south sea these were glowing when i came oh in my goodness morning. now we've got two different opportunities this one as you can imagine given the size of it is limited um ross is just saying Elle, I think that's the biggest pearl I have ever seen. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I would agree. That's got to be, what do you reckon, about 15 mil? They're huge and they're so, so lustrous. Yeah, this is South Sea. Gorgeous. South Sea pearl plus we have, you know when Dave went over to Geneva, he went over to hand select pearls. Mm. Well, he did very well, didn't he? He certainly did. So each and every single one of these pearls have been hand selected by Dave. Wow! But you can How, tell, can't yeah, you? you really can. You really can. And I would encourage you to sh have a look. Uh, if you're not on social media, um, sorry, if you are on social media, I would encourage you to follow Dave um, <laughs> because you actually see him at the location at South Sea, and you actually see like a tiger shark sort of surface wow. to the. Yeah, he was. He was about to go in for a swim. <laughs> And they were like, no, 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 don't do that. Not right now. Don't do that. Don't do that. And just and he's like, let me show you why. They go down to the kitchen, get a joint of meat out, hook it, throw it over the side, and a shark comes up. Oh my god! So he's like, no, no, you don't go swimming in these waters. <laughs> um, yeah, perilous. Um, but look <laughs> at the quality of that amazing South Sea pearl, hand selected by the wonderful Dave Trough. Um, so crazy. this is all happening at 10 o'clock today. If you are a pearl lover, then you do not want to go anywhere because it's going to be absolutely amazing. And South Sea, we all know, is creme de la creme. Yep. It's the best of the best. Top of the top. Top of the top. It, there is no better than South Sea pearls. Um, to say that we can actually, Dave's going to be bringing it to you at an achievable price tag as well. So that, I mean, that's so exciting. Um, in the world of pearls, there is no finer. 
than what you're seeing today. Um, not only that, you've also got, I only spoke about it yesterday, your early bird this morning. Take a little look at the rundown. Eight o'clock, and I literally mentioned it to Debs yesterday. I was like, oh, we need more tassel caps. Didn't I say that? Unbeknown to me, Is it we've got magic? tassel caps. This is your <laughs> early bird this morning. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> literally, I had no idea that we had tassel caps today. Um, and my goodness me, aren't they amazing? And that then prompted me last night to do a bit of research on tassels. Tassels? Been found in Tutankhamun's tomb. No, wow. I'm not joking. I don't joke. They date back thousands of years. King Toot loved a tassel. <laughs> he did indeed. <laughs> so it's not just the Roaring Twenties. It dates right back um, to King Toot. Um, so we've got those in different colours as well. I've got them in yellow, gold, and in the silver. So you can shop ahead on those, which I can already see you are doing, Jewelry Makers. And you do get all three, three different designs. Um, how are we doing in stock levels on those, Roscoe? Have we got quantity? Um, hang on. I can... 200 of the silver, Ooh. 80 of the gold. So I, I think they'll sell out though because they're going to an yeah. absolutely amazing price. Plus we've got loads of other uh, amazing early bird deals. Nine o'clock is your S-Class that uh, Carol was just showing us. They're fabulous jewelry, of course. 10 o'clock is all about your South Sea pearls, which are crazily beautiful. 11 o'clock, we've got an hour of premieres. I'm excited about this. It's a very good day. Yes. A very, very good day. And then 12 o'clock is all about your diamond drilled clovers. Yay. <clears throat> Alhambra much. Uh -hum. Um <laughs> So it is going to be super special. If you've got any plans and you can, scrap them. Cancel everything. Stay yeah, with us. Scrap them. Look Stay at with pretty us. things. Yeah. It's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> right. Should we get cracking? <laughs> No, no, we'll just chat for a little bit. Just have a gossip. Just have a little gossip for a little <laughs> bit while we wait to wait for Roscoe. Um, has he gone to make his morning brew or something? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, he's chatting to Dave. And we've got some jade in the nine o'clock hour. Oh, lovely. Have we? We've also got the very last opportunities of... Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. <laughs> We've got the very last of this amazing collection, which I know that you've worked with, Carol. I've bought these. They're they amazing, are aren't dreamy. they? dreamy. Yep. You've got the matching earrings to go along that beautiful strand. Um, yes, the illusion carving. We have the final opportunities of these as well. I've not seen the peacock before. This is so clever. It blows my mind, yeah. doesn't it? It blows my mind. That detailing to get without actually cutting any carrot weight I away. I know, it's remarkable. It's amazing. Right then, should we get cracking? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Chrysoprase in a pendant. Oh, it's lovely. I love Chrysoprase, like chocolate limes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't get them anymore, do you? Don't get traditional sweet shops anymore. <laughs> Think... well, they weigh it out for you in yeah. the, the little scale. And I always used to, like, see, as a child, I'd be like, oh, if I go for the cinder toffee, I get lots. Get more. Yeah, <laughs> because that's really light. Um, look at that beautiful chrysoprase. Oh, you've got pretty. your perfect pendant, charm, earrings, whichever you want to be. Now, Carol, I don't know if you recall, but um, we like to start the show a certain way. Mm-hmm. In fact, <laughs> when the graphics appear, you're going to get a minute. It is that bananas. Graphics are live. Here we go. It's a pearls. That's how we like to start the show. Oh, they've sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Bonkers. Gosh. Well done. Don't you worry, though. Don't you worry. Golden Sheen Obsidian Central Drills. Yes, coins. Yes, yes, I've got them. You're not. You're not. Here we go. Golden Sheen Obsidian. So forms from volcanic glass. Those are twinkly. They're beautiful, aren't they? Aren't they? Phone lines have lit up already. Well done. You're up and at it this Sunday morning, aren't you? Everybody's very keen this morning. Well, that's 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 the best way. Yes. I get more get done in, in the morning. Yeah. I'm far more productive in the morning than I am in the evening. Mm. Then I'm just a bit like a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, you get deals like this, don't you? It's a burned. Uh, it's sold out. Sorry. Well done. Shall we do some... Oh, yeah, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And you get the box. 
boxes. Don't forget that. Aww. A pair of beautiful Broncharonix. Look at that translucency. That's what really put this on the map. Um, you're already there. Well done. You know how this works. They'd make beautiful studs, those, wouldn't they? Oh, very Study nice. Earrings. Um, Broncharonix, totally natural onyx for a pound. We all know that's wrong, don't we? That can't be right. No. <laughs> No, it's it's not right. Well, it is right, but it's not. Yeah, fill your boots. Fill your boots. <laughs> uh, Dawn, Paula, Natalie. Uh, it's so wrong. It's right. <laughs> Chantal, Natalie. I did repeat that. Rachel. Uh, hello to Eugene and Dawn and Aisha. <laughs> Hertfordshire and Karen and Manchester. Oh, I've already. I can already tell it's going to be one of those shows. I think we've all, we're all just a bit energised. It's like we had a. Re did you all have a good night's sleep? Yeah, that might be it. I know Ross. Did. He pretty much slept for the duration, <laughs> didn't you, Ross? When you got home, you needed it though. He woke. He went home, went to bed, woke up at six, had dinner. Did you go back to bed then? You were up till about twelve. Yeah, I had a little nana nap yesterday as well. <laughs> I love a nana nap. I do. I think naps are good for your soul. They're, they're good for your health as well. Mm. That's what. That's what. How I pitch it to my husband. <laughs> I'm not just having a lie down, darling. It's for my health. Yeah, yeah. So I got home. I was like, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. And he just sat on the sofa. And I was like, if I just do this face. <laughs> he was like, Elle, just go for a nap. <laughs> yes, okay. Off, Off I, I go. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, wire end tips in a box. Oh, Ooh, these are essentials. They are. Can you see them if I do that? So they look like little earphones, don't they, with wiring tips? Um, if you not with silk, I would say they're an absolute must. Yes, and I've used some with my silver clasps that are coming up as oh, well. Oh, have you? Yes, yeah, so if you want these projects, those will also be useful. Yeah, because they add longevity to your jewellery, as they well do. as being aesthetic. And they, they look really professional. Yeah. And if you're having a clasp that's at the front, because it's pretty and gem set, then yeah. you want a really professional attachment Finished, for rather it. than having exposed silk yeah, or beading exactly. thread. So basically the beading thread follows round the wire guardian does that make sense so through the one side through the gully and out the other yeah um and it stops it rubbing we now we've only got 12 of these so you will need to be quite quick ah oh, michael's on it thanks michael did you have a good night's sleep last night michael uh, five hours yeah five hours five oh god hours? i could i wouldn't so. i wouldn't be here if i no, got five I'd hours be a sleep. Mess. <laughs> <laughs> no i need more than five hours oh, i do um that's a wire guardian can you see there See the thread going through it? There you go. It just means that you're not it's not rubbing against any um any metal. It also looks that much neater and tidier. Um only have 12 available. 10 now, and you get them in three different sizes in your sterling silver. Nine now, they're flying. Yeah, because they're essentials, aren't they? That's one pound per Y Guardian. Wow. Should we chop that price in half, Carol? <gasps> yes, let's. Shall we? And then add a purple clock. Oh, yeah. I have to be really careful saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I have tripped up on it before, and it was noticed by our viewers. I'm, I'm sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> I would notice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. We're going even lower, <laughs> jewellery bacon. I think I am in a mischievous mood why today. Why are you? I don't know why. She's misbehaving. Watch out. Everybody. Too much sleep, baby. Well, maybe maybe that's what it too is. much napping. <laughs> <laughs> 24 It's already amazing. I only have 12. And if everyone checks out, we've sold out. Not even 19 pounds 99 wow. pence and they are solid sterling silver as well jewelry makers in three different sizes because it's about balance as well isn't it and you need different sizes because your clasps and things you're attaching to will come with different size jump rings and, and attachments so you know some won't fit through one clasp but they're perfect for another yeah yeah and you don't want a big bulky one if you're making a dainty bracelet no, no. you know you've got to have that it's got, yeah, to, be it's got to be aesthetically pleasing there you go <laughs> um but there's only 12 or rather i should say were Lincolnshire's got two. You get it in the little box as well, which I think is very handy. Uh, Gloucestershire, Elaine, Fife, Natalie, hello to you, David, Carol, Linda, Lorna, Gloucestershire, Doreen, Paula, Angela, and Mirtha. Mirtha, if you want those six, oh, in fact, I don't think I've got six, Mirtha. 
Um, but yeah, check out as many as you can. Good luck, everybody. And get your messages in as well. We'd love to hear from you. We were saying after the show yesterday just how naughty, um, no, unintentionally, I need to point out, <laughs> our Debs was. <gasps> was she? Well, she was kind of, yeah, she, there was a, there was, there was a few innuendos in there. <laughs> Unintentional, though, wasn't it? It was quite... It was quite oh, funny. I know, I know. Um, I thought Linda took the biscuit on that one, but no, I think Debs did yesterday. <laughs> Do I know what today is? National Day. Ooh. What, no? <laughs> National Donald Duck Day. Is that of a all thing? the things I was expecting <laughs> you to say, that wasn't one of them. No, I wasn't expecting that. Me? I can't do a Donald Duck impression. I reckon if I did, I'd probably spit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck. I have to say, he's he's probably one of my... Is he 90 years old? No. Today. <gasps> so, how old's Mickey? Ancient. Mickey, yeah. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey and Minnie. Mickey's the original, though, oh, isn't Yeah, he? did Minnie come along later? Yeah. I think so. Um... Can we Google how old Mickey Mouse is? I went um, um, years and years and years ago. I went on a, a, a cruise ship. I loved it as well. I was totally on the fence whether I'd enjoy it, but it was amazing. I think it looks great. Um, and they did like art galleries and things. And one of the, um, uh, there he is, National Donald Duck Day, June the 9th. <laughs> there he is. I uh, can't really see it. Um, but yeah, they had like the some of the original. I can't remember what they call that. Like, the drawings. Oh yeah. Um, it's only about this big, but I've got one of the Fantasia little little really? Mickey Mouse original paintings. Aww. It's cool, isn't it? I'm sure it's not worth anything. I don't know. I might be. I don't know. I don't know. Might but be it's only about that fortune. big. But literally one of the original Aww, paintings. How lovely. I bought it off a cruise liner because I thought it was really cool. I wasn't interested in all the other art. I just wanted you Minnie just Mouse. just wanted Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on those. Yeah, we have lots of national, like it was, wasn't it, wasn't it? I don't know if it's social media, though. National Door Today. Mickey Mouse is 94. Aww. Oh, he's looking good, isn't he? He's looking all right on it. Yeah. How old's Minnie? Yeah. She's definitely younger. No, Minnie's much no, younger. No, I think Minnie came along later. Do you reckon? She's a style icon, isn't she? She is Minnie Mouse, yeah, mm. absolutely. Who's your favourite then? Who's your favourite Disney character? That's impossible. Mm. Who's yours? Um, Pascal. Is Minnie the same? <laughs> there you go, they're the same age. They were in school together. Things you didn't know um, you Pascal today. <laughs> of Tangled. I like Pascal. Oh. The little gecko. Aww. Is he a gecko? Chameleon. Yeah, I like him. I don't know, text that, him. That little squirrel in Ice Age. Yeah, he's was, good too. Yeah. yeah, I feel sorry for him. Yeah. Just go, let him get the nuts. chasing his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's our texting topic, Roscoe. There we go. Who's our favourite? Who's your favourite, Ross? Disney character. I think all animations. So yeah. let's include Pixar and, and Warner Brothers. Mike Rosowski. Yeah, he is good. He is good. I'm always watching. <laughs> um, also, I could get on board with this one. National Rhubarb Strawberry Pie Day. Is that even a thing? I mean, it sounds delicious. I can get on board with that. I like a strawberry crumble. Ooh. Mm. I, love, I like a rhubarb crumble. Now, I'm going strawberry and rhubarb picking next weekend. Are you? Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love doing it. And I always <laughs> buy far too much. I always pick far too much rhubarb. Um, so I end up making rhubarb crumbles for the neighbours. Aww. Um, it's also National mm. Meal Prep Day. That's not a thing. What? You've made that up. <laughs> what? No. No, no that's no. rubbish. Just <laughs> National Cook Day. Prep your rhubarb and strawberry pie, but yeah. don't eat it because you're only prepping it. <laughs> it's only prepping it. it. You're only... Wait. No. <laughs> National meal prep day. No. That's not real, surely. <laughs> no, I don't like that one. Don't like that one. But definitely the strhubarb. Uh, strhubarb. Strawberry and rhubarb <laughs> I can get on board with. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, Adam, I'll make you a rhubarb crumble. 
Do you? I mean, do you like them, Ross? Do you like rhubarb? You don't like rhubarb. It's one of those you either love it or hate it. I'm not a fan. Are you not? No. I love it. I love it. Do you like rhubarb? You've never had rhubarb, Jimmy. What? We've got Jimmy with us today as well. Yay! <laughs> Jimmy's on camera. Oh, Jimmy, if I could guarantee that you'd be in next week, I'd make you a rhubarb crumble. Thursday and Friday. Here? Yeah. I'll make you a rhubarb crumble. <laughs> oh, hang on. Deal. What, next Thursday? Yeah. No, but I'd go with the weekend. So it would have to be the week after that. Friday? <laughs> no, I'll go on You just plan your diaries, it's fine. I'll leave it in the freezer. <laughs> I'll freezer it for you. There you go. And you have to text me when you come in and you can try rhubarb crumble. You can't go through life without having rhubarb. <laughs> um, okay, moving on to you, a selection. Of slider bracelets, I do, yes. Oh, yes. I like a slider bracelet. They've never been on air. They're brand new premieres. Um, okay, so can you see if I hold one, two, three. So you have amethyst, labradorite, and lapis lazuli. Very cool. Oh, they're nice heavy Those weight as well. Those are very pretty. Brand new premiere. They've never been on air previously before. Which one do you want to do first? Uh... Go on, Carol, you pick. Amethyst, did you say? Amethyst. Yeah. Let's do the amethyst first. Beautiful. Nice long length as well. Yes. Of a slider bracelet. They, seem, they appear to be a little bit longer than the usual I one. love that slider. Yeah, gorgeous. These are going to fly, says Ross. Oh, that's so pretty. Well, they are tassel-esque, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, first price crash. Are you ready? We've got 70 of each of them. And Ross is saying, launching today, I want them to be an, a sellout on the launch. Yep. I think they will as well. They're Beautiful. so pretty. You can turn those into necklaces as well. Yes. First price crash, $9.99. What? Yeah. <laughs> lovely. Silver plated, um, beautiful. You've got your lovely amethyst on the bottom there, of course, a birthstone. Um, they do feel like they're a longer length. So if you like your pronounced tassels, um, or or a larger bracelet then yes. this is going to be perfect for you we've got 70 available not nearly enough people on the phone lines if we're going to go as low as we want to in fact I think Ross is going to say another clock please yeah I thought so <laughs> thought so I know him that well now you do? yeah sliders are great aren't they because they just fit everybody they're easier to put on just great, great gift, great seller, yeah. aren't they? Don't you need to worry about size. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, well done. Thank you, David, for your trust. Yorkshire, Hilda, June, new customers. We're going to go lower. We've only got 70 of them. They're a brand new premiere opportunity. You have got quite an open link here. So I'm guessing, Carol, I yes. could easily embellish onto it if you I could. wanted to. In fact, in the nine o'clock kit, you get a lot of amethyst. Ah, if you wanted to add perfect. little charms to that, just some head pins. Tell you what, says Ross, I'm going to crash the price and then we're going to put another clock on our screens because we're going lower again. I think it's one of those scenarios, Roscoe, where people don't quite realise how low you're going. I mean, we're already at 7 99 which is madness considering that they're gem encrusted. Madness. Um, Dawn, Pauline, Elizabeth, new customers, Marilyn, hello to you all. Do get your text messages in. Come and say hello to us. Love to hear from you. Tell us what you're up to on this glorious Sunday. Oh, it's going to be glorious today. It is. It's nice. Very oh, nice. South Sea Pearls, anyone? The most oh. amazing South Sea Pearls. I can't take my eyes off those. No, nor me. <laughs> nor me. Good luck, everybody. Not seven ninety nine today. Six pounds ninety nine. Wow. For gem encrusted, For gem silver bracelet. plated. Yeah. yeah. You try and pop into any of your high street fashion shops. Oh, shop, you're going to pay so. much more than that. Yeah. Yeah. If you go into Claire's accessories, which I get dragged into quite a lot <laughs> with a seven-year-old and a three-year-old, um, mummy, can I have this? I'm like, no, look at the price of it. It's yeah. £20. And it's when I say costume, it's usually plastic. Yes. Usually plastic. Six ninety nine gets you precious metal plated slider bracelets with genuine gemstones. Uh, Irene, well done. Audrey's got three. Marilyn, well done. And also, if you know people that are February babies, and this is a perfect little gift, um, I'm going to leave that with you because we've got a few more to bring you. Shall we do the labradorite next? Oh, everybody loves these. Yeah, it's always a favourite, isn't it? Yeah, the shape of those drops is gorgeous as well. Very elegant. Mm. Here we go. So. 
Look at that. I'd wear it as a necklace, I think, Carol. Yeah, if you joined a few together. And I wonder if you could maybe stamp or embellish or... Perhaps, yes. F colour? Oh, yes. Maybe onto the actual slider detail if you want. And you know we're not stopping there. $29.99 is already absolutely amazing, but we're going even lower. Going even lower. Do you know, I think I would also get an extra one, cut off the tassels and have matching earrings. Oh, yes. Yeah, because you just have to put them on an ear wire, wouldn't you? Yeah. Good luck. Is there 70 of these as well? Six ninety-nine. Brilliant. Just it is, brilliant. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, what else can you get for that price? Not a great deal. Not much. You know, coffee and a cake. I paid six pound fifty for a sandwich this week. Did you? Yeah. Was it a good sandwich? It was a very good sandwich. I hope sandwich. it was a good sandwich. But you know, it's gone in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Less if it's me. Yes. Um, <laughs> That must have been a good sandwich. But this is a genuine gemstone, piece of jewellery. Yeah, you can um, forever. Yeah. Now, I tell you what, Ross is saying, I tell you what, these aren't, they're not going as fast as we thought. He says, I tell you what, we will take this under five pounds and we'll match the amethyst. So we'll bring wow. the amethyst back to air. And the lapis lazuli. But we do need to see you there if we're going to do that. We Basically, this is how shopping TV works. If we, if we know we're going to sell them out, then we will, of course, push those boundaries to the very lowest price. If we have to repeat it, then obviously that's more airtime, if mm. that makes sense. So we will take it under £5 if there's enough of you there, and we'll do the same on the amethyst. We'll replay the amethyst and the lapis lazuli that's coming up. But we need to see you there if you want it under £5, otherwise we can't do it. Under a fiver. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Is there enough people there? No way near, says Ross. <laughs> he says, <laughs> he says, I will close here, you know. He, he says, I will. He's not messing. He ain't messing. He doesn't joke, you know. Doesn't joke. <laughs> not when it comes to genuine gemstone and beautiful jewellery deals. Well, we know that's not true because Ross did stand up comedy, didn't you? <laughs> did stand up comedy. Yeah. Really? I wish, I wish I'd seen the stand up comedy. Adam, you went to see him, didn't you? That's I did. I, I, was, I was like, Ross, why didn't you tell me? Because I would have come and seen you. Yeah. And you were like, oh, I didn't get that invite, did I, Ross? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'm not, I'm not too offended. Secret it's comedian. okay. It was not before we worked together because I could remember <laughs> it happening. It was the night before you started with me. Really? Oh, okay. I'll let you off then. <laughs> I'll let you off then. Um, and Adam apparently invited himself. <laughs> Four ninety nine. So that means you can get all three jewelry makers for less than fifteen pounds. Wow! Imagine that. So that's just put them in your gift drawer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Just Instant because. Instant prezi. Yeah, I mean, you know, you take a bottle of wine round to a friend's, don't you? If yeah. you go for dinner or something like that, instead of a bottle of wine, take them a piece of jewelry. Yeah, beautiful. How amazing! Gem bracelet. A genuine gemstone bracelet. Amazing. I know. A fiver, four ninety nine. Well done. Lots of multi buyers on this. It's like you almost didn't believe him. <laughs> you didn't believe I him. Thought he was fibbing. Yeah, we we don't joke, you know. We can't. We can't say it and then not do no, it. No, that would be bad. That wouldn't be fair. Um, well done, everyone. Okay, let's do the amethyst because we've got to swap the price over. So it was meant to be. Well, it was meant to be more than more than what seven ninety nine was our target price, but you know. As lots of our regular viewers know, we don't listen to targets usually. <laughs> um, anyway, you've got a minute at this price, jewellery makers, and you've got about half hour left on this hour for all the items that we have brought you to uh, this uh, so far and are about to bring you, i.e. your early birds, don't forget those, your tassels, you get three different designs. Um, and you can get them in the gold plate or the silver plate. Um, lots of you getting involved. Love those beautiful little amethysts that will go perfectly with Carol's nine o'clock kits as well. So um, and the S clasps. Yes. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Have we got any text messages, Roscoe? Okay. At the end of the clock, we'll bring you messages to air. Are we talking about Disney characters? <laughs> There's a couple of Yay. the Disney characters. Because like, some people are really passionate about yes, Disney, aren't absolutely. they? Yes, um, absolutely. Flash the Sloth from Zootopia, naturally, says Rachel. Aww. I feel like I like, I love sloths. 
Did They'd you? be up there on my favourite animals. Really? Oh, I think they're so cute. They are cute. Really cute. Well, they've got big, big claws, though. Yeah, but, the, yeah, but they're, not, they're not harmful claws, are they? I mean, I think most claws are quite they harmful. They can climb trees with them. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Mickey Mouse was created on the 18th of November, 1928. Wow. Oh. So he's older then. He's 96 this year. Oh, bless. Mickey Mouse. Oh, love. He is, he's got to be up there, isn't he, Mickey? He's the yeah. original. Um, morning, Mary. Good morning, all. Alexa says Mickey Mouse is 95 and Minnie Mouse is 94. So somebody's got a bit mixed up. Oh. There we go. We've been misinforming people. Maybe. He's in his 90s. Let's just say that, shall we? He's a very old mouse. He's an old mouse. <laughs> He's an old mouse. Uh, hello, Miss Janet, saying hi, gorgeous girls and team jewelry maker. Yesterday was Dave Day in honour of Dave Myers. Oh, yes, the hairy biker. Have a great, uh, a bright and beautiful day. Yeah, wonderful. They did a big ride out for him. Oh, bless. Yeah, he's, again, a national treasure, wasn't mm, he? Absolutely. A national treasure. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely, Dave Myers. Um, okay, let's do the lapis lazuli. Excuse me putting that away. Sorry. <laughs> you know what's going to happen. We're going to go straight to the price. Blue gemstones are fascinating, aren't they? Is it your favourite? I don't know. I just think they're so unusual and they go with everything, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. You can see why they're, you know, they are still the most popular colour gemstone. Yeah. You can totally see why. And in the summer when you're wearing like, you know, your sort of sailor and nautical looks, yeah. they're just perfect. Yeah, especially in the summertime. Yeah. Um, four ninety nine. Sorry, I've got to repeat this. Adam just said I like. So we're all going for like sloth, Mickey Mouse, um, Pascal. Adam, director mm. Adam says I like Jafar from from Aladdin, the baddie. <laughs> he, he's a good character, but he can't be your favourite because he's the baddie. He's the baddie. Your favourite Star Wars character is Darth Vader. That's true. I can't tell you. You're right. <laughs> You're right. He's allowed to choose his own favourite. Jafar. He's a bit creepy, isn't he, Jafar? He is a good character. Who's your favourite, Carol? I don't know. Mm. What's your, who's your favourite, Jimmy? He said Aladdin, a boo. A boo. A boo is good. A boo is good. Yeah. <laughs> Michael? Yeah. What's your favourite Disney character? To be fair, going down Adam's route of thought, Scar yep. is pretty decent. Scar, Scar, brother. Scary. Help me. <laughs> yeah, he's a bad egg, he is. Scary. He's a bad egg. Do you notice when he, well, you know, have you noticed what happens to his brother? I mean, obviously he dies, but mm. have you noticed there's a twist, a, a really dark twist in Lion King? Because Scar... Scar, getting it mixed up. <laughs> Scar eats him. What? Yeah, because you know when they've got the, the, you know when he's got the little bird, what's it called? Mr. Bean character does the voice for it. Tazu, yeah. So you know when Tazu's in the cage, which isn't a cage, obviously. Zazu. Zazu. <laughs> <laughs> so when Zazu's in the cage and you see, um, and you see uh, Scar in his cave. Right. He's, he's like playing with a with a skull and it's a lion skull it's very dark that's extremely very, dark very very dark oh yeah my well, days. lots of disney films are quite dark aren't but they if you look at all the old fairy tales and stuff they all started off really evil and scary didn't yeah they? anyway <laughs> that took a turn <laughs> Oh, should we do some amazing pearls? Yes, yes, let's. let's do it. There's only four available. These are beautiful ripple pearls, which are one of the hottest trends in the pearl market right now, for obvious reasons. I mean, look at that. They're oh, absolutely gorgeous, those aren't are they? are just lovely. You get these wonderful little folds of nacre, which of course means that you get more luster yeah. um, in Catch your pearls. the light. Yeah, which is what you want in your cultured pearls. Of course, the more luster, the better the pearl is. Um, that's why South Sea is so highly regarded, because they have yeah. some of the high, uh, finest uh, luster. There's only four of these available. I mean, imagine that. Literally knotted Doesn't on a class. Need anything else. Nothing else it? needed. Just beautiful. Stunning. And they're pure, pure white. Yeah. I only have four, though. So these are your near-round ripple pearls. 
but it is all about the surface. So with Ripple Pearls, it's embracing those folds. If you can imagine, um, and it's a terrible analogy, but do you remember showing my age here when um, Cadbury's Flake advert, they threw the silk up into the yes. air and it fell down in folds. If you imagine those folds, but in nacre, that's what your Ripple Pearls should look like. And it's celebrating those lovely formations um, because that's ultimately what gives you this mirror-like orient. Look at the quality of those. They're absolutely stunning. Running. there's just four available though goodness me i mean even here i'm not sitting here saying that 999 pounds is not a small amount of money obviously it is however for the quality of the pills they're not mm. they are when they debuted in hong kong in i think it was 2016 they were more than that and now of course the pearl world has gone crazy i think we're just spoiled here aren't we we see Very lots of beautiful so. pearls and we get used to jm prices but yeah yeah, if you think that each one's come from a mollusk and they've yeah. been hand harvested and all the rest of it, it's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely, we are. You're so right. We do become complacent, you know. And if you think about the pearls that you have, maybe within your stash right now or in your jewelry box, you know they're high end pieces, and the yeah. prices that they would command um, in the market, well, pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. Yeah. Which, of course, we're going to learn some more about at ten o'clock. But if you love that pure crisp white, so white that it's almost blue, um, then definitely these. this is a pearl strand for you. £999, look at them, they're breathtaking. They are. First price crash. Yeah, I would have said more than that, Ross. If you'd, have, if you'd have brought these to air at 399 I'd have thought, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Because they're big pearls. We're at 299 but we are going lower and not just by a little bit. Wow. In a big way, says Ross in a big way <gasps> unbelievable you picture yourself uh, picture yourself walking i don't know through place vendome rodeo drive hatton garden harrods wherever where you see the finest quality jewelry if you were to see this displayed knotted on an 18 karat gold class which is why i how long have i been harping on about the <laughs> fact that we should have gold class here at jewelry maker how generally they've listened finally they are actually getting gold class, imminent. Um, <laughs> but if you saw this on an 18 karat gold class, do you think it would be anywhere near the first price tag? Absolutely not. No, no it wouldn't. It would be a fortune. Yeah, it would. I agree. It would be high four figures. Yeah. Are you ready? Not your price at £299. Oh my. Do you know what I remembered today? Knowing how special this Sunday's gonna be. Yes, I did too. I remembered <laughs> to bring my phone into the studio because I knew there was gonna be deals like this so I could buy two. Sneaky shopping. So I yes. could buy two. This is gonna be one of those ones on my list today. Ripple pearls, it's actually something I haven't got. I've got pearls, lots of pearls. I don't think from I've got any ripples. Maker. Ripple pearls, yeah, and I love them because yeah. you've got that wonderful crisp mirror-like luster. These aren't small measurements, 10 to 13 millimeters, which Huge. is like, I remember asking Charlie Barron, which obviously he can't come and do shows with us now, no, Charlie. Um, if you know, follow if you follow Follow Charlie on social media. Um, it's all about diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Yep. Because of course the accessibility of pills is that much more restricted. Um, anyway, so he, and I remember asking him. I was like, Charlie, what's in terms of measurements, millimeters? What's the what's the equivalent, like say to a diamond? Oh. And he said a double figure, um, like a ten millimeter pearl, is yeah. like a one carat diamond. Wow. So we are, and you've got a full strand of them here, yeah. or maybe even more. I only had four jewellery makers. I've got maker on the... I'm, su I'm surprised these are still available. It's all good, because I'm going to have one of these, Ross. <laughs> I'm, def I'm definitely going to have one of these. And I'm probably going to put it on like a baby blue silk. Oh, lovely. Because I think that'll bring out the blues. Will. I think with those ripples as well, there's just no mistaking them, is there? You can no. tell they're real. They're not um, costume jewellery. You can see yeah. immediately that they are genuine pearls. Yeah, because I think those characteristics show us that. Yeah. You know, no no gemstone, no diamond. Well, I say no, but you know, I, I want there to be a a little little, I don't know, 
feathering or something like that because then you do know that it yeah. is a genuine diamond absolutely it's nature's work mother nature's fingerprints absolutely yeah. you i think it, there is such a thing in the, in the gemstone world as too perfect yes absolutely because people otherwise assume people, it's fake then, yeah don't they? yeah <laughs> absolutely um but a ripple pearl it's all about those folds yeah. that's what we're celebrating because that gives you that look at that mirror like luster Oh, you know, they are some of the most lustrous pills in gorgeous. the industry. Ella, you've done it. Well done, my lovely. I've got Maker there who wants two. I've got Lanarkshire and I've got an Elaine. And you can count my name on that list as well. If you all check out, it's sold out. They're huge in their size. 10 to 13 mil. Amazing. So this could be... So Ella and Lanarkshire, you've done it. There's Elaine in County Antrim. I've got an anonymous maker who wants two. And like I said, I want one. I don't have ripple pearls. I haven't got any ripple pearls. I haven't, and that price is amazing. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You're right to point that out, Carol. We do get complacent, and I think it's still, to this day, one of our greatest strengths, pill buying. We've literally yeah. had, Dave, who's joining us at 10 o'clock, flew to Geneva to hand source pearls. Yeah. How many jewellers? Just doesn't happen. Does you know, it? get no. that opportunity. I think when I was younger, I thought, oh, I'll never ever be able to afford pearls because they are, you know, up there, exactly. aren't they? Super fine jewellery. Yeah. The jewellers the ju the I worked at, they were tens of thousands of pounds. Yeah, absolutely. Pearls. Let's do oh. um, a metre. Oh. Um, I've forgotten what was on there. What was on there? Anyway. I can't remember what was on there. Black series jadeite, and then we've got black. If I hold the two together, you'll be able to see the difference. So, technically, type A black jadeite is not black. It's actually a very, very, very dark, inky green. It takes three times longer than any other colour of jadeite to form. Wow. And we're talking millions of years longer three multiple millions of years so this is your black series which and this is the black so basically it's about the depth of the saturation oh. whichever your preference might be um we showed you in the past haven't we that elephant carving that sold at auction yes that would be um black series color basically because it has like a uh, um, a dark grey almost blue tone to it some of these you'll notice can you see how they've actually got a oh, bluish like a pretty. midnight colour you know sometimes you look out your window and it's obviously dark but yeah. there's a blue they're like inky skies yes yeah. yes yeah I know what you mean uber 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 rare and like I said there is no way of taking a type uh, a jadeite and treating it to be black you just have to wait you have to wait millions <laughs> just of years a few basically million years. Yeah, okay. and then of course <laughs> add to the situation the fact the Burmese mine is now closed yes um after 800 years of mining this is a full meter long length and quite frankly 1999 pounds is already too low for what we have here you pop along to first dibs you pop along to Sotheby's Christie's Bonhams all of those places and try and find type a jadeite for less than two thousand pounds it, it's not going to happen, let alone your uh, um, the Black Series shades. It's very, very, very rare. They naturally form far smaller um, than the green, for example. Green forms mostly in big boulders. The black tends to be in much smaller fragments. So again, to get a metre, yeah. I, I don't know what Ross is taking this to just yet, but... We've shown you pictures um, from First Dibs. We've shown you pieces of jewellery that are, have sold at auction recently, including type A black jadeite, like this. They might be different sizes. That's not really the, you know, the, the issue here. But take a little look at this piece that was on First Dibs. Certified 850 carat jade bead. So I don't even know if that's jadeite. No. To be true. I'm, I'm assuming it is. Um, Lavender green, black grey, lucky jade. They've got some carved, I think they've got some carved beads as well. 11,800. Crikey, I can't afford that. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> there they are up close. Can you see you've got that, like you said, so perfectly. They're like an inky grey. Yeah. Beautiful quality. See the colour alongside, oh, they are carved jades. Alongside... Now, I know they're a little bit smaller, 
There's still that same gemstone. You've got 320 carats here, much more wearable, I think, personally. Absolutely. Um, you could recreate that piece of jewellery, couldn't you, or be inspired by... Yeah, it's just a bit of beading, isn't it, really? Put some of your South Sea pearls that are coming up. Whoa. How amazing would that Whoa. be? Or the ripple pearls that you've just had. Super luxe. Yeah. Oh, those colours are just lovely. Yeah. Take a look. Fully absorbed. And they're natural. Mickey Mouse is holding it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look at... You can really see the quality of the colour that you get from us. You might be thinking, oh, well, yours is surely type B or type C. It's oh, dyed. No. It's not. It's totally natural type A grade. Now, the next price that you see, it's a full metre as well. Not what you are paying. How many do we have, Ross? Five, okay. It was always going to be a limited quantity. Not where we are closing. Not what you're paying for a full meter. Four left now. Again, again I, I, I will never get used to that. I know. For type A jadeite. How do we do it? In one of the rarest colors. Millions of years old. Millions. Not even be in mind. After 800 year history. And we're like, ah, oh, tell you what, 199 and we're not even stopping there. <laughs> Do you know? Uh, it's one of those great... meter. <laughs> yes. It is one of those moments of realisation. What, what are we doing? Um, good luck, everyone. We only had five opportunities. It's stunning because it's got this wonderful moodiness to it. I think the Black Series. Yeah. Um, again, I'm thinking about that carved elephant, Roscoe, which has got that lovely kind of greyish tone to it there we go here we go you can see the, in fact yours i'd say is more of a finer crystal mm. um but a magnificent imperial bluish gray jade carving of an elephant look at the price that it retail that it auctioned for or the <laughs> estimate six hundred and forty thousand to one million us dollars it's only little is it it's only little oh. yeah you get a full meter of the black series type a jadeite for 149 today. If you were careful, you could split that meter into two, mm. make a necklace for you, make a necklace to sell, get your money back. And then some. And then some. And, and then, then you some. still got half of it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, this is the thing. Uh, just because we bring them to you at 149. Oh, yeah. No, that's no. Don't sell it. Don't you <laughs> sell it at that price tag. Because it won't take you very long to sort of see prices like this. Um, see prices, sorry, like this, but with zeros on the end of yeah. it. Um, Dorothy, if you want those two, you do need to check out quite quickly because we only actually had five. Dorothy's done it. Well done, well done Dorothy. Dorothy. Congratulations. I've got one left, Marishka, if you check that out. Dorothy's just got 640 carats of Type A Black Series Jadeite. How amazing. Oh, my goodness. Joanne, Karen, Marishka, Shaolin, you're all in there. Is it for the last one? Ooh. There's one left. Who's going to be fastest? I've got the disc. I think Karen got it. Oh, well done, well Karen. Well done, Karen. Now, don't worry if you missed out, because I do have the pure black. Bad news, though, I've only got three. And I can see on the last auction that five people missed out. These are fabulous. These give me 1920s flapper vibes. Oh, beautiful. It's a big long line knotted necklace. And of course it's natural. Do you know what I'd do with these? If your budget allows. Oh yes. Right, look at, look at where we're starting. <laughs> we're starting at 199. It is a crazy day, isn't it? it uh, oh, there's actually, <laughs> uh, honestly, I would not want to miss today's show. No. Um, this is a metre. If you, your budget allows, imagine those are the ripple pills. Oh, yes, please. That's fabulous. I bet you'd like a project like that, Carol. Yes, if anybody's listening. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to send me some Look at those together. <laughs> that perfect contrast, that monochrome. Just beautiful. It's so classic. It is. And, you know, the quality, you can see the quality of the crystal because it looks like a melting ice cube. So if they weren't of, of fine quality um crystal then they almost become matte yes effectively and a little bit mottled don't get that shine yeah so you want it to look like a melting ice cube that's probably the simplest
simplest way of, uh, of actually describing jade in its translucency. A melting ice cube where it just has that lovely shine across the surface of it. Um, and again, these are totally natural, so it's definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. Susan, you've done it. Sally, you've done it. Oh, well done. I only have three. So Angela, if you want that last oh. one. 149. It's amazing. For 380 carats. Yes. Yeah. And it looks beautiful with the three strands, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, doesn't it? Dorothy, you can do it. Oh, is it sold? There's one left, one left. Dorothy, you can do it. I've got Dorothy and Angela there. It's gone. It's well gone. done. Well done. Well done. Okay. A strand. Oh, these are beautiful. Of old neck drums. Now, um, just in case you haven't been with Jewelry Maker over the past month or so, uh, there is an update on Guatemalan Olmec Jade Eye. Um, there was a big, up, huge update yesterday actually on Kotan as well, that it's now illegal to mine Kotan Oof. Jade. So yeah, we can't replace it. Oh my goodness. Um, that's the Burmese mine gone. Mm -hmm. 800 years done. Oh, it's a shame. Kotan, almost 10,000 years <gasps> done. Guatemala, you might be thinking, pinning all your hopes on Guatemala, actually no. Guatemala is, uh, Guatemalan jade is not being mined. That's because archaeologists discovered an ancient Mayan mask carved out of this amazing gemstone. So all mining operations have stopped while, of course, they look into this yeah, amazing piece of history. Yeah, dig, weren't they? Yeah, because it's a civilization we know very little about. Yes. Um, so we can't replace our Guatemalan either. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah exactly um and it is only this location where you get this really distinctive color it's like a teal yes a really gorgeous. beautiful teal uh so these are your olmec blue uh jadeite drums so from the guatemala mine and again totally and utterly natural love it like little capsules just a beautiful shape aren't they but again you know we were just talking about melting ice cubes being an indicator of the fine crystal and translucency ultimately you uh, you can see that translucency, can't you? So much so, they are that translucent, you can almost see the cord. Yeah, it's the colour for me. Though. Yeah. I ju it's just so calming yeah. and tranquil. I love it. Don't you think it's what, like teal is one of those colours that everybody loves? Yeah, I, I have teal accents in my sitting room just because yeah. it makes me feel calm and homely. And, yeah, yeah, it is. It's very nice. It's, it And it complements everybody too. It goes too. with everybody, yeah. Now, how many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 20 available it's a lovely cut i imagine quite a wasteful cut as well because yes. obviously anything slender um you have, obviously have to cut that carrot weight away yeah. now first price crash not where we're stopping we've got 20 available you could do your morse code jewelry with this absolutely couldn't you these could be your dashes could be dashes yeah they'd be lovely with your tassels that are coming up as well your tassel tops first price crash but not where we're stopping we're going even lower look at that translucency your beautiful olmec blue guatemalan jadeite so and we don't know this is the thing you might be thinking, okay yeah but it will start back up again but mm, but when when we don't know do we don't know no. they're not going to rush it well it, these things take time they I mean, do yeah have you seen archaeologists when they just got <laughs> absolutely there were the little brushes <laughs> i couldn't be an archaeologist i haven't got the patience i know i just want to rip everything out yeah of the <laughs> i know they're, they're, they're little brushes i definitely couldn't do that job that job's not for me but it's not and rightly so it's not something that they're going to rush so we don't know we don't even know if it will no start back up again you know it might not be in our lifetime maybe not who knows there's a fun fact <laughs> <laughs> we Maybe might not. be dead. <laughs> um, 50 carats. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to make it But you know miserable. what? We enjoyed it while it lasted. We enjoyed it while it lasted. A good time. <laughs> Alison and Cornwall, Susan's there already. We're not even stopping here. When we first launched Guatemala and Jade at Jewelry Maker, what was it, two, three years ago? We brought it to you in little, little packs like fours and fives. Yes. Didn't we? Do you remember? In little dishes like tiny this. Tiny little pots, yes. Yeah, in tiny little dishes just like this. You didn't get entire strands and you didn't get 79.99. Wow. Obviously our buying our, our power, uh, um, the relationship has grown since yeah. then. Obviously we've bought more. That's how we get better deals for you. But we've got no way of navigating around that now, jewelry makers. It is what it is. The rules are the rules. Uh, Joanne, London, London, Alison, Cornwall, Susan. Very elegant. I think it'd be gorgeous in the end of a tassel. I'd like it with pearls again, I think. Yes. Would you just alternate? Alternate, yeah, absolutely. So pearl, pearl Guatemala. Guatemala. Very yeah. nice. 
Oh, summer, beautiful. summer pearls then, oh, isn't it? Definitely. Just as if it's so elegant, I think, yeah. the shape. And that shine as well. Yeah. Fine crystal. Yeah. Again, if it was if it was opaque, if it was mottled, then you'd know the crystal was quite coarse. Yes. Um, ultimately, you want it to be a fine crystal where you get that translucency. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, jewellery makers, to secure any of these deals. What a Sunday show we have planned for you. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And don't forget your tassel top early birds um, that are flying on pre-orders. Well done. Pardon? Is it that time already? Goodness me, where's it gone? It's flying by today. It's five to nine already. Really? Okay. Um. Yeah. This is right up my street because I absolutely love tassel jewellery, and it's it's weird that only yesterday I was saying to Ted, so I was like, "Oh, well, we need more tassel tops, don't we?" <laughs> Unbeknown to me, the we actually have the jewellery maker gods have delivered. <laughs> yeah. Unbeknown to me, they are your early bird. Um. Which then prompted last night me to do a bit of reading all about the tassel, and did I? I didn't realise there was such history behind it. Up next, tassels in your early bird. Now I'm just going to show you the designs first because you get three different designs which are very regal. I mean, you think tassels, they are quite opulent, yes, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. And I think that's a word that's used in this presentation. So so while we're reading together, while you can be shopping ahead and securing yours, safe in the knowledge that they will be going to an amazing jewellery maker deal. Um, but there we are. Take a little look. Look how lovely they are. They're beautiful. Encrusted, you've got this wonderful luster. Oh, I mean, they look they just expensive. Yeah, they give, they, that's the regal thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's so royal and sort of like little crowns. Gorgeous. I want these. I want the silver I ones. want some of these. Yeah. Um, okay, so like I said, last night it got me thinking about tassels. <laughs> and I found an article, <laughs> these aren't my words, that was written in 2020 that talks about tassels through history. Um, and I can, I'll read it, we'll read it together. Um, there is one embellishment that has appeared in every form of decorative arts, from interiors to accessories across cultures and time. Um, it is undoubtedly the tassel. Tassel pieces pop up several times throughout jewellery design history. It's hard to say what inspired each one. Some were based on archaeological styles. Others seem like they were simply meant to express joyful movement. Uh, for use in personal adornment, the tassel dates back to ancient times and is even referenced in the Bible. Um, we, seem, uh, we see some fabulous examples of tassel jewellery from the mid-19th century and early 20th century. Some are flirty, some are fun, <laughs> all are fabulous. I love that. And even Caterina Perez. I mean, I'm not going to read this article because actually the one that previous is... is I think better, more informative. But Katerina Perez spoke about tassels and fringing as well, dominating in 2019. But I, I think that the same applies some five years on. Yeah. Some five years on. So again, that was the headline. Tassels were found, as I said earlier, in Tutankhamun's uh, um, tomb um, in the 14th and 15th century. They were made of silk, which was believed to be as expensive as gold at the time. As an indicator of opulence, the tassel naturally was used in jewellery. Uh, one of history's most infamous and so-called affair of the diamond necklace, the centre of a scandal in the 18th century that discredited Marie Antoinette um, and the French monarch monarchy uh, before the French Revolution, was in fact the elaborate uh, confection of the diamond pendant and tassels. And you can see a photograph of it there. So we're talking about the 18th century as well. Um, of course, do you think tassels, most of us think about uh, the Roaring Twenties and Great Gatsby. Um, in the late 1960s, Cartier in New York had begun acquiring and locating its important deco pieces in the American collections. Several of these Cartier Art Deco jewels can be seen um, on the leading ladies in the movie. Um, they're talking about Great Gatsby here. Um, and they were made by Cartier uh, for the film. Um, they're seen in this photograph, and they'll show you in another photograph a little bit later on. This one here. Pearls and emerald bead Cartier uh, piece are worn by Louis Ch Chili. How do you pronounce that? Chil Chilies? Yeah, uh, ch yeah, Childs, Chilies, uh, wearing the jewels and emerald and diamond brooch in Great Gatsby, the actual film, where hair was short. 
Yes. So you could show off fabulous earrings, right. long line necklaces, tassels on the bottom there. Um, again, some pieces that we can actually show. I love Why that. have one tassel when you can have two? <gasps> wow. Amazing. Uh, Maharaja, magnificent. You can see they're in a brooch. Tassels weren't just exclusively for earrings and necklaces. They were also included in brooches, which is absolutely beautiful. That's a 1924 piece. Platinum, natural pearls, diamonds and emeralds um, in another Cartier piece. So clearly Cartier loved a tassel. Um, coming to the high jewellery for the 21st century, the tassels adorned almost each new collection of prominent maisons. Um, Boucheron, Van Cleef and Arpels, Piaget. Um, use transformable designs where you can wear the tassel, take it off, move it around the actual piece of jewellery. And this one I found interesting. So Boucheron, as we just mentioned, has a permanent collection dedicated to tassels. Wow. <laughs> a permanent collection. So you can see the Fleur de Nuit necklace adorned with long line tassels, which has a, a 1.59 carat pear cut diamond at the center. Goodness. Um, and diamond encrusted petals depicting the Milky Way um, in a midnight blue night sky. So tassels are definitely here to stay. Through the 20, uh, though the 20s are long gone with the flapper dresses and uh, long necklaces a little part of glamour they brought would be uh, um, a great joy to have in our day-to-day -day -day lives our obsession with tassels still lives strong through our designs cited below are a few of our favorite pieces which i've kind of already shown you so i don't think this trend is going anywhere jewelry makers do you agree <laughs> absolutely it has stood the test of time not just for like a decade or a couple of decades hundreds and hundreds of years um okay starting with the yellow gold i've less than 100 of these you get all three designs i want to shop with you on this one so badly um and beautifully encrusted as well so how pretty are they they're gorgeous that Very, twinkle if i turn one towards you as well can you see how easy they are to attach to because you've got that cross so you can literally bead through there and you've also got some beading on the outside of this one so if you wanted to do like deb's demo yesterday you could do that um 14 pounds 99 that's five pound per tassel top it's not wow, bad is it Wow, for all those sparkles that's amazing Amazing, and three different designs. Yeah. Three different designs. We are not stopping there. Does anyone mind? I, I mean, I wasn't really asking that. <laughs> I'm not surprised they're flying out. They're absolutely fabulous, they are aren't cool. they? Um, <laughs> I'm shopping with you on these because, I mean, because we don't get them very often, and when we do, they sell out they like they're going to do this out. morning. Yeah. I do love a tassel. I particularly like a full tassel, like we saw yesterday. Love big fluffy tassels, yeah, basically. It's the movement though, isn't it? Yeah. Because they all oh, they catch the light and all the gemstones show up beautifully. It's that opulence, isn't yeah. it? You get all three designs, jewellery makers. Not fourteen ninety nine. Three thirty three per tassel. That's unbelievable. All that work. I can't work out how anybody could have made it for that. £3.33. Beautiful. We only have... Was it 70 I thought we had more than that. Done. There you go. I thought we had more than that. Um, but there's a load of multi-buyers as well getting involved. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone. We've got exactly the same in the silver, because I know, Carrie, you're a silver fan. I am a silver fan. Um, and we do have a bigger quantity of the silver as well, you'll be pleased to know. Um, but these will sell out, it's a guarantee. The fact they've got the cross at the bottom as well, um, yeah. I find that a lot easier to use, because you can literally just use your beading thread and just hang it over, hang it over yeah. the top. And you can really pack it out if you want to go for the full or not. It's up to you. It's sold out. Well done, everybody. Well done. Got 200 of the silver. I can't choose which one's my favourite, you know. It's tricky, isn't it? I feel like I want three sets so I can have earrings and a necklace with each. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you're good to get tassel mm, earrings. So I want tassel earrings and then the tassel necklace. That's a nice oh, idea. Oh, I love these so much. They're gorgeous, aren't they? they? And really I, can't, are. I can't decide which design I like the I most I mean, they look like well. something you would buy in Harrods. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the pieces that we just saw then in that presentation don't look... I mean, they probably are encrusted with diamonds. Yes, maybe. Um, but I don't have that budget. No, so not right. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the more affordable alternative. Thank and you. And who's going to know? Precisely. You'll know, that's it. 
Yeah, and I'm not going to be volunteering we won't that be information. Telling anybody, no, no, exactly. Look at my beautiful first prize crash. We're at nine ninety nine, but we're going again. <gasps> We've got two hundred, or rather, we have the call screens are chocker blocker. I knew these would fly. Yeah. Um, and I'll say it again. We need more tassel tops. We do. We need more, and of all different varieties. We can go for the lovely, beautifully embellished like this. Then we feel really plain. Really plain, classic, shiny yeah. one, yeah. You could do those. You could texture them in yeah. lots of different ways. I'll speak to the uh, buying team jewelry makers, don't you think? Yes. We're going even lower. That's already £3.33 each. Wow. Flying, flying, flying out the door. Julie, if you want those fives, I'll check out. I've got three full rows of names, and of those names, twos, threes, fours, I can see four rows now. We are going to have some gorgeous Wall of Fame things oh. with these. There's going to be some lovely tassel jewellery <gasps> coming in. Look at that. 7 99 That's brilliant. Love it. Hello, Alison. Uh, these would look amazing with a super ombre thread we've had. Yes. Oh, yes. Either simply on a chain or attached to a, a key. For a, for a jewellery box or antique desk. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I think I'd like them as handbag charms as well. Nice. At these prices, you can, you can really indulge, can't these you? these prices, I'd have them on my shoes, my bag, my <laughs> everything. Exactly. You can truly <laughs> indulge in, your, in our ta tassel obsession. Yeah. You can, can't you? With hair clips and... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fabulous earrings. Yeah. I mean, I actually cut out some photos of that because there was loads of photographs. But, yeah, well. you know, there was lots of big designers which actually had, the, you know, the long tassel earrings, which are, again, gorgeous. Well, and for evening or dinner out. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you think Great Gatsby, mm -hmm. where she had this really beautiful, like, short fringe, short crop yes. hairdo, didn't she? Big tassel earrings. I've got long a wig like this. Hey? I've got a wig like that. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Love that look. Yeah, like gorgeous, like a little just really under the ear. straight bob. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Um, we're going to close the whole hour with this clock, jewelry makers. 60 seconds. Clock to close. Make sure you're checking out. This is actually very close to selling out as well, much like the yellow gold. And everything that we have brought you so far will disappear from this hour. Everything else after that, you will continue to see. Um, from this hour, they disappear after this 40 seconds. So good luck, everybody. We had 200. They're fabulous, aren't they? And they're here to stay. Little did I know. King Toot loved a tassel. Yes. They're going nowhere, aren't there they? There we go. Loved a tassel. Oh, they're just so pretty. They are. And they do look like little crowns. Yeah, there's a definite regality to they it. They're like a princess. <laughs> um, we've beat the clock. We have beat the clock. They have sold out, but we need to close out the I other items. Um, so I'll keep that clock running. That's for everything else that we brought you so far. Coming up in the next hour, we've got um, our lovely Carol with her fabulous jewellery, all about the S-Class. Um, amazing gemstones as well. So do not go anywhere. We will see you in two. Hey jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on Sunday the 9th of June and we've got some beautiful gemstone projects to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour, we have got these gorgeous gem set sterling silver hook clasps. And they come in a project with your gemstones and also with your spacer beads. So I've made a necklace with this amethyst one and also a little charm ring to go with. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we have got the beautiful clover charms again but these ones come with a diamond set peg that you can pop in. And they also have two jump rings so you can make different things with them. So I did a necklace and I also did a charm ring with a peg on either side. So it's gonna be great fun. We've got lots of beautiful things to show you and I will see you on Sunday. Take care. Join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases. The first is where we explore the colors of Kotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we want to own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed. Obviously, the South Sea Pearls. Ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of uh, Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this 
precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Good morning, everyone. Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom, and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favorite gemstone of 2024 so far Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long-awaited return of the bugle bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm gonna make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol, and the team. You will not wanna miss this show. It's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute. You're going to love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya. Welcome back everybody. That hour flew by, didn't it? It did. Oh, and we've got some beautiful jewellery, amazing inspiration with our lovely Carol, all about the S-clasp, yep. or hook. Clasps matter, don't they? They really do. Yep. They really, really do, because I think, you know, you could, everybody can put just a bolt ring clasp on, and I always feel like bolt rings get a bit of bad press from me, and I don't intentionally, they have their certain <laughs> purpose, they do. But if you are looking for that clasp to be as much as a, a, of a design as a function yeah then you wouldn't go for a bolt ring class would you no i like a class that's a focal point yeah and you can and then you can put it at the front as well which is a little bit and easier know, a little bit probably numbers. isn't it's it easier to do up especially if, if you've got hooks and s class but haven't got that little trigger on yeah that's tricky to do and you've yeah. got to catch it with your fingernail they're much easier and they're you know these ones have got gemstones in so Gem you want them where you can see them yeah exactly it'd be a shame to actually put yeah, them yeah don't the back hide of them the away line. no so these basically if you can imagine like a fish hook that's how they work don't they yeah so there's a little hook and then there's a little loop that it goes into but the thing about these ones is they've also got an extra ring on so you can then attach something else oh okay so if i show because we're going to start with the amethyst one so if i hold it like this is that the right way? Yes, yeah, so what you're holding is the little loop where you can attach your tassel or your charm or anything, and then the hook goes behind that into the back of the... Like that? Yeah. There you go. How amazing are these? Now, as you can see, if I could actually show you, sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> and more fingers than thumbs <laughs> a minute. But can you see that there? Gem encrusted twice. Yes, both halves. 
Oh. Now, we have tanzanite and amethyst projects. We're going to start with the amethyst. Do you want to talk us through your beautiful jewellery? Oh, look at that. I see what you mean. You would wear it at the front, wouldn't you? Yeah, you want to be able to see it, don't you? So the project comes with a lot of amethyst. I had lots left over. Mm. Um, and you also get your spacer beads and you get your little clasp. So I've made the amethyst necklace uh, with the clasp at the front and then with that extra little hook that you've got to put things on yeah. that's where the heart is suspended so from. So you can put a pendant on there yeah. as well. So if you, when you get the instructions you get the instructions for how to make that necklace including the heart and the little amethyst rainbows on it. Amazing so obviously you would put this on almost like a scarf. Yes you put and it round the back, front. hook it at the front and the pendant's there and already. There Love that but you also get all of those amazing spaces too so um, how many do we have of this project? 75, 100 of the Tanzanite. Lovely. Okay, but I do think they're gonna fly out. So not only do you get the S-Class, you also get, check this out, all of these amazing, essential, do we agree? We're talking about, I, I, I always say it whenever I see Spacer Beads. They are an item that Whenever I make jewellery, it's in every piece. You always end up using them, don't you? Yeah, yeah. it's in every and single piece of jewellery. there are tons in this project. Aren't they just? So these are silver, 925 silver. And you get, I'm going to guess 100? 50, 100? Three mil. It is 100. You get 100 pieces, then... You get this absolutely beautiful, see if I can hold it towards, there we are, Jimmy. If I do it that way, you can see, can't you? That's better, isn't it? Um, your gem encrusted S-Class, which this is the jump ring effectively that yes. Carl suspended the pendant from. That's right. But as you can see, uh, encrusted twice. Not only that, jewelry makers, you get the most unbelievable strand of amethyst. Now, Ross has just said in my ear, Elle, you're getting a great price on this on this project. And the instructions, written by and our lovely Carol. Okay, well, I'm intrigued because you've got sterling silver spacers. The spacers on their own. Pardon? Over 500 have sold on their own. And it's the first time they're actually appearing in a kit, or project, sorry. Um, these S clasps or hook clasps, whichever way you refer to them, are brand new. Yep. And look at that strand of amethyst. I mean, these are high-end components, aren't they? Well, and it's it's a big kit because you've got you know I had enough to make the amethyst necklace and then the charm ring, which is covered again in the silver beads. Oh yes. So there's there's lots and lots and lots and i still had a load left over <laughs> you've still got more left over. Yeah, yeah yeah well you can't go 100 wrong 100 spaces goes an awfully long way we used way. to do packs of 10 yeah now you're getting 100 so there you go so you've made a stunning silver space already yeah ah beautiful a little, little amethyst charm now that is zambian amethyst as well so it's, if you're thinking oh that's chocolate box that's because of the location you get this beautiful chocolate box purple gorgeous um okay minute to your graphics jewelry makers because you've got the gem encrusted i'm trying to figure out roscoe the gems that are encrusted into that clasp i think you get amethyst with the amethyst and tanzanite with the is tanzanite. it okay hang on a minute then because i feel like i'm holding the wrong one i feel like they've been swapped over by mistake hang on yes yes i'm gonna swap it over that's the tanzanite one here you go thought so um, jewelry makers, clock to graphics. Clock to graphics. So you get amethyst to go with your amethyst project. Yeah, that makes total sense. And then the tanzanite one comes with uh, the tanzanite strand. There we go. There's the amethyst one. You can can't see wait to see beautifully. the price on these. Oh, you're going to get a cracking deal today, Ooh. Carol. An absolutely amazing deal. Over 500 of those 100 spaces. Is that right? Have I done it the wrong way? Here we go. Swap it round. Graphics are live. Good luck, everybody. Because this is... Oh, there you go. You can see, can't you? Perfect, beautiful amethyst set within. Okay. We have 70. That's not a massive quantity. It's not. 
You know, Zambia and Amethyst. I don't know what this project's going to, but when was the last time we did a Zambia and Amethyst showcase? Don't know. Years? A while, a while ago. Pre-COVID, would you agree, Russ? Probably, def I, I'm going to say, we couldn't do a showcase of it now. Once upon a time, so we used to have an abundance of, of Zambian amethyst, you know, when gem fields were actually mining it, but they're not doing it now. Oh. Probably because of the supply. So we couldn't put together an hour of, Zambi uh, of Zambian amethyst, which is a real shame because you get this really beautiful, like Cadbury's chocolate. The colour is, purple, yeah, the colour's absolutely gorgeous. Um, which is natural, by the way. And again, you have your gem encrusted S club. 100 sterling silver spacer beads. Okay. And, and the instructions by our lovely Carol. In that beautiful, do you want to hold that up? Ah, oh. there we go. And you get that those instructions for free to make that beautiful necklace. So you've got 15 steps, shows you how to make the heart, um, shows you how to attach it using the jump ring all the way from the start to the end. And it's not a terribly hard project. No. And you don't, you know, you can obviously but make a different jewelry. shape than a heart if you want to. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely Beautiful jewellery all the same. First price crash, 39.99. You've got... 100 sterling silver spacer beads, Zambian amethyst, and a gem encrusted S class, and the instructions. £10 a component, Carol, do we agree? Absolutely. Well, if you go onto our sister channel, £10 for the instructions straight away. Yeah. £10. Right, how much is 100 sterling spacer beads? Not a tenner. No. No. <laughs> nor, nor a Zambian amethyst strand. No. Not a tenner. Nor a gem encrusted class. Not a tenner. We're going even lower. Ross says you're going to get a fantastic deal on these. And I totally agree with what Carol was saying. This is the kind of class that you would want to wear at the front. Yeah. Make but, it the focal yeah. point of your piece. Well, because it's also a pendant or charm carrier, isn't it? Yeah. 100%. Oh, how about putting one of those, that, you know, Dave's beautiful South Sea pearls? Oh, lovely. Just as a drop. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not just for necklaces. You know, you can make bracelets as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. So they're, yeah, they're really versatile. Good luck. Already, lots of you getting involved. Lots of you multi-buying. How about... Well, it is £10 a component. <gasps> How about £10 for your spacers, £10 for your Zambian amethyst, £10 for your Zambian amethyst encrusted sterling silver hook class, and your, and your instructions for free. Amazing. Yeah. Or whichever way, which order you want to say it. £29.99. I think the strand is that price tag. Yeah, I was and you've got say, everything else you, for free. Yeah. That All much the silver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in fact, 103 millimeter sterling silver spacer beads for £29.99 seems fair. Yeah. Doesn't it? More than fair. Whichever way you want to look at it. Gem encrusted hook clasps. Yeah. Wow. Best thing is, Carol. Mm. Still not your price. <gasps> love jewellery maker. I know, we're amazing. Love we? it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Because we get to bring you amazing gemstones, precious metal, and all the knowledge and inspiration with our amazing designers. And we don't even, you know, we're not we're not charging a fortune for no, it. No, no, the value is remarkable. 99. And that little purple clock tells me it's gonna get more exciting. It is. It's going <laughs> even lower. You know, is this a project, um, Carol, that anybody could yeah, pick I'd up? Yeah, I put this down as a beginner project because you you can use whichever method you want to do to attach it to the hook clasp. You basically just need beading skills. If you want to make the heart, I show you yeah. how to make the heart. Yeah, easy oh. peasy. No, and we've, no and we've, soldering, no scary stuff. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. So it is simple beading. Yes. With basic jewelry making tools. Yes. Yes, Which I equally think you can pick up inexpensively. Two pairs of pliers and some snips, probably. That's there it. There you go. Jobs are good and anybody could do it. Not Adam, though. Adam Not couldn't Adam. do it. No, Adam no. couldn't do it. No. <laughs> um, Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine Brilliant. pence only. Wow. Oh my goodness. I think from in my head, that's me buying the Zambian amethyst strand, and I've got a hundred sterling silver spacer beads. Yeah. A gem encrusted, genuine gemstone encrusted hook class, and Carol's instructions all for free. Bargain. It is. <laughs> I mean, what out of curiosity, Roscoe, those spacer beads must be best part of that price tag. Yeah. What? 
Wow. Over 500 of those spacer beads sold on their launch. You know, that, that price must be best part of, for, you know, for, the, for those spacers. Well, when we you, do some cracking deals. You always use them. You always need them. Yep. And there's nothing worse, is there, when you get halfway through your project and you run out of the yeah. right size. <laughs> Debs and I were talking about this yesterday. We're like, and you're scratching around in the corners of your drawers. Are yep. you looking for one? I must have dropped We've one all been somewhere. There. <laughs> We've all been there. You're looking at what? Six grams. Wow. In the spacer beads alone. And guess what? <gasps> six grams of sterling silver in the spacers plus you've got plus what do you grams. reckon even if i said what half a gram maybe more in the in the hook clasp yeah it which is genuine gemstone encrusted as well and we're going even lower the whole project jewelry makers this is complete madness in the best possible way how about the whole project for under 20 pounds that is that that I would pay that for the spacers. A hundred spacers, I would pay that for the spacers. I've, so now I've got the strand for free. I've got the hook class for free. Yeah. And I've got the instructions for free. It's buy one, get three free. <laughs> Where else in the world, jewelry makers? You weren't kidding, Ross, when you said this is a cracking deal. Loads of multi buyers. You know what? Here's another thing. You might think it. I need spacers. Right, well, there you go. Grab yeah. the spacers. You're getting everything else for free. Absolutely. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yep. I'll just, we'll just give you a strand of amethyst. Yeah, we'll give yeah, you a, a, a sterling silver gem encrusted hook class and we'll give you some inspiration along the way. <laughs> and knowledge. That is madness. It is. $19.99. Make sure you're checking out. We only had 70 of these jewellery makers. Judith's got two. Denise, Cornwall, Mary, Anne, Janet, Renfusia. Natalie's got two. Five, Cheryl, Essex. Heather's got two. Lorna's got two. Tracy, Hilda, you disappear off the screens. Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, June, West Midlands. Hello to you, Malth, Julie, Carmarthenshire, Maker, Maeve, Anne, Anne, Karen. Oh, amazing. It really is. That's a hundred sterling silver spacer beads, six grams worth just in those spacer beads. Wow. Your S class for free. Your Zambian amethyst strand for free. Unbelievable. That's how I'm looking at it anyway. <laughs> and the instructions for free. Amazing. But 70 is not hanging around, as you can imagine, as we no. all go, that's a great deal. <laughs> I'll have I four. Pay yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd pay £20 for the clasp. Yes. Where well, else I mean, can you get a gem encrusted clasp for less than 20 quid? It's got a tube set gemstone in there. Two tube set gemstones in there. It's beautiful. Yeah. Can you see that? Little so you've got one on the tube twinkles. at the bottom and one at the hook. Yeah. Can you know, can, Carol, can you get clasps like this for 20 quid elsewhere? I don't know where you would because they're very unusual. Even if you could get the clasp, I don't think you could get one with the additional charm ring on it so it's probably not something you could buy somewhere else yeah and if you I, did you're paying for somebody to to set to, to those yeah, little to add gemstones it on. wow okay let's do the tanzanite shall we yes let's do it always a firm favorite here at jewelry maker of course so um you get the same spaces Oop. um but you get the same style of your s class but this one come on come on l pick up the pace l <laughs> yeah thanks adam this one has your tanzanite in it's very very pretty this very beautiful have i put that in the right one no i put it in the wrong one again carol <laughs> obviously you'll you'll sort this out when you're when you're making your piece of jewelry it's not wrong, it's just different. Yeah. <laughs> just It was just on a bit of a wonk, that's all. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I'm making a right pig's ear of this. We're testing her. I think, is that right? Is that right? <laughs> Have I done it? We're going to do this in one price crash. And guess what? Announcement, jewelry makers, 100 sterling silver spacer beads, a sterling silver hook clasp encrusted with tanzanite, plus a strand of tanzanite. Yes, that one locational gemstone that is estimated to deplete within our lifetime. Yep. Um, okay. How about we match the price? <gasps> no way. Yeah, you'd expect tanzanite to be more, wouldn't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. 
You'd and it's gorgeous. It is rarer. Tanzanite is rarer than amethyst. Both rare gemstones. And also you get your step-by-step -step instructions. Let's not forget that. Thank you. We have a bigger wow. quantity of this one, though, don't we, Roscoe? Ooh. 100. Fabulous. If you're happy for 19 99 for 100 sterling silver 3 mil spacer beads... <laughs> I, we used to do packs of 30. We used to do packs of 30 for 14.95, didn't we? Wow. Do you remember? I, I remember packs of 30 being 14.95. Goodness. You're getting a hundred, getting 100 for 20 quid and everything else. And a bunch of rare gemstones yeah. and all sorts. Yes. Wow. Hi June, saying good morning Alan Carol, fabulous deals. Any chance we could also just buy the clasp with the charm hanger? They're so pretty. Um currently no June. Um, what jewelry maker quite often do is they'll have a, have a concept. It'll be in the project. Then, if they're popular, they might follow as an individual item. So we'll sow that seed for you, lovely. Currently, they're only available in this project. But to be honest, June, what do you think they would be on air on their own? What yeah. do you reckon? I even if we said they were going to be what fourteen ninety five or twelve ninety nine. Yeah, you might as well get. You the might project. as well get because you've got the you've got the space of beads and the strand and the instructions. And you're never not going to use space of beads and yeah. the, the the gemstones are beautiful. So you, if you want to use them as something else, yeah, you just can, can't you? That's amazing. So, but jo June, we will sow that seed. Yes. I, I imagine it is something that they will bring in the pipeline. Um, so hang on. Three components. Six pounds sixty six per component. Unreal. That, that that's that is unreal, isn't it? You know, Steve Bennett joined us on Jewelry Maker, didn't he? he went he had a show with Carol for on our birthday. Did he do a Tanzanite strand for six pounds sixty six? <laughs> no, you did. Did you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get myself in trouble now. You are. Right? No. Um, <laughs> did you? What's that? Uh, did you do a Tanzanite S class for six pounds sixty six, Steve? <laughs> Yeah. Or some sterling silver space of for six pounds sixty six. And you get free instructions. I have always said our our project deals are the best. They are amazing. They are unbelievable. And if you really like value for your money like me, I made some earrings out of the tassels on the end of yes. the strand as well. So yeah. Make Loving the most those. of Make it. Make the most of the tassels too. All of these designs, Carol, absolutely beautiful. And that, your little brooch. Well, no, it's a, it's a hairpin because I had so oh. many spacer beads left over <laughs> that I thought I'd make myself a bun pin as well. Very nice. Very nice. I like a, I like a decorative do hair you, slide. You, I, I'm so bad at doing buns. Oh, no, you just twizzle your hair in a circle and stick the pins through and it stays. There we go. But there oh, were so really? many spaces. You don't even need to use No bun, bubbles, like nothing, no. I bet that's good for your hair. Probably. Much yes. better for your hair. And sort of, I don't know, a little bit of sparkle. Oh, very nice. And if you have any questions for Carol, do text into the studio as well. Um, what are you going to show us? I am going to show you how I'm using these little clasps. Um, and I'm doing it with the Tanzanite version. And I will show you how to attach the charm to the extra hook on the clasp. And obviously, you don't have to do the same charm as me. You can do any any charm, shape, stone, whatever you like, yeah. or something you've already Love got, that. even your tassel, if you've got the tassel tops. Oh yeah, you could use you that. You could use that. So, this is the Tanzanite strand. I have started off by attaching my one half of my gem set hook clasp, just with a jump ring to a clot, and just like this end I've knotted my beading thread passed it through the hole in the clot put a little drop of glue on because otherwise I get nervous but you probably don't need to and then squeezed it shut with my pliers as we neatly have those as yesterday. I can. yes they are so useful they are just I don't know make everything look so neat and tidy and hide all your knots so I snip off my excess thread. This is just regular beading thread. You can use absolutely any you like. If you've got one with a particular colour that makes the gemstone stand out more, you can use that. I just used a plain one that I had. So that's the excess gone. So we squeeze our little clot shut as neatly as we can and hide everything away. And so then what I've done 
is I've put on the jump ring, the clot and the thread, then I've put 20 of the spacer beads and then about half, probably less than half of my tanzanite um, and then 20 more spacer beads. And that's because for this one I was making a bracelet and that's the size that fits me. So if you put 20 spacer beads on either end and as much tanzanite as makes it the right length for you, that will be fine. So then fix the collar on the other end as well and take your other half of the hook clasp and just I've just attached them with little jump rings which we open as we know like a gate not pulling it apart so give it a little twist pop it through the collot and then pop the other half of your clasp on and shut the gate again and that's nice and neat so that's secure now so that would be your basic bracelet, but because we've got this extra little hook here, there's a little ring attached. So your clasp goes through, I hope you can see, the clasp goes through behind the little loop here and clips in there. And that leaves this little hook free. Yeah. And so if you've got a head pin, what you can do then is put some more of your spacers or your tanzanite or whatever you, you want as your charm, your tassel top, anything, and just make a little dangle with a, a little loop, tassel. A little tassel, anything you want, and pop it through that extra hook. So all we have to do then is to wrap the wire around so that we've got a nice wrap loop and it's nice and safe and secure. Again, snip off the excess wire. Give it a little squash into place so we've got no sharp bits that are going to snag on anything. And you have got a tanzanite sterling a silver tanzanite bracelet. Tanzanite sterling silver charm bracelet. Carol, something's just hit home. Yes. Um, You've just made that. Yes. You've probably got leftovers, haven't you? Uh, yes, lots of them. How much do you think that could sell for? Ooh. A Tanzanite sterling silver bracelet. 35, maybe? Gosh, and that's a great price. Yeah, because well, you've got you've got the set yeah. stones, you've got the beads, you've got the sterling silver, and you've got a little charm which makes it a bit different. So I think, And it's Tanzanite. And it's Tanzanite, so you I know, think that's quite unique. I think I, I think fifty pounds would be amazing. Do you? Yeah. I always underprice my work, though. I'm known for it. Do you, are <laughs> I'm you shocking. really? Yeah. I mean, fifty pounds <laughs> is amazing. It's a tanzanite and sterling silver. Well, look at our sister channel. Would that be fifty pounds? I don't know. I think it would yeah, probably be maybe. more. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? And they do great deals. I mean, because it is precious metal. Yeah. It's not plated or no. base metal or anything so straight away and and yeah straight away your quids in aren't you if you sell yeah. your jewelry but also you've got leftovers so you know you can make a charm ring with the leftovers yeah. you can put them on some matching earrings because i've got so much i've got you know at least half a strand of tanzanite left you could over. literally put three tanzanites couldn't you and you're saying it's, it's a tanzanite bracelet oh 100 percent. yeah you don't have to sort of indulge well, you know in it's thought. genuine yeah you, you know, you, you can prove where it's come from. and you, Absolutely. Yeah, no, you're good. You know, it's not dyed or anything. And there's lots and lots and lots on there. Wow. And they're beautiful little colours. Amazing projects, amazing jewellery. Um, absolutely flown out. I'm not surprised at all. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. And again, if you have any questions for Carol, we are live in the studio. If you're watching at around about 20 to 10, that is. They do repeat the shows. Um, so if you're in the afternoon stroke evening, we're not still here. No, we'll be at home. We'll definitely be at home by then. <laughs> um, but you can text in live. Um, multi buyers on this project, I don't blame you because no, I mean, absolutely. that's a great, not only inspirational, but a great stash replenisher. That's why I broke it down. I was like, okay, 19.99, three components, um, and you, let's say your instructions are for free, 100 sterling silver spacer beads, three mil, £6.66. Yeah. A unreal. strand of genuine tanzanite, £6.66. A tanzanite encrusted hook clasp, £6.66. Even by wow. our standards, that's low. And you, know? you get, so you, if you download the instructions that you get with the kit, 
you get the rainbow heart necklace instructions. Obviously, you can watch us back on YouTube yeah. and see the bracelets. So you get, demo. you get the education. So, yeah, so you can make either or both. Love that. Absolutely love that. Well done, everybody. £40, you can get both projects. Honestly, you will love them. The colours are just dreamy. And I can see, I don't know, summer weddings mm. and going on holiday. They're all oh, those blues and purples. Yes, well, something blue. And also the gem of new beginnings. Oh, there that's you go. Lovely. So it's often gifted for new mums and weddings. Oh, how lovely. Isn't that nice? New beginnings, new homes as well. Oh, yeah. yes. Of um, new job, new, uh, yeah, business adventure, whatever it might be. So the gem of new beginnings. Um, okay, now we've got a few additional kits that we can bring you that have been on air once that we're, we're literally replaying the last remaining quantity. Shall we start? That's what I've had my eye on. This is amazing. It's a lovely it's strand. Gorgeous. Multicolored quartz. You get firstly your Mayuki thread, which is like gold dust, by the way. Like gold dust. And you get another version of an S clasp. These clasps are stunning. These are gorgeous clasps. So let me show you those two first. Now with these projects, you get the instructions for the yellow necklace there. The one that's just next to me. Yes. yes. Amazing. So this, wait, 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 wait. This is diamond encrusted. Yes. That's a diamond. Well, that's why I put it at the front because I wanted to use it as a, as a pendant because I thought I'm not putting diamonds hidden away at the back of my neck. No, I totally <laughs> agree. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a small diamond They're either. They're beautiful. Plus, look at this strand. Those colours. So beautiful. So this is your multicoloured quartz. They are repeat projects, so we've only got a limited quantity of these. Oh, that's, lo that's lovely. That's summertime right yes, there. Yes, isn't it? By the pool. How on earth are these 19 99 I have no idea. I just make the jewellery. <laughs> Someone else very clever does the prices, and I don't know how. <laughs> I'd pay nineteen ninety nine for that clasp and then yes, some. I'd expect so would more. I. Yeah, well, it's not an insubstantial amount of silver, is it? No. And, and it's it, got a diamond in the middle. <laughs> not a small one either, is it? Seriously, yeah. I think I think forty pounds for that clasp. Well, I mean, I don't know where else I can buy diamonds for this price. That's true. You don't just go somewhere and buy twenty pound diamonds, do you? No. And and again. You can see how easy this works, can't you? Yeah, it's just an S. You loop it on. Um, it's absolutely simple to use. You can do it up at the front. And again, if you're gifting for someone who's got manual dexterity problems or arthritis, yeah. they are so much easier to do up. Yeah. Oh, they are massively yeah. so. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't necessarily, I don't have dexterity issues, but even I struggle with certain clasps. Yeah, if you've got a tiny little fiddly one, it can just yeah. be a bother, whereas this is so simple and easy. Yeah, absolutely. Nineteen ninety nine. I'm absolutely floored by that price. Well done, everybody. Let's bring you the one which, um, well, this neck, it's this necklace, isn't it? Um, with your beautiful sunshine gemstone that is lovely citrine. Yes. Um, oh, you get lovely silk with this. You do, you get beautiful yellow silk, which I've used on the little dangle, I believe. And it's, I don't know, it just enhances everything, doesn't it? And okay. then you get another diamond Another clasp. diamond clasp, amazing. Oh. Absolutely amazing. I love diamonds. There's nothing twinkles quite like a diamond. No, I agree. So there's the diamond S clasp. Are you holding that? Yeah. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. There's your diamond S class. So pretty. Such oh, a pleasing shape. Beautiful brilliance. Then you get this gorgeous colour of silk. Isn't that lovely? So if I turn it around that way, oh, this is a champagne diamond. So this is a 0.6 millimetre pre-threaded silk, natural silk as well. And then you have the strand of gorgeous sunshine citrine as well, which is going to complement the champagne diamond and also the silk. Oh, love it. What? <laughs> Where, who launched these? Because that's ridiculous. For a champagne diamond. They're fabulous. And you don't have to use the clasp as a clasp either. You know, I've made one into an ear cuff just because I wanted the diamond to Oh, that's a nice idea. Ear. Yeah, I just, and they're just, I don't know, they're so versatile, but I just want, I think I just wanted diamonds on every bit of me. <laughs> well, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And who knew that it'd be 16 pounds and 66 pence? It's ridiculous, yep. Wow, unbelievable. How many have we got, Roscoe? Only 48. Ooh. 
So make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. David, Elaine, Hilda, Elizabeth, Denise, Lorna, hello to you, Natalie, Suzanne, Liz, Dorothy, Mariska, Joanne and Lorna are new customers getting involved. I only had a limited quantity of these, as you can imagine, they flew out. That's a ridiculous price, isn't it? Yeah. If I was to sit here, do a big star buy intro and say, oh, I'm bringing you champagne diamonds, yeah. which are huge, in an amazing class that can also be turned into an ear cuff or a pendant or whatever yep. you wish but it's a genuine diamond in the center there and i launched it at 16 pounds 99 everybody would go crazy wouldn't they yeah and yeah. rightly so rightfully so but you don't just get that you get natural silk and you get citrine <laughs> well done everyone and instructions yes, yes you do you get instructions and too. you get the instructions it is mad mad but great um make sure to check it out jacqueline janet Sorry, Anne in Leicestershire, well done to you, Joanne, you're there as well. Beautiful. I bought a champagne diamond solitaire ring. Mm. Um, gosh, I am going back some years now because I was, I don't think I was even with Tom. <gasps> so, um, it was <laughs> only little, it was only little. Yeah. Probably about three mil, mm -hmm. I'd say. In, in gold, I can't remember if it's nine or 14 karat gold. And it cost me, and I have staff, a staff discount, obviously. I think it cost me two hundred pounds. Yeah, because it's a champagne diamond. It's only three mil though. I I have no idea how it's possible to get sterling silver clasp diamond set for these prices. No, no me. idea. Unbelievable. But I'm not complaining. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Next up. Oh. Clear cords, this all, is all beautiful, twinkly, sparkle. twinkly, twinkly. So there's your Mayuki cord, beading thread. Very strong, isn't it, it's Mayuki? It's lovely. It's really nice quality that thread. I know this is a favourite um, with lots of the designers. Yeah. So again, can you see? It's almost like, it's like a beautiful sort of dusty steely colour. Yeah. Um, then you get, as you said, lots of uh, brilliance and sparkle with your clear cords, and then. No way. <laughs> no way. Look at the look at the graphics, jewelry makers. You get a blue diamond. Isn't it gorgeous? The Mayuki silk's great. The clear quartz is great, but to get a blue diamond class for £16.99 is incredible, isn't it? And you've got a lot of beads there as well, because I made this into a bracelet, but I had enough to twist the strands oh, yes, of beads around see. one another. And I think it complements the diamond beautifully. Stunning. So you again, you're wearing it actually as a feature. Yes, yes. I, I told you, I, at no point will I <laughs> tuck no, away no, diamonds. No. So all I've done there is crossed over the loops on the clasp to okay. make it into a charm. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a double infinity. Yeah. That's lovely. With a diamond in the middle. And then you've got the jump rings that you can attach your your. So the jump to. rings are on there, and then I just put a clasp at the back of the bracelet. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Jump rings included. Sixteen pounds and sixty-six pence only, jewelry makers, for a blue diamond, genuine blue diamond. Not we're not talking cubic zirconia or crystal. We're talking about again. I have to say, if I was, if I did, if this was a deal of the day, we had the whole intro, and I spoke to you for I don't know ten minutes about blue diamonds, champagne diamonds, colourless diamonds, canary diamonds, whichever one. You know, um, and also I highlight the fact that diamond prices have skyrocketed recently. They yeah. haven't gone the opposite way. It's actually one of the, um, even my husband said it to me the other day, who who likes to um, watch trades and things like yeah. that. So he's like, oh, diamonds are the thing to invest in at the moment. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take my advice. <laughs> um, however, they are so expensive to buy. I bought some blue diamonds recently and they cost an arm and a leg. Yes. Yeah. They're very, very expensive to buy. So the fact we're actually doing this at sixteen ninety nine is amazing, isn't That's, it? I have no idea how it's possible. On its own, the class. Yeah, completely. Genuinely, if I thought this was for, if, if I was told this was forty pounds, I'd still be over the moon. And it's it's a substantial weight of metal. Again, it's it's very sturdy. You know, it's not hollow. No. It's beautiful. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a really good point there because you don't want your silver to be hollow. No, and you can, you know, you do sometimes see it, mm. and then it's too bendy or it dents or. Yeah, you know, and if it dents, you can't repair it, can no, you? No. So no, this is solid silver. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Oh. Up next. Oh, that's my favourite one. 
yeah, this is amazing. My favorite. Oh. Yeah, everything about this project, I love. I, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna show you each one. Firstly, the silk, I love that color. I know, isn't it just It's joyous. like a green onyx color. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? Two meters of your natural silk in that beautiful color. I don't know what they describe it as, but it's lovely. Then, ah, oh, <laughs> of course, of course it's this color. All been fancy colors, haven't they? This is your black diamond. And it is beautiful. Look at that twinkle. Amazing luster. And then, the perfect accompaniment. Lots and lots and lots of it. Lots of beautiful black <laughs> spinel. Oh, I love this project. Please, Ross, tell me there's quantity of this project. 40, okay. Okay. There's 40. First come, first serve, everyone. They're three millimeter faceted black spinels and you get th uh, three strands. I had lots, I made a nice drop. I did some weaving with them. I, I just went mad. I just absolutely Well, you can, them. can't you? Yeah, there's loads of it there. I'm, so oh, elegant. Black spinel is one of my all time favorites anyway. Yeah. So I just went a bit crazy. <laughs> oh, I, I, and I can see why. Do you know what? This would also look amazing with the tassel tops that you had in Yes, on. completely. Um, £29.99, that gets you three strands of black spinel, the black diamond <laughs> sterling silver S-glass, and you get that really beautiful um, sort of green onyx, uh, onyx coloured silk. £29.99, and you get the instructions. There's only 40 of these available. Um, the only project that actually has the black diamond, if that's your preference. Mm -hmm. Love a black diamond. I do. Amazing. They're a bit special, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. And why not use them together? You know, a lot of people make comparisons between black spinels and black diamonds, but actually... I think they go brilliantly. Yeah, they and are you know, very different. I can't buy three strands of black diamonds. <laughs> no, well, no, 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 I couldn't either. But they are different, aren't they? Because yes. like black diamonds are a bit more metallic. Yes. Um, right, the finale. So you think about it, we've brought you a colourless diamond. We've brought you a yellow diamond. We've brought you a blue diamond. I'm about to bring you a canary diamond. So that pretty. is like perfect canary. It's like a little sunshine. That goes with, is this right? Yeah, the canary silk. And then it goes with more twinkles. These are so pretty. Lemon quartz. Ah, that is summertime. Yeah, looks like lemonade. <laughs> Why is this fourteen ninety nine? I have no idea. It's just magic, I think. I don't. I've got no. There is no reason be, for this being fourteen ninety nine. Uh, yeah. For a canary yellow uh, diamond. Sorry. You think, you think about the canary diamond that Tiffany, uh, Tiffany's and co that say that they say it's priceless that Lady Gaga wore on the red carpet you know that massive yellow yeah. diamond and they said oh what's it worth priceless they will never sell it this <laughs> their words we will never sell it never ever sell it you think about how perfect that color is it's about the intensity of the yellow yes now look at what's in your canary in your clasp so pretty it's gorgeous isn't it how on earth is this 14.99 the strand should be more than that. Well done, everybody. Hilda, Shani, hello to you, Elaine, Denise, Karen in Worcestershire, Karen in Fife, Joyce in Lincolnshire, you've done it, well done. I've got Ted there, Candy there, Tracy there, Joanne there, Natalie there, David there. Morning, everybody, Catherine. And those are the names that I can see. I know there's more of you behind the scenes. Um, it's, there's a little bit of a delay sometimes um, on our, school, uh, our, our call screen, sorry, to real time. Make sure you're checking out, everyone. Wow, wow. And if you have any text messages, do a text into the studio. Any questions that you have for Carol as well, they are most welcome um, about any of her pieces, a certain technique that you might be maybe finding a little bit challenging. Yep. 
text in because you're a text font of in. knowledge I, I love it I just like making beautiful things and helping other people make beautiful things oh bless you <laughs> but you know you could do you know that that design yeah it doesn't matter that it's a slightly different class does it you could do that bracelet but with these clasps yep yeah you've got the jump same rings way, on there you? you can attach your charms to those just the same way except you know you've got diamonds in those ones amazing and amethyst in these amazing 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 now just before we dive into a break and we welcome um, Wonder Day, wonderful Dave into the studio. Wonder Dave. Wonder Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Wonder Dave. <laughs> um, well, he is a wonder, isn't he? <laughs> we are about to bring you one of the most beautiful strands of Amazonite. Amazonite, I think we've called it for quite a long time, actually. We've, we've been saying... Amazonite, if there was a turning point, I'm going to say around about COVID time, because mm. it's a very positive gemstone. Yes. It's believed to bring you hope. Um, and there's a lovely article on Monica Veneda as well about this beautiful gemstone. Um, but we've, yeah, we called it, we said we, we believe the future for Amazonite is incredibly bright, yeah. i.e. it's going to be one of the most popular gemstones. I'm just going to put this one out there. It absolutely looks like that is going to be the case for 2025. I mean, because 2024 is huge. There's not many designer job, uh, shops out there. And we, bro we broke some news, didn't we, Ross, recently, which we can share with you. So we know Monica Veneda celebrate Amazon Night. It's one of her favorites. Yeah. We know that Ashley Clark used them a lot. We know that Lola Rose uses it a lot. Yes. And that's just to name a couple. But one of the biggest design houses in jewellery, Louis Vuitton, <gasps> Ooh. have launched a new collection. And they could choose whatever gem they wanted, couldn't they? Yeah. They could choose wow. the finest rubies. They could choose the finest cashmere sapphires. They could. Because let's be honest, their clientele has got pretty deep pockets. They're, yes. Yes. They're, they're not short of a bubble. Too. No, precisely. <laughs> their newest collection includes... Amazonite. Lovely. It's think Alhambra, but with more of a Louis Vuitton kind of pattern. Wow. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. This strand. Oh, the other. I, I'm, I'm missing one off there. David Yerman. Big name in jewellery. Um, bought up loads of Amazonite, making it really difficult to get hold of. <laughs> this strand is <gasps> gorgeous. That's lush. Oh. A member of the Feldspar family, but I think one of those standout gemstones. Yes, it is. It's, it's just so recognisable, isn't it? Yeah, because it looks so different yeah. to all of its, what I always refer to as gemstone siblings. Yeah, absolutely. It does. I mean, this is summertime straight away. It complements every single skin tone. Yes. Many people believe that an Amazonite will look even better at sunset and sunrise. Oh, I didn't know that. That's lovely. Lovely, isn't it? Um, and again, if you have the time, pop on to Monica Veneda's website because there, well, there certainly was anyway, a lovely written article about Amazonite talking about how it's the bridge between the cold of winter and the warmth of summer. Aww. Can you find that, Roscoe? Um, how many do we have of these available? 60 available opportunities with amazonite you get this lovely patterning almost like driving rain but it uh, but with that patterning it doesn't hinder or it shouldn't hinder if you like that wonderful tropical light color saturation it's tropical isn't it yeah, yes that's exactly. absolutely um but yeah i've, I've referenced this article and i've wrote, spoken about amazonite probably countless times over the uh, over the years um, but this article is the one that I always go back to because it's it's positively poetic and it, <laughs> and it's it is positive as well. Yes. You know, you can see why those emotions, those feelings, and those beliefs are actually attached to this gemstone. Yeah, looks like lagoons. <laughs> oh really? Was that okay? We're having a few issues. Oh really? I beg your pardon, I've teased you with that now, not intentionally, <laughs> I need to point out. We're having a few issues bringing the graphics live. We will play it, but we just can't do it right now. So um, just stay with us. It might mean that we bring this to you in the 11 o'clock or in the 12 o'clock hour, basically. We will play it, we just got to iron out those issues. So just wetting your appetite, that's all. <laughs> just that's all I was doing. 
<laughs> yeah. Ooh, what's that, Michael? Um, uh, sa- uh, sa- 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 Multi gem. gem. Twelve gems. Oh, is that is that the birthstones one? This one it's now. Hundred centimeters, three millimeter rounds. It's your birthstones. I think oh, it's the birthstones. This is cool. Strands. We launched it on our birthday, yeah. didn't we? Should we go through it? January <laughs> is you got I say it like my three year old now. January, <laughs> February, March. So here we go. January, you've got your beautiful garnet. February, you've got your beautiful amethyst. March, you have your stunning aquamarine. It's pretty. April, instead of putting diamonds in there, because that would escalate the price quite Just a considerably. Touch. Uh, we've got clear quartz. Uh, June. No, May. May. Uh, you have your emeralds. June, you have your moonstone. Very nice. You don't see moonstone very often. July, you have your ruby. Lovely. August, you have your peridot. September, you have your sapphires. October, you have your tourmaline. November, you have, of course, citrine. Yeah. And December, you have your tanzanite. Lovely. If you are a business <laughs> and you want to make something personalised. It's got like a ready-made collection there. You literally have yeah. a collection. It's a metre long length strand. Yeah, And you don't fantastic. have to put them all in one piece, do you? Oh, no. I so, think I split them all up. Yeah. So, for example, I could go, Jimmy, what's your birthday? Uh, July. Your July. Right, I've got some ruby. Do you want me to make you a nice ruby bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, lovely. What's your birthday? I'm April. You're in April. Okay, well, I can do some can nice clear some quartz. Nice sparkly quartz, please. Yeah, yeah. that'd be lovely. Thanks. That'd be lovely. <laughs> what's your What's your birthday, uh, birthday, Roscoe? You're March. I've got some lovely aquamarine. Do you want me to make you a personalised piece of jewellery? Adam? <laughs> October, I've got some lovely tourmaline. <laughs> do you want a nice little <laughs> tourmaline bracelet? <laughs> Michael? What's your birthday? You want some diamonds? Oh, with some more diamonds. Oh, good, good job I've got some then. Um, okay, now a metre long length. It's brilliant, isn't it? Beautiful, launched as part of our birthday celebrations here at Jewellery Maker. The final few opportunities, £29.99 pence only. Today, Jewellery Makers, we're gonna do Oh, it's Sunday. There's no, there's nobody here. You know, you know, we break the rules <laughs> on a Sunday. It's always the case. Um, we're gonna do a meter of your birthstones. You could follow Carol's inspiration, Carol's demonstration that you've just shown. Us. Absolutely, couldn't yeah, you? They will you work can include it to the kit. You could add it in. Yeah. I mean, where else are you gonna get a strand with rubies and sapphires and emeralds and all of those gorgeous twelve stones? gems? Unbelievable. For less than twenty pounds. Yep, yeah, that's what's happening. Wow. Today. Today, we are going to take this under £20. You're right. That's a fair question. Where else <laughs> are you going to get 12 gemstones for less than 20 quid? Wait a minute. That's less than £2 per gemstone, right? Is that right, Adam? So... Oh, I just have some £2 rubies. So wait, 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 wait. How's that work? £24 would be £2 each, wouldn't it? Yes. But it's less than that. So That's what do you reckon? £1.85? And there's not small numbers either. No. There's loads. That's what, about three inches, would you say? More, I think. Three inches wow. of garnet. I'm guessing about three inches. Um. Same with your amethyst. Look. Yeah, I'm going to say about three inches. In your amethyst. All of this, where else in the world will you get 12 gemstones, genuine gemstones, for less than £20? And it's what? How much? 19.99 divided by 12. Is your... Is your I can't. <laughs> I None of us can math. do the sums. <laughs> Maths was not my strong point no, in school. No, me neither. I was not very good at it. I hated it. Yeah. It was too hard. It was too hard. Um, look at all that. 
I still it's can't. We, we, can't we do this maths? Say it out loud. One pound sixty-six. Yeah, that's got to be right. It's got to be right. I don't know. I just think it's an amazing price. One pound sixty-six for tanzanite. <laughs> One pound sixty-six for ruby. One pound sixty-six for sapphire. One pound sixty-six for emerald. One pound sixty-six for peridot. But don't you think if you've got like a craft stall or something, you can make a whole range. You could yeah. do a bracelet and two pairs of earrings, say, in each stone for each month. And then you've got an entire collection that suits anybody. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Even if you just got three of each stone. Yeah. You know, like, okay, what's, what's on your a birthday? Pin on an earring. Yeah. yeah. Make tanzanite earrings. Yeah. Sapphire earrings, ruby, yeah, absolutely. emerald, citrine. It's oh amazing. my goodness, that is crazy. Yeah. Um, we can't have many of these left though, because they're absolutely flying out. David, Carol, Wiltshire, Nancy, Una, Judith's got two, Karen's got two, Denise, June's got two, Shropshire, Karen, Catherine, Dolly's got two. We've got what? We had 50. Oh, way over half the socks gone then. Uh, Anna, Sharni, Surrey's got two, Buckinghamshire. It's over allocated, everybody. So yeah, make sure you surprised. do check out your baskets on that one. Coming up after the break. I'm so excited about this showcase. Me oh, too. I know this, lo <laughs> this lovely lady is too. I can't wait. Because if you are a pearl lover, we all know then. But let's be honest, it doesn't get any better than a South Sea pearl. It doesn't, does it? The South Sea pearl, in most people's eyes, is creme de la creme the best of the best. And to say that you own one usually means that you have a certain level of wealth. Well, we have Dave Troth on our side and it means he can bring us that level of luxury, that level of rarity at an achievable price. Do not go anywhere. These will literally blow you away how beautiful they are. It's coming up after this. <laughs> Join me uh, this weekend for two incredible showcases. The first is where we explore the colors of Kotan, that legendary mine that's been you know, producing the world's most famous jade for 10,000 years. And unfortunately, we've seen the, the new news for 2024. So it's crucial uh, that if as collectors, we wanna own that material, we get it sooner rather than later. And then we delve into one of the gemstones that's had the highest price rise that I've ever witnessed obviously the South Sea Pearls. Ever since uh, COVID, we've seen a shortage of supply of fine goods. And um, with the, the influence of the Chinese superstars, we've seen a demand far outweigh supply, which has kind of put us in this precarious situation of having to compete with China for the finest pearls. Prices have gone through the roof, but you're not gonna believe the collection that we've got for you. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with metre long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do. Uh, so I hope you can join me. I'd love to see you there. Can't wait to be back. See ya.
Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals, and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Good morning, everyone. Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favourite gemstone of 2024 so far, Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long-awaited return of the Bugle Bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. To say what I see before me as special would be the biggest understatement of the century. Of course, there can only be one person to introduce them to us all, and that's the wonderful Dave. Oh, thank you, Alex. Very or kind. Or wonder Dave that uh, I... Uh... I like that. I think I want that on my little... <laughs> my title, I think. Yeah. I quite like it. Uh, wonder Dave, I'll take it. Um, we are all uh, very excited, and I, I'm 100% uh, convinced that the, the whole members of staff will be tuned into this because yeah. as you'll find out there's been uh, what we call like an embargo where no one not even Elle not even me have been allowed to buy any of these pearls um, at staff cost or even during this auction it is completely mm. over to you guys every one of the staff members that I've seen is already on the wish list so I'm yep. just going to say to anyone right now the wish list is redundant because you're not going to be at the top of it because there's about 30 members of staff that have already placed themselves on the wish list which is fair because you guys are going to get first refusal in the live auction of course um usually we say staff members aren't allowed to buy before the show yeah this time they're not even allowed to buy in the auction not even in the auction now so oh. you can't have your phone out i know you've got it there i um, literally bought it in for that reason uh, no no one is allowed to buy <clears throat> even during the show because oh. of the amount of interest that we've seen and and practically what's going on in the world for South Sea Pearls. We've got the most epic, incredible opportunity for anyone who wants to get involved. Um, as you know, I've just come back from Zurich uh, and Geneva. Yeah. Uh, but whilst I was in Zurich, I bought three pearls and it cost me five figures. Really? Yeah, three South Sea Pearls. And I was just saying to Ross, I don't mind that because, I mean, obviously it's, it's a lot more than I was anticipating on spending, but I also know what I'd have to pay anywhere else. Mm. But even though that sounds crazy and colossal, Yeah. The, one of the pearls that I've got um, would sell for north of fifty thousand dollars. Wow! If, if I didn't know the, the the vendor, if we weren't on such a great relationship, that's the reality. Yeah. I mean, one of the pearls that I acquired sold back in two thousand sixteen for thirty five thousand dollars. Wow! Right. Not the same pearl, but and that's before the explosion of pearls. I'm talking the same size, the the the, the same shape. Specifications. Yep. And I managed to get it for lower than that now, and I snapped the hand off, and it's the most I've ever paid for any gemstone. Really? And it was a pull. And then I come in today and we've got uh, a near round that's 16 mil, right? Which yeah. is, yeah, it's insane. It's crazy uh, for a South Sea, which even if you go on the pearl source, it's about three and a half thousand pounds for that pearl. Um, and they're, they're, they're probably the most affordable place in the world. And then we have uh, a unique and incredible opportunity for you guys. Where you can, we're actually going to allow you to be able to choose from four or five different colors, from going from white, champagnes and goldens, and the size will range from 11 to 16 mil. Wow. Which is crazy because I said to Ross, that's not like a small Ratio. differentiation. Like an 11 mil pearl is probably about 800 pound. As we know, a 16 mil is about three and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. 
How are we going to do this? Because really, it would it would be our best intention to separate them up. And yeah. go, right, okay, we've got, I don't know what we've got, 30, 16 mil pearls, okay, we'll put those there, um, 15, 14, all the way down to 11 mil. But the fact we've thrown them all in tells you that this is a closeout. And I wanna be really upfront with every single one of you. Um, our pearl buyer here, she's amazing, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, she's the best in the business. Yeah. Right? Absolutely the best. Mm -hmm. And I've said to her, I said, look, I'm really struggling to get pearls for Jen Poirier's birthday, which is in October. Um, it's always been a fixture of of our mm, of our birthday, birthday, right? And of, of our offering anyway. Mm -hmm. But more than that, just to go to the numbers and the board, we have targets, right? We, mm -hmm, we do. Of course. And we make a huge portion of our revenue in that month in October. Yeah. And we, we know what works and we know what doesn't work. And 20% of all the money we take in October, 20% comes from marine pearls yeah so we do a, a f two big shows with charlie um as well as like what we call roundup shows which is the last ones and twos and we have you know between akoya south sea and tahitian 20 percent of the millions we take in october is accounted for by pearls and we haven't got one really yeah we haven't got one south sea tahitian or akoya by placed so we haven't bought anything i said to georgia when i saw this opportunity which i saw weeks ago I said, that's amazing, it's incredible. You know, can you get in touch with the vendor and see if there's anything we can do for October? And she did. And uh, in fact, before anything, I'm gonna show the message if that's okay, uh, Ross. Um, uh, so this is what Georgia said. Um, We've already tried to get more South Sea from the same vendor for the Gems birthday, and the price for the same stock would be seven hundred to fifteen hundred dollar per pearl if we took them all. Right. And there's probably about five hundred to a thousand pearls. So you right? have to buy that quantity. And even with that, it would, be, it would work out between 700 and 1500 before because now they're not doing a closeout. Now they're saying, no, no, if you want a 16 mil, it's this price. If yeah. you want an 11 mil, it's this price. Yeah. And she says, this is generally pre-lockdown harvest and we can't get near these deals again. That's why staff haven't been allowed to buy. That's why staff haven't been allowed to buy. And that was sent this morning, just before this show. Georgia is tuned in right now, 10.08. 10.08, I literally said to Georgia, just send that again so I can show everyone on screen exactly what's going on. Yeah. We've already tried to get more South Sea uh, of this exact variety from the same vendor. Yeah. Um, and we have a great relationship with them. Like we, they know we always pay. We, we buy more than anyone else yeah, because of, of the unique business that we have. As you're saying, price for the same stock would be $700 to $1,500 per pearl uh, if we took them all. If we wanted to cherry pick, if we said, no, no, we just want the 16 mil, then it's not gonna be 1500 anymore, mm. right? It might well be two and a half thousand dollars. That's the reality. It's a huge difference. Absolutely, and, but that's what we always boast about. Yeah. We always say we can do these deals because we're so different to everyone else because we buy everything. Yeah, by right? bulk. Yeah, and, but also we take all the grades. Yeah. Yeah, so we say we take your 11s and your 16s, we'll figure it out, we'll figure out a way to, to mm. sell it, but we'll take everything. And for a, a vendor then, it becomes a very attractive proposition, and so they give us crazy deals. Yeah. So they haven't got to take them to Hong Kong and, and pay to fly them to Tucson and take them everywhere. If they've got someone that's willing to just buy, you know, sometimes just on WhatsApp, it's amazing for them. They're like, we've just sold, you know, sometimes I, from the same vendor, I've bought 60,000 pearls in one go before, like before what's happened with pearls now. Mm. And for me, that lasts me four years. You know, yeah. think about it, strands, earrings, bracelets. Yeah, of course. You know, that's four years, but um, we're happy to do it because we know that pearls are a huge part of our offering. Of course. And if we're getting a crazy deal, the board will sign off on it. They'll go, okay, well, that, that's, that's us looked after for four years. Okay, we're tying up a lot of money, but we can easily forecast what that's going to make us, and we're happy with it. Right now, the, the, I mean, like I said, I flew to Zurich, and I bought three pearls. Three pearls? Three pearls. And I spent over $10,000. Wow. On three pearls. That's that's like a fact that happened this year, like yeah, a month I ago. Remember, yeah, and they're incredible art. pearls. I'm yeah. over the moon with them. But then I come here and I just think this is insane because even with that vendor who I have an amazing relationship with in Zurich, if I went there and wanted to get a 16 mil near round like that, a, a, a champagne South Sea, it's going to cost me four figures. Yeah, and then some. Some of these, you know, if it was pure round, you're probably talking five figures. Ten thousand dollars. Like, and I, I can show you. I'll take you to Hong Kong in a moment, I was gonna say which that. is the primary market. The reason I flew uh, the harvest into Zurich was so I didn't have to compete with the Chinese buyers, and I managed to get those three pearls out of the harvest 
but had it been in Hong Kong, I mean, I've shown Adam before, I've shown all of you, you can see South Sea Pearls at $21,000. Mm. That's not like, you know, Mickey Moto with 18 karat gold and diamonds no. in a beautiful box. That's on a, a booth, like a car boot stand, essentially. On a bit of car. It, yeah, in, in uh, the, the uh, wholesale show. Like the yeah. whole point is it's wholesale. Thank you so much, um, uh, Adam. There you go. That's a 16 mil golden South Sea Pearl, yeah? That one there, $21,150. Yeah, that's why I said, if the one we had in the studio was just perfectly round, it would be $21,000. The one below it, Wholesale. see how much the price jumps? The one below it is also 16 mil, and it's, uh, it's $5,000. The one above it is 17 mil, so it's bigger, but it's 6,000. The, the, the whole point of that 60 mil pearl is the saturation of color. Over to the right yeah. there, you've got a matched pair of 13 mil. They're $14,000. Yeah. This is the, the current market pricing for South Sea pearls. And you, you, I don't think any of us are ready right now for what's about to happen for this pearl. We have one huge pearl, which is guaranteed 16 mil near round. I have two of them. I have two of them. And then I'm going to offer you the probably the greatest opportunity in the world for pearls today. Like even from you know my own business, David Harry Jewels, that's where I bought those three pearls for. So yeah, you know, it's a different demographic, it's a different clientele. Yeah, of course. And I, and I don't ever want to conflict with what Gemporia offer and Jewelry Maker offer. So I've made a conscious decision to go for the, the, the highest grade I can. Yeah. Right? So I bought three pearls. I genuinely would buy every single one of those today at the price I know they're going to pay myself because I know what I can do with that opportunity and I think to myself I've, I know Sid in Bangkok yeah. who's probably the biggest pearl wholesaler in the world and I've been speaking to him this week because I wanted to put together a huge pearl offering um, for my own brand yeah. and I'm asking for Celsius they're not selling them they're not selling them and this is a guy that I've got the most in I've probably paid I've probably spent more with Sid than anyone else mm. other than Bernard like for on behalf of Gemporia yeah because I've bought for the last um, seven years that I've been in my role, every Tahitian pearl that has been sold on Gemporia, every Akoya pearl that's been sold on Gemporia, and every South Sea pearl that's been sold on Gemporia has been bought by me with Sid. So uh, I've, I have literally, I'm, this isn't a boast, I'm just saying our relationship isn't just we're mates. I've spent millions of dollars, not my money, I don't have that, but uh, Gemporia's money, I've spent millions of dollars with this gentleman. Mm. We, we have such a close relationship. You know, he is one of the biggest pearl wholesalers in the, wholesalers in the world, but I'm also probably his biggest buyer. Yeah. And yet I'm reaching out to him and he's saying, Sorry. these deals, well, he's just being honest. He's like, these deals, you've you got to understand that if you're getting a, a closeout from pre-lockdown, take it. Mm. That is the advice from everyone in the market. Mm. And we're about to offer you this. I did not have to tell you that this is pre-lockdown harvest. No. I could have said, I bought these in Zurich. It'd be a lie, but I could say it. So I bought these in Zurich. And unfortunately, the price is so high, but we're going to be cheaper than anywhere else. And I could still offer this at, well, we'll talk about the price in a minute, and compare it to the pearl source mm -hmm. and still be cheaper. But I'm not. I'm, le I'm letting you know, as, a, as, a, as someone with my own business, and I know many of you do too, I'd buy every single one of those pearls if I could. Yeah. I'm not allowed to. I'm literally not allowed to. Neither is Elle, neither is Ross or Adam or anyone in this building. Uh, by the way, if you come out of here right now, I wish we had like a, a camera that we could pick up and it didn't have wires and I could take you into the building. I could take you through those doors, up the corridor, left into the, the shared office space and there's three TVs on the wall that yeah. show all of our output and everyone that is in preparing for Gemporia is watching this show right now. I'm not surprised. Because I walked in this morning and they said, oh Dave, what show are you on? I said, no, no, I'm on Jewelry Maker. And they were like, oh, and obviously, everyone gets a bit jealous. They, say, they do. <laughs> they true. do. It's true. I'm not going to lie. It they is do. true. And they said, well, what have you got? You know, because uh -huh. everyone wants the best show and everyone wants this. And I said, we've got golden South Sea pearls. And they were like, they struck. Yeah, well, th then they think, because they, uh, you know, obviously there's like a friendly banter. Yeah. They think their gemstones are better. <laughs> you, you guys think your gemstones are better. So they think it's Jewelry Maker. It's going to be genuinely, and I'm not being uh, uh, dis disparaging. They love uh, jewelry. Some of the, some of the uh, people that work on Jewelry Maker, like Lindsay, yeah. no. Yeah, they some get of the it. others that are in there right now, I'm not going to say names, they think, oh, we just have tat or something, right? You know, we just have. They don't the low get grade. it. They don't, right? yeah. And then I was like, it. we've got a 16 mil round golden South Sea pearl. <laughs> <laughs> right and they're like what and then I said and then we've got like over a hundred opportunities in five different colors of natural golden South Sea that range from 11 mil yeah. to 12 mil and and then they were like well what have we got have we got a golden South Sea 
I said there is no South Sea Pearls, Tahitians or Akoyas this year for Jumpoya as it stands. And furthermore, you can't buy them. Yeah, this, which is just crazy. I mean, yeah. just to show you how incredible, in particular, your pearl offering is on Jewelry Maker, it is better than Jumpoyas. And a lot of you, I can say that because a lot of you flip between both channels. I know your names. Um, Katie Elliott, who's head of beauty at Gemporia, yeah. she sometimes steps in to model some of the, yes, the yes. deals that we do here, right? Because uh, she's in the building a lot and we want to get it on a model so you guys can see it. This opportunity, these are fresh water, right? But this opportunity, these huge colossal fresh water pearls, which I'm going to offer you today, she um, was gifted them because she's done a lot of modeling yeah. and uh, you know we don't pay her for that because you know she has no, she it, just she's helping us out but they said you know what we're going to give you one of these so they gave her the box and they gave her the earrings and she had one of the guest designers make it up because she's not a jewelry maker so they put a clasp on it they put the backs on the earrings and she wore them when she launched her her newest um, perfume okay and we, we the Gemporia had more messages they had like 2000 perfumes <laughs> They had more messages about the pearls that she was wearing than the, than the perfume. perfume. They yeah. were like, when are these coming up? When are these coming <laughs> oh, up? Oh no. And even the presenters were raging. They were like, where are these from? Thinking that Get Katie's just wearing off. costume jewelry, you yeah. know, from home. And she's like, oh no, this is from Jewelry Maker. I, and they're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> right, so you do, you do get the most incredible deals. Yeah, I want to talk do. about that, but I want, I want to talk to you about what's happening in the industry. This is just my own anecdotal information from trying to source uh, mm. South Sea this year. Um, and they said no one has the Goldens. Uh, South Sea has gone crazy, but because the Golden is a much smaller percentage, yeah. uh, because it's only the Golden Lip Oyster that can produce it, the price is out of this world. Uh, I recommend buying dyed fresh water if you want that color. Yeah. Um, I'm currently selling Goldens for more than Conk wow. in the market, and I can't even replace them. No pearl dealer has any inventory. They are sold directly from the farms now. They don't even take them to the shows. Um, and the Chinese, they're like 500% what they were last fall. Last fall is when the price went crazy. Last fall is, is when the price went through the roof. Um, they talk about them being the finest pearls in the world mm -hmm. because of that color. We've seen the AGTA uh, in 2023 warning everyone, prices are still climbing due to Chinese demand. Um, they're, they're talking about how the Chinese are literally going to JCK Las Vegas to go and do some buy the pearls to send back to the Far East. And, and then, you know, we know why. It's the power of influence. Nini, global superstar, shook the Tahitian pearl market. And all of a sudden, 9 to 11 mil strands were fetching $50,000 wholesale last fall. If you went a little bit bigger, 12 mil, it's $100,000. Wow. This is Tahitian, right? But my point is, from one millimeter, it, it the price doubled. doubled. Right? So this is my concern. This is why myself and Ross were just messaging Georgia this morning. So we're like, what do you mean it's between 11 <laughs> and 16 mil? Like between 11 and 12, the price doubles. What are you on about? We're gonna go like from 11 mil to 16 mil. That's like saying, hey guys, um, go to buy an engagement ring. Go to buy an engagement ring. Yeah. And you go, uh, you know, this is my budget. What can I get? They go, well, we're gonna, you could get a one carat flawless decolored diamond. We could get a 26 carat. We don't know. It's like, well, what the hell is going on? Or like you said, going into a car dealership yeah. and going, right, new car day. You see everyone does that on Instagram. They have the ribbon on it and yeah. they pull the sheet off it. And you go, you've gone in, you've bought a Fiat 500. And they go, no, we're going to give you a Ferrari. It's like, what the hell? Do you know what I mean? That, that's, and I know true. that sounds so facetious and so pathetic and so no, carried true. away in hyperbole. But that is the reality. Is that not the truth? Right, you go in, you buy um, a mid-range kind of estate, brand new, like an Audi yeah. estate or a BMW estate. You walk in, that's what you've signed off on, and they deliver you uh, a, a brand new Porsche or Lamborghini, right? And you're probably thinking, oh, get over it, Dave. No, no. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm out of touch, but mid-range car, brand new right now, 50,000 pounds? Yeah. Okay. Lamborghini, I wouldn't know, but 100,000 pounds? Yeah. So the difference between 11 mil and 12 mil is 50,000 to 100,000. Exactly. That is the difference. Exactly. It's literally going in with your kids and going, come on kids, we're going to get our new car. And they go, Dad, car. You, you've bought a Lamborghini. I have, yeah. This is, the door's coming up. We're getting it. We're not getting the Christmas tree in it, but you're going to look cool on the school run, right? Because that's the difference, 50,000 to 100,000 pounds. That is how insane it is. And it makes me look like a prank because I'm saying that and everyone's no, like, well, what true. are you going on about? It's, it's in print. Right, it's yeah. real. Um, and, and then that, that pearl yes. strand there, this is South Sea at wow. Tucson Gem Show this year in February. They're huge, they're clean, they're beautiful, but it's also a million dollars. At wholesale? Yeah, $880,000 wholesale. Wow. Wholesale. And what did they put at the bottom? If this was golden, then you could probably double it. And they said, believe me, it would sell. Wow. That's the reality. 
Which South Sea is a million dollars like that now. And if it was golden or champagne, because of the rarity of those oysters, then you're talking, what, double the price? Yeah. 1.6 million wholesale. We'll go to the pearl sauce. And look, this is not, I could easily take you to Mickey Moto or mm. Bonhams or uh, any of the big jewelry houses, an LVMH brand, where you pay the earth for mm. amethyst, you pay the earth for citrine. And obviously, if they had South Sea pearls, you'd pay the earth for those too. But I'm not going to take you to the pearl sauce. Yeah. Which I always, when my customers on Gempori now reach out to me and they're like, can I get me a golden South Sea pearl? I always push them to pearl sauce. I say, it's yeah. the best price you're going to find on the market. Yeah. I can't do any better right now. Whenever I can, I will. Yeah. But I wouldn't send you to somewhere where you're going to pay for a brand name. So this is the best pricing you can get right now. These are white uh, South Sea pearls. Okay, loose. Yep. Yeah. so the nine mil is 659 pounds. Okay. Uh, 10 mil, 799 pounds, 12 mil, 1,159 pounds. Okay. Uh, 16 mil, 3,379 pounds. Okay. Right, so we are ranging, we're ranging right now from your 11 mil, which isn't even included there, but let's, it's got to be between 800 and 1,100. Yeah, so yeah, that makes let's sense. Say it's, let's just say, let's go with 800. Yeah. So it ranges nice. from 800 to 3,079. That's a big price yeah, difference. Absolutely. And we are here with the most incredible opportunity going from those, those sizes. You have to be getting involved. Now, JCK wrote about it. The surging Chinese demand is fueling dramatic increases in pearl pricing. Uh, this is Mr. Seti, who's the CEO of Tara Pearls. And look, he, he says at the top, his answer was unequivocally, all prices have gone crazy. He talks about Japanese Akoya pearls first. He said last year, prices have doubled. Okay. Right, that's the most, there was the most expensive pearl in the world and the prices doubled. Yeah. It's not like they've gone up 20%, which we would be out at that point. Yeah. They've doubled. It makes it impossible. He then goes on to say, for the last 18 months, China's been gobbling up everything that has the name Pearl. From us to Mickey Moto, nobody can get much in merchandise. Literally, even Mickey Moto, who are probably the, the brand that are synonymous with Pearls. Of course. Right? More so than anything else. Yeah. They can't get hold of Pearls. And it's scary. It's freshwater. It's uh, Tahitians. It's South Sea. It's Akoyas. Um, and they said, he says at the bottom, the situation with South Sea pearls is no better. Nine millimeter pearls used to buy and sell around $250 and now $400 mm. and we have to sell them for $500. So South Sea's doubled. So yeah. he's saying, I sell South Sea now, nine mil for $500. And he says, and the availability is, uh, is again very minute because now you have to pay by the lot. Nobody wants to sell you selection or pairs, right? No one wants to sell you one pearl or a match pair. What did Georgia say? She said, yeah, 700 to 1500 if you take everything. Yeah. But if you want to select, you're paying the prices China pays. Absolutely. Right? The only way it would benefit them is by saying, if you take everything, we'll do you a deal. But otherwise, if you want to cherry pick, I'd rather let the Chinese cherry pick who are going to pay double what you're paying. Top dollar, really yeah. And it makes sense. If you're, going to, if you're going to help me out and take everything, then we can talk. Yeah. But if you want to cherry pick pairs and singles and you want, mm. uh, you know, the uh, 16 mil round, you just want that, forget it, mate. Because... In China, they'll pay five, six, seven thousand dollars for that pearl, yeah. or twenty-one thousand dollars, like yeah. we saw. And this is why George has done an amazing thing by saying to the vendor, pre-harvest lockdown, I'll take everything, and we'll figure it our way. So she could have said, "I'll just take the sixteen mil, mm. right?" And it would we'd pay the earth. She could have said, "I'll just take the fourteen mil, pay the earth." But she said, "I'll take everything you've got from eleven to sixteen mil." And do you know what? I'll do something even crazier. We could have separated them and charged you a premium and said, if you want a 16 mil, it's going to be this price. But we're not. We're saying you're guaranteed a Golden South Sea drop pearl right now between 11 mil and 16 mil. And we're going to price it below 11 mil. Wow. We're going to price it below 11 mil because we have to make sure that you're happy. Yeah. So if you get an 11 mil, you're going to be over the moon. You get a 12 mil, you're going to be over the moon. You get 16 mil, you've won the lottery. You get 15 mil, 14 mil, you're going to, you're going to be over the moon. I am going to get into it, don't worry. I'm just going to quickly uh, go through this uh, ver very quickly. Um, that's a, oh, a golden goodness. South Sea pearl in 18 karat gold by Tara Pearls, 5,990. He talks about how the market's gone crazy. Um, he says, you know, he talks about the, the price of Tahitians. He says at the bottom there, the current dynamic is not sustainable. Right now, there are no pearls to sell or buy. And then he says at the very bottom, very bottom, my suggestion to any retailer, they should look at their suppliers and if they have older merchandise and they're willing to sell at all prices, don't even blink, just yeah. grab it. Yeah. Once it, this inventory is finished, supply will become very tight unless the Chinese market takes a 180 degree turn. It's insanity. So George has done that. 
she has gone into the market with our vendors that we have great relationships with and she found one of our vendors who was willing to sell old merchandise pre-covid uh, harvest which doesn't affect at the old the pearl, prices does it no goodness me no it's a pearl is a pearl like yeah. it's whether it was farmed 50 years ago or right now exactly that's the reality the the only thing is I don't know anyone who would offer old merchandise at the old prices. When, no. And by the way, Tara Pose doesn't have any golden cells now. That's their website. Okay. Everything oh. is sold out. Oh, really? Everything has gone. Everything is sold out. It is wild. And again, I just want to show you this message before we open up whatever we want to do. We've already tried to get more South Sea from the same vendor for your gem's birthday. And the price for the same stock would be 700 to 1500 per pearl mm. if we took them all. This is genuinely pre-lockdown harvest and we can't get near these deals again. That's why staff haven't been allowed to buy. I like the little laughing emoji. Oh yeah, she's just like letting me yeah. know. <laughs> so I'm going to offer you, this is how it's going to go, I'm going to offer you a 16 mil pearl. Yeah, this is, so for the 11 to 16 mil, of which we have 100 of, these are the colours available. You get oh, to choose the colour you goodness. want. Oh my goodness. So you get to choose the white, the 24 karat gold, you know, the gold and the champagnes. That's what's available. You see how they're mixed parcels. That's the parcels yep. we bought from, right? So they're, they are 11 to 16 mil. Wow. And if we wanted to separate them, we'd be paying the earth. So George said, okay, we'll take everything and we'll offer our collectors an amazing deal. This is going to be wild. And then the first one is a 16 mil semi round. I've got two of them in the world. Dave, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah. The minute I walked into the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 same, same for me. Um, I'm going to start with this one. This will be the, the most incredible pearl acquisition in 2024 anywhere in the world. Anyone who's got a 16 mil round like that, well, you saw it, $21,000 um, in Hong Kong. And we're about to let that leave today for a fraction of the price. Oh my let God. me bring this live straight away, Ross. No gimmicks, no clocks. There's two of these in the world. Imagine if you bought two. Oh my goodness. Imagine 16 mil earrings. Oh my goodness. There is two of those in the world. The most majestic. It's huge. Incredible. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Vast. Yeah. Creme de la creme, Dave. Yeah, it's as good as it gets. An Australian South Sea golden Look 16 mil pearl. I've got two in the world. Well, that doesn't that speak I've got volumes. one in the world. Oh. Oh, well done. I think Sally messaged in actually earlier yes. mm -hmm. saying that she would never buy pearls from anywhere else. Oh, well, you, look, you, know, you know the prices we would pay. In fact, I'm going to take you to the pearl source. I found the best deal ever today. Um, there there it is. we are. This Dave is on sale right now. For anyone who misses out on this opportunity, this is on sale. On the pearl source. £3,189. Yeah. £3, for a 16 millimeter, yeah, that's amazing. That's incredible, right? Yeah, unbelievable. So you know what to do if you miss out. Sally says, Dave and team, I will never buy pills from anyone other than you. I appreciate that. That includes the local shops. I'm waiting for today, I'm on the edge of my seat. Right, I'm gonna start right now at 10,000 pounds. Yeah. Right, we saw one in Hong Kong, they're gone by the way. We saw one in Hong Kong for $21,000. Yeah. There it is. And it is more saturated. There's no yeah. disputing that. But, you know, okay, the one below it, that's more in line with what we've got here. I'd, I'd agree. $5, and that's quite dollars. shadowed as well, that yeah. photograph, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you've got, yeah, 5,000. Yeah, even if we said there, 5,000. Well, let's go to the pearl source price 3,000 pounds. Yeah. We already beat the pearl source now. Let's go straight down to 3,000 pounds, beat the pearl source. Um, by 189 pounds. I mean, remember the actual pre-sale price on that is four grand. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're doing the one flash in... sale on that for 3,189 pounds, which is incredible. To take a thousand pounds off. And the ones in Hong Kong were wholesale. Yep. So straight down, one crazy deal. Um, Ross, in their flash sale, they took a thousand pounds off. Yeah. And they're at their price on screen. So I'm at their sale price, and I'm gonna take 2,000 pounds off. I'm going to 999 on a 60 mil golden South Sea right now. I've got 20 of you that are trying to get involved. And more coming in as, yeah. the, as we speak. Yeah. Every wow. single second. Again, of course we do offer the wish list, but I'm telling you now, there are 
30, 40, 50 staff members already on it. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Look Congratulations to Kent and East Sussex. Thank you for your kind words, Sally, as well. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. Unbelievable, Dave. What an honour. What an honour to see. Mm. Like I said, of that scale. And it is champagne, isn't this it? This is honestly crazy what we do here. Like, remember, I love travelling, but the inconvenience of having to fly to Zurich <laughs> to look through thousands of posts to choose three, and yeah. I still ended up paying five figures. Yeah. And you are tuned in right now, and you're paying three figures for a six. You haven't got to do any of that. Yeah, it's to your door. Yeah. It's delivered to your door. Okay, this one's gone. Well now, done. the deal that I'm the most excited about that I could be is the deal that's coming up. You saw the colours. It's 11 to 16 mil. You, some of you are going to get a pearl that's that size. And I'm going to price it lower than an 11 mil. Right? That, and it's wild, isn't it? It's crazy. It it's like, it's, it's going to be... Like, I'm going to give... I am actually going to give you a 30 second pearl. Yeah. And I'm going to say, if I... This should be a five second auction. Mm. It should be a five second auction. You are about to get the best deal on a, on a South Sea Pearl in the world. You get to choose your color. You get to get the, 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 the I mean, we've seen the quality of the pearls, but we're gonna offer you all the colors. And we're gonna do something crazy on the price. I'm gonna start the clock right now. Good luck, Good luck. everybody. I've just... That's the pearl. <sighs> Look at it. Yeah. Wow. It is that beautiful golden mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. That beautiful golden color. That is synonymous to South Sea yep, and only yep. South Sea. One hundred percent. Oh my word! It's even more spectacular in person, Dave. Wow! Look at that. Could you get this sixteen mil as well? Yeah. Because although we're showing this one in the studio, mm -hmm. there is pearls in here that are that size too. Yeah. We are offering you. You are guaranteed a golden South Sea or a white South Sea or a champagne South Sea between 11 and 16 mil. Yeah. So we're, we're giving you right now the 11 mil and the 60 mil. I'm not bringing, I'm not showing you the sizes in between. I'm showing you the one on the left hand side of your screen is the smallest you're going to get. The one on the right hand side of your screen is the biggest you're going to get. And I promise you, I've got, I have to price this below the price of an 11 mil to make sure everyone's happy. Yeah, of course. Right? I can't price it at 16 mil because not everyone's getting a 16 mil. Mm. Well, you know, regardless, at an 11, at, at, at 11 Those mil... Those are the colours, yeah. Thank you, Ross. Um, so they're listed on your screen as champagne, cream, gold and white. Oh, so you can choose your colours. You get to choose your colours, but those are the colours. I mean... I'd be happy with any. I'm not allowed yeah, to join. Take you know, any one of, any one of those. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. It doesn't matter. Wow. So imagine assortment. Imagine just like Lorna's just bought six, and imagine an assortment of these, and you get to mix the sizes and the colours mm. in like a really unique, incredible piece for the neckline. Um, oh God, that would be lovely. Yeah, I mean, it? it would be you know one of a kind masterpiece jewellery, wouldn't it? I just want one on a diamond. Oh yeah. Peg. Yeah. yeah. South Sea Pearl. Yeah. Crem doesn't Perfect. get any better than that. Yeah. Perfect. Does not Classic get any better elegance. than that. Uh, incredible, Dave. Absolutely incredible. Hazel's gone for four. Lorna's gone for six. Uh, Fife's gone for three. Oh, the gold is about to sell out. Yeah. Not it doesn't matter, though. Go for the others. They're all South Sea, mm -hmm. which in itself. Yeah. It's not a chance you get, is it? No. No. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Ross is going to show you what the colours look like. The, the gold's gone, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the gold's the next one along, isn't it? Yeah. But ba so, it's just... by the way, just so everyone knows, we're not showing you a gold in the studio. No. Those aren't gold. That's champagne. Yeah. So the, the champagne is on the, the studio right now. So if you love the look of these incredible champagnes, that's what you're getting. Um, we have white, gold, cream, and champagne available. Well, we don't. We just have champagne, cream, and white available. Yeah. White is unique to Australia. Can't get white pearls anywhere else. When you go to Indonesia, even with the same oysters, because of the temperature of the water, mm -hmm. they become silver. Right. Right. So it's only the colder and deeper waters of the uh, Kimberley Coast that produce the finest white gold and South Sea pearls. Wow. When you go to Indonesia, you get the silver. Even though they could be the same oysters, and they are, because of the temperature of the water, it becomes silver. 
and that's why you know you, you're getting when you get the white here today that's the one that everyone pays a premium for of course right um, and I'll show you that in, in a moment. And of when, course, all natural as well. Oh, 100% natural. No, no look, a lot of what freshwater white mm -hmm. pills are dyed. Yeah. Whereas these are natural. Um, it's interesting because I remember reading somewhere, Dave, and you can, because um, I know you've been to this location, so you can tell me if this is uh, accurate or not. Yeah. But they can't expand the South Sea pearl harvest because the uh, golden lip oysters are, are that deaverish, if you yeah, like. Yeah, they don't true. like the, wa the water conditions. Yeah, the water parameters elsewhere. It's like a very unique spot yeah. where they're happiest and they produce the best pearls. Um, That's amazing, which we, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, it is unbelievable. Anyone who wants to see it, if you go to uh, David Harry Jules on uh, Instagram or Facebook, yeah. uh, I very recently posted uh, that was amazing. A, a little documentary, well, a little tiny documentary about my time in Australia. Um, where we were visited by a tiger shot. Uh, you were about foot to go for a dip. <laughs> I, know, I yeah. thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, I, well, well, never, I again. Find it funny never if again. Never again. Never <laughs> again. Um, yeah, which is, yeah, this is, we've, I've been here. I've seen these pearls coming out, I've seen the lengths that everyone goes to to bring them to you. Uh, Jane's gone for two, Heather's gone for two, uh, Maker in Greater London's gone for eight, Sally's gone for two, Fife's gone for six, Janice has gone for two, Hazel's gone for yeah, four, well, Lorna's gone for six. The yeah, gold, gold is, is sold gone. out. White is next to go, but these unique colours. Karen's gone in five to come for nine. No, I don't blame These you, unique colours, like the um, creams. Yeah. And the champagnes. Everyone sees those. the gold. Everyone sees the white. Do you know the one show we've never had on Gemporia? A, a cream or a champagne. I love the champagne. Yeah, I but they're, they're very difficult to get. They're, they're, they are very difficult to get such a unique, wonderful mm. uh, pastel yeah. colour, you know. It's, they move towards They're almost those, pink, the cream. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah, and the champagnes as well, you can yeah. see. Gosh, there's some huge mm -hmm. pieces in that photograph. Mm -hmm. Wow, jewellery makers, wow. White is very limited now. Yeah. Um... So can I, just before um, we, we touch the price, I'm just going to go to the pearl source. I'm going to show you the white and the gold and the, and the price uh, for, you know, between these sizes. So an, they haven't got an 11 mil on pearl source right now in the white, but it has to be between 799 and £1,159. Yeah. So let's just go with 799 mm -hmm. And then obviously once you jump up to the 16 mil, it's over £3,000 in the white and the gold. Yeah. So I'm going to start you off. at 799 which is crazy yeah but i'm going to start you off at the lowest price at the 11 mil price as a starting yeah, in point. the white which which we know um they don't even have an 11 mil listed that's the smallest you're going to get and you'd have to pay 799 Ooh. but the, the the chances are you're going to get a 12 a 13 a 14 a 15 or a 16 mil yeah. pearl but i wanted to make sure you was happy at the, if you just if you got the 11 mil which is in the studio right now yeah that's what this one is um so question into the studio they're half drilled yeah. jewelry makers so, like so you perfect can, for earrings and pendants right? yeah you can use your peg bales mm -hmm. those kind of things because yeah they're half drilled because mm -hmm. you would have these as standalone pieces wouldn't you yeah absolutely amazing in the same way that the pearl sources are i assume 100 percent. right Let, i'm going to shock you all today i'm going to give you a 30 second clock Okay. Uh, so now we just have the three sizes. White's about to sell out. Um, in the studio, I think we have uh, a cream, which is the smaller, and yeah, the champagne, which is the larger. Yeah, and I'm loving those colours. Yeah. I like them a lot. <clears throat> Beautiful. Look at the multi buying, Dave. Yeah. Uh, look, if you, you, uh, if we you see can. that multi buying. Well, I tell you now, no one's ready for what we're about to do. I, I've got no idea because, it's like gonna I be said, wild. it's been a, it's been very much like a closed book. book yeah, to so us an here. eleven mil Start South Sea minutes. pearl, even at the pearl source, is seven nine nine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a killer auction. My heart's in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, I, I, right, I, I, Ross, I, take five hundred pounds off the price <gasps> for me, please. Oh goodness me, that's not done. What? Yeah, not done. This is why. Everyone, like Sally says, don't buy my pearls from anywhere else. No, not no. Because honestly, our pearl buying is one of the things that we, I would argue, with the best that in the world. I totally agree. I, I totally 100% agree. Dave, when I worked in the jewellers 25 years ago, they had South Sea pearls then. 
Yeah. And obviously it wasn't as, ex- South Seas weren't yeah. as desirable as they are now. Just champagne and cream now, which is actually quite great because that's the two on offer in the studio. Yeah. So the 16 mil that's here. in the studio right now is the champagne. The cream is the, 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 the 11 mil that we have in the studio. We mm. are nowhere near done. Okay, the, the champagne's about to disappear. Yeah. There's 34. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. One white has popped back in. Okay, amazing. What someone swapped to colour, I think. There is one champagne. And the rest of the cream, I, I have to say, I think cream's my preference. Mm-hmm. Love, absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah it's, it is. Uh, Adam, uh, it's okay if not as well. The the um, the, the 11 mil here, the, the, the one that we've got in the studio, is that the same one that's recorded? Yeah. Okay, so it's not even a true reflection because obviously we're in the front yeah, that's true. But if, if Adam, you can show us this. That is that is the cream when it's hit with daylight. Different light source. Yeah. All, the, all these colours are going to lean towards gold because yeah. they are from the golden lipped oyster. Yeah. So the, the cream, the champagne, they're going to have hints of gold and hints of pink. All I've got left is the cream, which is on your screen right now. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. And this is, by the way, this is my final deal with you. I know Elle and the team are going to bring you the huge Flintstone style uh, freshwater bottles, which are just crazy. It's like wearing yeah. a string of golf balls around your neck. Yeah. It's wild um, in the current marketplace. Um, but I'm about to leave you with the craziest deal. Um, oh, come on now, Elle. Absolutely unbelievable. Ooh. Wow. They're insane, aren't but they? That, you're, you're getting anything in anything between. Anything in between. I mean... Ross, I can't believe I'm doing this, but always oh, said I'd like to go out with a bang. I would buy every single one of these if I, if I could. I'm sorry that staff couldn't buy it. Straight down, half the price. Well done. Congratulations. Five interest-free split payments as well. This is your moment. I, I'm going to make a statement that's the most ridiculous statement ever, and I'm well aware it's ridiculous. Where else in the world will you get a genuine South Sea pearl? Nowhere. Yeah. No, that's the truth. It's like, uh, nowhere. there is nowhere that is doing deals like this. In nowhere ever. Yes. Maker and Kent's got six, Lorna's got nine, Heather's got three, Janice has got three, Linda's got two, Hazel's got seven, Cumbria's got six, um, someone's got ten, Karen and Five's got nine, Melanie's got three. You. Um, it has gone, up. everyone's multi-buying and I've never seen, like, that's when you know you're too low. When people yes. come in and say, oh my God, is that it? 149, I'll take 10, please. Well, well uh, yeah. Ross has just said you can get five of our South Sea pearls yes. to, to one of pearl sources and you get changed. Oh, and also, let's not forget, a pearl source, you, you pay 799, you're guaranteed a 10 mil. Yeah. Oh. Here you pay 149 and you're guaranteed an 11 mil, but you could end up with a 16 mil. <laughs> That's Don't forget that car is. analogy. Yeah, it is, this, it is really. The, the disparity between these the, two sizes yeah. anywhere else it's is true. actually um, probably £3,000. This is so true. Yeah. Your affordable car. Yeah. Or your luxury. Or your luxury, yeah. luxury saloon. Yeah. And again, I just want to reiterate the message we had from Georgia, who is amazing. Uh, we've already tried to get more of these South Seas from the same vendor for Gem's birthday in October. And the price for the same stock would be between 700 and 1500 per pearl if we took them all. Let's not forget that would be 700 to 1500. Like that's the, the split. difference. Yeah, yeah. So we, even now, it would be seven if we took everything. Yeah. Um, if we took them all, this is genuinely pre-lockdown harvest, and we can't get near these deals again. And then she, as a byline, she said that's why staff haven't been allowed to buy. Laughing emoji. Laughing emoji. It's not funny. I've no. got certificates in pearls and I can't buy them. Oh <laughs> no, I know, I know, Carol. It's, it's, it's um, yeah, Georgia. We're sad. We're sad. I'm sad. Yeah. That's how many we've got left, Dave. Okay, you've got 11 chances. You've got, you've got 11. You haven't missed it yet. You have not no, missed you can this still opportunity. Do it. You can absolutely still do it. You know, all you've got to do is dial that free phone number, download the app, use the website, do whatever you can, check out, make yeah. sure you're getting it. This will never happen again. It can't happen again. No. It, we, you know, we're exhausting every uh, supply line that we have. Trust me, we've tried everything to get pearls for our birthday in yeah. Jempori. We have to. We have to. And we can't. 20% is a big chunk yeah. of the. Uh, oh my know, God, of yeah. That, of that. yeah event yeah to, but to, i mean that's across akoyas 
South Sea, Golden and yeah, White and Tahitian. So it's it's you know, it's broken down into about five different varieties. Yeah. And we can't get a single a single one of those varieties. It's wow. scary. Um, we've got seven chances left. Don't think you've missed out. You absolutely haven't. Hazel's gone for 10. Catherine's gone for two. Lorna's gone for 10. Dorothy's gone for two. Uh, Kent has gone for six. Catherine in Cheshire has gone for three. Heather, you've gone for three. Uh, Louise, you've gone for two. Janice, you've gone for two. You are down to your final seven opportunities. Do not let this slip through your fingers. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Champagne's gone. Gold's gone. White's gone. There is seven opportunities of the cream pearls between 11 and 16 mil. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful, jewelry makers. And again, the fact that you could, you've got that very mm. big difference in size. But 11 is still colossal, isn't oh, it? Oh, God, yeah. For a South Sea pearl, that's yep. absolutely colossal. Yes. Unbelievable. Do you want to do a minute clock to close this one out? Let's minute clock it. to close it out. I don't want to oversell it. We're down to our final five opportunities. So are we allowed to have a look in the break? Or no, not? no. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't set the stop. rules. I don't set the rules. I think it's you know probably after 24 hours or whatever the call off period is, however long this deal's live for. But you've got five opportunities, um, 50 seconds really to get this into your collection. Oh, oh my goodness me, Dave! Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and look. I didn't think you could top. Well, well, every yeah, time I, I see you, every time we, we do a show look, together, I, I have it doesn't to, get any better than that. We have to give George all the credit here. You do have the freshwater, yeah, uh, incredible sweet coming up, which has had so many requests on our sister channel. Everyone wants to know where this is. You know, can they get it? There's the last few chances available today. I've never seen anything like it. No one has. Make sure you're not going anywhere. And you've got 20 seconds to get the final four. Yep. South Sea Pearls. Incredible. What an achievement. Yeah. And five interest-free split payments as well. We, we, we understand how pertinent this deal is, Under how time-sensitive it is, and we want to make it as manageable as we can. We want to yeah. make it as accessible as we can. We know not everyone's in the same position, and you might go, damn, I wish it was uh, in a different month. So we're saying, look, just give us £29 today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or whatever it is. Yeah, And we will deliver here. them to you. Yeah. You haven't yeah, got to yeah, wait yeah. until no, the, no, the no, final no. payment. No. That's incredible, isn't it? Uh, unbelievable. Dave. Thank you for having me. As always. Um, I wish I could stay for this, but I've got um, somewhere I need to be. But you're not going to want to go anywhere. You've seen it. Anyone who's seen it is falling in love with it, and it is coming up. Thank you for having me. Oh, no, I know sure. you've got an amazing masterclass coming up as well that you're not going to want to go anywhere for. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Oh, isn't he just wonderful? <laughs> amazing. And I would encourage following Dave on. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Um, follow, <laughs> follow Dave on social media as well. Um, you know that that short footage that he uploaded out at, at the Kimberley Coast. You know, sourcing pills like this. He's like, oh, just go for a dip. Just gonna go for a little dip. And then, no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that if I was you. And literally goes and gets a joint of meat, throws it over the side, and all of a sudden this massive shark comes up. Um, but yeah, how amazing. Well done, everybody. You've just sourced, quite literally, the best location in the world, your South Sea Pearls. And I, for one, am very envious. <laughs> very, very, very envious. Okay, where do we go from there? We have been broadcasting for 14 years here at Jewelry Maker, 14 wonderful years. And to say that, not to be disrespectful, but every company has to start somewhere, don't they? We started in a cupboard. Not true, that is true. That is 100% true. <laughs> and the gemstones that we brought you then are, are be were beautiful. And we still bring you those gemstones. But our portfolio is that much more extensive. So I've had this conversation quite a few times recently. It's not that our prices have gone up. It's quite the, quite the opposite, actually. It's actually that we offer more for different budgets. So we can bring you the finest quality pearls. We can bring you, um, you know, from South Sea, from Tahitian. We can go to your Akoya locations, but we can also bring you freshwater pearls. But remember, you know, the days of pearls when we first started, we never saw pearls like that, by the way. We never saw South Seas, nothing like it. We saw your little potato pearls and they're lovely and they're, they're more affordable, or certainly they were. Those days are gone. Even your freshwater pearls, and you just heard from Dave, pearl harvesters will not export it. 
Why? Because they might as well just literally talk to their uh, their own um, to the Chinese people who are happy to pay a premium. So opportunities like this, much like your South Sea and your Akoya, another reason why we haven't got Charlie with us is because he can't access any variety of pearls. Opportunities like this are irrepeatable. In our 14 years, we've brought you pearls, of course, and we will always endeavor to bring you pearls. But in our history, these are the largest ones yet. Freshwater South Sea pearls. We launched this just before the birthday, was it? I think it was. I can't remember. I remember buying them. <laughs> did you buy them? I did. Oh. Just before the birthday. It, yeah, it's huge. It comes like so. Freshwater pearls. Sorry, I know, uh, bear with me a minute, because I just want to say something else. The, the South Sea oyster, the oysters themselves can be dinner plate size. They can be vast, can't they? Remember that one that Charlie brought in that's about this size? Your black lip oyster, again, can be quite sizable. Mm. They're one, oyster, one pearl per oyster. If you go to the freshwater locations, they're much smaller, aren't they? And they produce more pearls. Mm. More pearls in one oyster. These simply have to be one pearl per oyster, but in the freshwater locations. And the reason I'm saying that is because freshwater uh, oysters or mussels, whichever it is, mars that's producing them, generally speaking, don't form pearls of this scale. Do you agree, Carol? Absolutely. These are just humongous. Huge. Yeah. We have 80. Look at those. I'm hypnotised by that. I couldn't resist. As I said. Yeah, I forked out my own cash because I just thought I have to own those. I mean, look yeah. at them. They're like nothing I've ever seen before. Are they the biggest? Because you, you, you are um, a pearl enthusiast. Would you agree? I am, yes. Have you got pearls bigger than these? Nope, they are my largest. Yeah. And I haven't used them yet because I'm just staring at them and loving them still. <laughs> Will you part with them or are they for you? No, they're for me. Yeah. No, they're going nowhere. Yeah, you can I don't fight blame me. You. <laughs> I've got 18 available. Ooh. If you want the big pearls, the biggest look, you know, you want, you want the three carat diamond equivalent yes, of a pearl. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The hot rock that people notice from literally... A football pitch away. Yes, this is something people are going to ask. They are going to see this. Yeah. yeah. Good luck, everybody. There are fourteen now. Limited edition, pure white freshwater pearls. Eleven. They are flying out the door. Again, to bring you a large South Sea. Yeah. It's rare, it's very, very rare, and it's very, very expensive, or it should be elsewhere. But you notice we had two. We had two. Our sister channel, remember we gifted this very kindly, but she, uh, our lovely Katie, she does a lot for us here at Jewelry Makers. She takes lots of photographs, etc. So it was wonderful that we gifted this to her. There we are, Katie, have it. Go on, you have it. You do, some, you do extra work for us here at Jewelry Maker all the time. Have some amazing pearls. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's quite the gift. Yeah, thank I you very much. She was absolutely chuffed. And I bet she turned some heads. Yes. People would be saying, where did you get those? Yeah. More people messaged in about her pearls. That's brilliant. These pearls <laughs> than the new perfume <laughs> that she was launching at the time. Hazel, Charmaine, Patricia, Susan, Anne, Denise, Devon, Margaret... Karen in Hampshire, London, new customers getting involved. I only have 11 left within the vault. You get the full strand, you get the larger earrings. So those are the, those are the 14 mils. These are the largest freshwater pearls we've ever brought you. Freshwater pearls usually do form smaller. Yeah? Than your South Seas, than your Tahitian pearls. Not so much Akoyas. Akoyas do form smaller, don't they? Because yeah. they're in very cool waters, that's why. Okay. But we all focus on these giant ones, but that strand is just unbelievable Insane. as well. Insane. I remember what this went to. And I'm just recalling, I'm like, 
Oh my goodness me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they are Serious. Just beautiful. Ross, am I allowed to buy these? I know. Why haven't I bought these? I don't know. I've got mine. <laughs> what are you going to do with yours? I think just proper, Not. basic, knotted, and two earrings. Yeah. Just your classic, timeless, sweet. Beautiful. So, wait, hang on a second. Yours are bigger, but 11 and a half to 12 and a half millimeter white freshwater pearl necklace from the pearl source. You won't get any better prices elsewhere than us or the pearl source. £2,959 for that, but yours are bigger. I did not pay that. Not at your maker. Oh my goodness. I, I just. £2,959 from the pearl source, but yours are bigger. Wow. Half drilled, the ones to go in the ear. Yep. Plus you get the full 38 centimetre strand. Okay, our next price crash. We're going to beat the pearl source price. We're at £2,000. We are still not done. You've got your split pay there as well. They've got, they're breathtaking, aren't they? They are unbelievable. I had to have them the minute I saw them. And I, I bought a lot of different kinds of pearls. And you know, like I say, I've studied pearls, I've got certificates in pearls, but I knew the minute I saw these, I was having them. Yeah, they speak to you, don't they? Yeah. That says it all. You've seen pearls, you know your pearls. Yep. Had to have these. These had to come home with Don't me. blame you. <laughs> 799 pounds. One single freshwater pearl from Yoko of London. One single. And you can't even say there's masses of diamonds in there. They're, they're parve. They're tidgy. Yeah. yeah. Eight to eight and a half millimetres, 600 pounds. You've got a full strand. They're not eight to eight and a half. They're 12 to 14. <laughs> That's huge. Absolutely huge. Yeah, I mean, if you want big pearls, you do tend to have to go to places like South Sea or Tahiti. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you don't tend to think of them in your freshwater pearls. Maybe Edison, but then you don't quite get as much nacre. I like Edison, don't get me wrong, but they're not quite as, uh, they're not the they're, same. Yeah, they're a bit different, aren't they? They are a bit different. Hello, Devine, you're saying I have these, they are stunning. They are, oh, I agree. I feel, I feel left out now, Devine, because you've got yours, Carol's got hers, I feel like I need mine. <laughs> But Davinia, as you probably recall, Carol, as you recall, you didn't pay this, did you? Nope. We could sell this out in a heartbeat, by the way. There's so many over allocated. There's more people with it in their baskets not in, on the app than we actually have available. Don't let that put you off if you haven't yet joined. First come, first serve. I haven't picked up my phone yet, but I will. I'm just waiting to see what the price is. I should have kept my mouth shut. I could have had a second set. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. I know. They're just dreamy. They're just everything you want in a pearl. Aren't yeah. They? When you think about the classic pearl necklace, yeah. it's this, isn't it? These are screaming. Beautiful graduation. Hollywood glamour. Oh, yeah. Amazing. And I would almost, because they are so perfectly graduated as well, because yes. you've got your five virtues, haven't you? But there's actually technically more virtues than five. But, you know, not to complex things, um, complicate things. But once you start talking about strands, I remember, again, Charlie speaking to me about this. It's about uniformity as well. Yeah. And that beautiful graduation, the matching of the colour, the, the matching, matching of the luster. That's, again, yeah. what you pay a premium for. Nowhere near that price, says Davinia. Davinia could do my job. <laughs> no way near that price. Four nine nine. They're huge. They're huge and they are beautiful. And like you say, they are so well matched. 
they're lo they're just not like anything you've seen anywhere. And you know, you get in that box as well. They're yeah, just, well, this is the thing. You clearly a premium product, aren't they? Yeah, just by how they're present uh, presented. You know, you buy a Cartier piece of jewelry, you get an expensive box, exactly. don't you? Exactly. Yeah. You buy a Tiffany's piece of jewelry, it's an expensive Precisely. box. Precisely. Yeah. You know, when you buy you buy luxury pearls, they're going to be presented in a luxury box. That's right. Um, we're at four hundred and ninety nine pounds plus. You've got your five boy split pay, so you can get this home for less than a hundred pounds today. That's amazing. Um, we have five left. Am I allowed to pick my phone up, Ross? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You won't regret it. <laughs> do I sneak in a Southie if there's any of those left? <laughs> do you yeah, reckon? <laughs> what do you reckon? Don't, don't tell the bosses. <laughs> what do you mean they won't? What, the call centre won't allow me to. Won't they? What if my husband called up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, there's literally no way around this, is there? No, we just have to miss out. It's all good. It's all good. Look what I've got. Look what's on the These screens right now. They're absolutely insane. You know when they you get them home and I I sort of took my time opening the box because I knew they were going to be so exciting and I wanted to relish in it. <laughs> Pretty woman moment. Yeah. yeah. I, like, oh, I don't I don't this. blame you. Click click to combine order. Yes, they're already shopping today. So amazing. Yeah, I've been shopping. Oh, yeah, she's had some tassel tops. I've had some tassel tops, <laughs> haven't I, already? <laughs> Amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking it out. Congratulations to Charmaine, Hazel, London. Who's that? Eleanor in Worcestershire. And um, good luck to <laughs> Marion, Maker, Louise, London, Janice. Oh, Susan's got hers in Cornwall as well. Um, I'm saying good luck. These haven't been confirmed. I've Ooh. got Janice, Cumbria, Valerie, Karen, Patricia, Susan, Anne, Denise, Devon, Margaret. Um, and as you can see, I don't have the quantity. The likelihood of us being able to replace an opportunity like this. Well, you've heard it from you've heard it from Dave. You've heard it from Georgia, who has actually joined me on air previously before, saying, "Look, I can't replace them. I can't replace any variety of pearls. The only ones I can get are Edison, and they're expensive." Yep. You know that's the reality. Um, so get them whilst you have the chance. This was bought. I I remember now. I remember this was bought for the birthday. But do you remember we had to swap shows round, a deal of the day round, and that's why it was brought early. Oh, is that what happened? It was brought to air earlier. Oh. Down to the last one. Yes, you get the perfect pair. You also get the graduated strand. 12 to 14 millimetre. Congratulations. Now, one more auction before we dive into a break. I'm going to pop those little, little beauties away. Shall we bring you some what? Brand new pearls. Am I allowed to buy these ones? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> multi-color they're, they're amazing and it oh. comes with a clasp at uh, jimmy could you pass me that gold bust it is my favorite thank you, thank you. because luxury pearls yes deserve a luxury bust absolutely now i i you do get a class with this but i'm almost going to skirt over it if that makes sense so you get this beautiful parve magnetic class. Oh, very nice. It's very nice, isn't it? We even had the wire guardians earlier on. Yes, absolutely. Instant project. And silk. So you get this. But like I said, I'm going to kind of almost skirt over it. When I came into the studio this morning, obviously <laughs> I noticed the South Sea. Obviously I noticed these. But the first strand I physically touched... Oh, really? ...was this. And I didn't know it was new. So we have been, uh, and again, you've heard it from day. Wow, sorry, wow, and you know, <laughs> we we have been one of the world's biggest pearl buyers, certainly in the West, for a long time. Not just jewelry maker. I'm talking the partnership. We spend the partnership spend millions of pounds each year on pearls. So to say that it is our greatest strength, I think is fair. Yes. However, we are not invisible to things that happen around the globe. It's not a secret that the world has gone crazy for pearls. I have 25, that's a launch. Do you remember when we used to launch 150 
Do you remember when we used to have 200 quantities of pearl strands like this? Those were the days. They were the days. They're so gone. <laughs> they are. But also, can I just say, we used to launch quantities like that and bring you strands of this length. Yes. Didn't we? Absolutely. They were that length. Now, oh, I love them. Uh, oh no, I'm so sh in a shopping mood. I know, me too. Good luck, everybody. The beauty of Edison, that the whole concept was to take on the beauty of the South Sea Pearl. The whole concept. So they could rival the size, the colours of your South Sea Pearl. And it does, it really does, absolutely. Now we have made no secret, we have said, look, can't get, can't get South Sea, unless of course you want to go to Geneva and uh, handpick them, um, pay them same prices or the, what was it, £20,000 that we saw earlier on at Hong Kong. Mm. Can't get uh, Tahitian pearls, full stop. A decade of uh, harvest has been bought out. Can't get Akoya pearls, they're astonishingly expensive right now. Um, really struggling with your freshwater pearls as well, so, you know, that's very much limiting uh, um, our supply there. One pearl that we can get is Edison, and you've heard this come out of my mouth before, but they're expensive. We can get Edison pearls, but they're expensive. Because they know that that's one of the, uh, that's, a, that's an access, isn't it? Yes. How breathtaking, from your dusky pinks, all natural by the way, all natural colours, from your dusky pinks, which is one of the rarest, to your champagnes, you're getting all of the colours in this. Yeah, it just, it makes me think of like, you know the Buckingham Palace garden party, or oh, days yeah. at the races, or all those sort of pastel-y colours. Yeah. That are gorgeous. And they're all natural. Brand new premiere opportunity, jewellery makers. I have 25 available. I don't think that's enough. <laughs> I don't think so either, because there's already people getting involved. Yeah. London, well done. Not leaving anything to chance. No, I, I don't blame you. Karen, well done. Not leaving anything to chance. So in the past, we have brought you amazing pearls or oh, yeah and we are right now let's open it up at already a ridiculously low jewelry maker price yeah when you remember how long will it take you to find a price point for multicolored naturally multicolored edison pearls nine to eleven millimeters for four figures mm -hmm. and then some do you think you're going to be able to find them for four nine nine? No. Because I, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not even if they were all one colour. Yeah. Never mind that combination. The combination, yeah, the bouquet that you see. Yeah. Four nine nine already a ridiculously low deal. Already people joining us on the web. Already people checking it out. I only have twenty five. We can't bring you one hundred and fifty pearl variety, whether it's Edison, Akoya, Tahitian, South Sea, Freshwater, whatever it is. We can't do it. Ripple pearls. It's not. It's just not possible. What used to be our greatest strength, I think, still is our greatest strength. But obviously, it might have to take a pause. It's just relative, isn't it? You know, we are still doing deals that nobody else could do. It's just that the quantities are smaller, but then the quantities everywhere are smaller. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to do, believe it or not, between four nine nine and your closing price. So we're going to drop once, and then we're going to drop again. Two price crashes. <laughs> they are dreamy, aren't they? They are gorgeous. They're so summery. It's I I I'm, do you know on our social media as well. Alison, one of our um, lovely viewers, who's been with us for a while, and, and I love the story. And she's in, loves Abba yeah. and created that knotted <gasps> I necklace. I saw, yes. Um, yeah, and saw her wearing it actually amazing. at an award ceremony. How amazing is that? It's just remarkable. 
such an honour. Why? Because she knows high-end jewellery. Yeah. Clearly. And what Alison created was high-end jewellery. Yeah. You know, make no doubt about it. Just because jewellery maker... That's ridiculous whilst I've looked up. <laughs> 199. <laughs> Sorry. You thought I took it very well. No, I hadn't even seen it. <laughs> hadn't even seen it. 199. <laughs> if these don't sell out... Yeah, because he promised another clock, didn't, uh, another drop. <laughs> crackers. It is bananas, Completely this. Completely crackers. Good luck, everybody. Genuine, natural, multicolored Edison pearls. Nine to 11 millimeter. And you get the clasp. Mm -hmm. They're going to sell out, aren't they? Yes. We're going to miss out again. <laughs> Wish list. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> Go on. We used to do those shorter strands for 149. Yeah. Didn't we? Do we all agree? Do we remember that? I do, yeah. I've strands seen. like this, about 20 centimetres, used to be 149, didn't they? Do you remember those days? How is it that they are now more difficult to purchase? And we're not doing 20 centimetre strands, we're doing 38 centimetre strands. Jewelry maker magic. Yeah. I don't, it just makes sense though. It is on four way split pay. Our graphics don't show it yet, but you can get hold of these on four way split pay. As soon as you put pearls to the neck, up against the skin tones, they love to be worn. They don't come they? to life, don't they? do. They? And don't store pearls in plastic. No, nope, they'll be sad. They don't like it. Get them out. They like to breathe. They love the oils on your skin as well. Um, so, yeah, make sure you wear your pearls. They're not to be put away in a drawer. No. Four way split pay on your screens. London's got two. Amazing. London, I would have been happy at four times that price tag, don't you think? For that one strand. I don't blame you, multi buying. Anna in Derbyshire, Merseyside, Lanarkshire, Oxfordshire, Louise, Sally, Karen. Well done. I've got Cheshire, new customer waiting on the phone lines. Do stay where you are. I've got Jay on the app. I've got Tracy. I've got Lancashire, Jane, Janice, Zoe, Kerin, uh, and Maker in Devon. Um, who's that? Claire in the Isle of Man. You've just got yours. Well done. They are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I think it's fair to say pretty much irreplaceable at that price. Yeah, I mean, this is the making the jewellery we can't afford to buy thing again, Yeah, isn't it, it is. You know, you could look at it this way. Like, Georgia, who buys the um, our majority of our pearls, she's either got the easiest job in the world, i.e. <laughs> I can't buy any, or she's got the hardest job in the world, i.e. I've got to keep yes. trying. That's the thing. Yeah. Um, She's doing us proud. Well, the, the, we've got we've got them on our screens, haven't we, right yep, now? So I'm going to say, yeah, doing us proud. Cheshire, Devon, well done. Um, you can still do it. I've only got seven available, but I've got way more than seven of you with it in your basket. Please stay where you are, telephone caller. I can see there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but you will be answered. Please stay where you are, Agnes. Please stay where you are, Norma. Our amazing call centre team will get you, I promise, and then I can congratulate you on uh, your Edison pearls. They're absolutely remarkable. Um, you do get that clasp as well. I know, how's the, how long is the queue on the phone lines? About two minutes. Oh, That's not bad. On. Yeah, just hang on. That's not bad. And you've probably done the bulk of that now. Deirdre, stay where you are on those phone lines. We're, we're over allocated. This how many? Oh, okay, 38 in baskets. Don't abandon your calls. Um, good luck, everybody, and do not go anywhere because coming up, we've got the most amazing masterclass. A nod towards the, the maison uh, <laughs> that is Van Cleef and Arpels, but this time they are, it's diamond encrusted. Diamond. Also, I know I teased you with it earlier on this morning. We've got the beautiful strand um, of Amazonite um, coming your way as well. Final few opportunities. Mask glass is going to blow you away. Make sure you stay where you are on phone lines, jewelry makers. I'll see you in two.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do uh, so I hope you can join me I'd love to see you there can't wait to be back see ya never miss a show by watching on the go with the jewelry maker app head over to your app store now and search jewelry maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Good morning, everyone, Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favourite gemstone of 2024 so far, Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long-awaited return of the Bugle Bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker.
welcome back. I can see the call screen still for the last auction for your Edison Pearls. I can see the calls are being answered. We are very busy at the moment. Must it be, ah, Agnes, you've just been answered. Norma, you will be shortly. Deirdre, you will be shortly. Thank you for bearing with the call centre team. They are amazing, our call centre team. You know, we completely bombard them as we have done from start <laughs> to finish. And they do it in, uh, Norma's been answered. Deirdre, your moment's away. Um, yeah, you're, you're literally next to be answered. If you've got it in your basket, just letting you know, there's lovely callers there that are gonna snap up the last few of those Edison pearls. Okay. Oh, I told you it was gonna be an absolute cracker of a show. <laughs> and we've still got an hour and a half left. We've still got an amazing masterclass, all things Van Cleef and Abels. I don't know why I have to say it like that. I like that you say it like that. The maison. It gives it a je ne sais quoi. Well, it's because they <laughs> call themselves a maison. So I have to go a little maison. bit. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the face. Maison. <laughs> so I have to go just a little bit French when I talk about Cleef and Arpel. And also, I think I sound a bit posher. Yes, yes maybe. It makes us sound very grand, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, we just have got a nice, um, yeah, around a coffee table, have some oh, nice yes. French bread and some cheese and some croissant. wine, croissant. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Mm, Ooh, yeah. I'm hungry now. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> right, then where do we go from there? Well, I tell you what, we're going to completely change direction to... Are you all right, Michael? Yeah, there's a few cups. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, there. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> He's a good egg, isn't he? <laughs> um, we're going to talk about one of our absolute favourite gemstones that I teased you with earlier on this morning. That is, of course, the most breathtaking Amazonite strand. Yes. Our obsession with Amazonite has been consistent, I think, throughout the years, but it's heightened now mm. globally. The popularity of this gemstone is global, without shadow of a doubt. And I think for a good few years I've been reading this article to you. Um, and I always try and refresh sort of my PowerPoints. However, if I don't see, think it's worded better elsewhere, then I'll stick with it. Yeah. Um, and I do think Monica Veneda word it so beautifully. So the obsession of Amazonite, this is off their website. They say Amazonite, the stone of hope. Amazonite is one of the many reasons we love gemstones so much. They come with rich histories, startling beautiful colors and a vast range of uses for everyday jewelry. And Amazonite is undoubtedly a leader of the pack. I agree, now more so than ever. What is Amazonite? Well, it's part of the Feldspar group. Uh, K Feldspar in relation to its potassium content. Amazonite is a blue green. I'm going to ignore the word semi because we don't use that now for uh, gemstones. Uh, precious gemstone that has seemingly been used for medicinal purposes as much as it has for jewelry pieces throughout history. Its potassium content is believed to bring the physical benefits of stamina to the wearer. Uh, so it has been a favorite jewelry item to many civilizations. There we go, believed to bring you stamina. And it's interesting, before I read on, my, my cousin um, came up to our house on Christmas Just Gone, and she was wearing an Amazonite haigu. And um, I was like, oh, I like your pendant, very nice. She said, oh, it's Amazonite. I said, yeah. And she said, it brings stamina. So her husband had gifted her this pendant. <laughs> um, but the conversation led, obviously. Um, but it was, it's, it's interesting, and she doesn't, I think it would be fair to say my cousin doesn't really follow gemstones as much. She loves lo lovely jewellery, of course, but she knew that. Yes. She knew the beliefs that were attached to, to, to Amazonite. Anyway, we'll read on. Um, as well as the physical benefits of um, owning and wearing Amazonite, it has something of a divine appearance to it. The blue-green variation um, of it often resembles the sky and the heavens, so it is often regarded as a beacon of hope and faith. This isn't only applicable to its spiritual qualities either, its very appearance as a variant of turquoise is seen as the bridge between the blues of the cold winter and the greens of springtime, laden with life. I love that sentence. No matter how cold the winter might be, there is always a springtime to look forward to, and the colour of Amazonite acts as a quite literal reminder of that. The hope that this gemstone represents is manifested in the idea that it allows the owner uh, to see the full truth of all matters, so it inspires confidence in balanced arguments uh, and helps us achieve equilibrium in all walks of life. Isn't that lovely? Poetic. Very. Positively poetic. Aww. 
Um, where is it sourced? Well, predominantly, once upon a time, it was sourced mostly in Russia. Um, but the reality is actually you can find it in lots of different locations. Um, I say lots, it's hardly abundant, but there is a few <laughs> different mining locations. The beautiful blue-green Amazonite has been mined all over the world. Its name is somewhat misleading as uh, it has led many people to believe that it originates from the Am Amazon River Basin in Brazil. But it actually hails, as in the first deposit, um, in the most part from the Ilminsky Mountains in Western Russia. Deposits there have been so historically plentiful that the gemstone was distributed across Europe and perhaps even to Egypt in ancient times. It is known to have uh, been a favourite during Egyptian dynasties, but not much is known about Amazonite's presence on those uh, intercontinental trading routes, i.e. how did it get there? Um, what is widely known, though, is the powerful impression that one of the finest gemstones of the world has left on countless civilizations. Amazonite might be a rare stone, but its influence has spread to every corner of the globe to bring hope and healing to the masses through beautiful jewelry and adornments. Now, with brands like Irene Newith, bringing you, and I'm going to say it, I know you're all thinking it, a pretty basic piece of jewellery. Isn't it? It's a pretty basic piece of jewellery. It's. I mean, I'm a bit, I've got to be honest, it's lovely, but, I mean, the quality of the, yeah, the quality, it's in 18 karat gold as well. Three grand. You could make that jewellery makers, couldn't you? Yes. And I'm going to say, you can probably pick up a bolt ring cast for 50 quid. Yeah. An 18 karat gold bit, uh, uh, class. £50 is then the price of your Amazonite today. Um, here's another piece. 14 karat Amazonite cylinder gemstone necklace. £606. Could you make that? I know you can. I've seen your Wall of Fame pieces. How about this from Munro? Mozambique Amazonite drops. Oh, I love those. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. They're only small. Right. They are very small. The photo is quite misleading. <laughs> uh, they're made to order, but they're £290. Oof. For two stones. Look at that colour, though. It's a very pretty colour. Amazing. I could read on. Tiffany's, of course, Tiffany's of course. have used it. You think about Tiffany's, you think about that iconic robin egg blue yeah. box, don't you? So, of course, they're going to be uh, celebrating the beauty of Amazonite. So, go to Tiffany's & Co. You can get yourself a nice sterling silver 8mm beaded bracelet. Um, that's going to cost you £530. Could you make that? Yep. Yeah. I bet you could. You could actually make that a few times over. Ashley Clark. 18 karat gold vermeil. Uh, slice. So, they even say it's a slice in a pair of earrings. £350 for those earrings. They're lovely, don't get me wrong. They are very nice. Very nice, £350. Okay. And believe it or not, what I've shown you is actually quite affordable in comparison. Again, Misoma. I can't see that price at the bottom of the screen. £139. And it's very banded. It's quite opaque. It's got a lovely colour. Um, but yeah, £139 for that simple pendant. Or... Ashley Clark again, is it or is it is it Monica Veneda? Is it Monica Veneda? Three hundred and sixty pounds for a slice. Love it. Very nice. What about this? Uh, Eighteen carat gold plated over silver with Amazonite. One hundred and forty pounds. Now that is very similar to the strand that I'm about to bring you. Very very similar. How about this again, Monica Veneda? One hundred and fifty pounds um, for that siren bracelet. But it's not just your Monica Venade, your Ashley Clark, Harrods. Now, Amazonite comes in lots of different colours. Turquoise is turquoise blue is the most popular colour, of course. You can go to Harrods and buy a corded bracelet of Amazonite for £290. <laughs> I won't and be. <laughs> £290. You know? And it's like, okay, with silver. There's little silver what look like jump rings dotted in between. If you might be thinking, oh yeah, it's chunky, Amazonite. No, it's it's not. Um, there it is actually on the wrist line, you can see. Two hundred and ninety pounds. Could you make that bracelet, jewelry makers? How about designers like Louis Vuitton? 
Louis Vuitton this year announced to the world their newest collection. They unveil their fine jewellery collection, Colour Blossom Amazonite. The Maison expands its Colour Blossom collection with Amazonite, famed for its minty blue-green hue. And you can see it just peeking below the, the actual literature there. Uh, mesmerising Amazonite in a limited edition Colour Blossom collection. There it is. Love those designs. It's kind of like the pattern of a Louis Vuitton bag, isn't it? It does look lovely. This is reaching headlines everywhere. Can you see it? Um, a stupid dope. Okay. Righty. Um, <laughs> Louis Vuitton introduces Amazonite to its iconic uh, Colour Blossom collection. Amazonite, it's reaching headlines, this. Yeah. Because, I mean, I guess it's because they've probably used diamonds, sapphires, rubies. Now it's Amazonite. Yeah. Um, and by the way, if you want to know what price tags they command, for a simple little kind of slider style bracelet, £2,060. There is a diamond on there, but it's itty bitty. It's in 18 karat gold, I think. Mm. For the necklace, £2,260. So make no doubt, £31,500. That is gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's very Van Cleef. Yes. Very, very Van Cleef. In fact, jewellery makers, we've got coming up in the masterclass the perfect component to go alongside your Amazon night. We have. If you want to take inspiration from that piece of jewellery and save yourself the £31,500. <laughs> um, Maybe buy yourself a house or a yeah, car well, or yeah, something. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Headlines everywhere talking about the fact that this is a gemstone that Louis Vuitton are, are embracing in a limited edition opportunity. Our Amazonite, I have to say, the quality is impeccable. These are faceted to perfection. I have 40 available though. If you think all of those brands that we've just mentioned, and I'm not just showing those to gloat on how good your deal is, it also highlights how difficult it is for us to actually source this gemstone because the competition is there straight away. We've seen it with malachite. We've seen it with pearls, obviously. We're definitely seeing it with Amazonite. 30 carats in your four mil and that perfect minty blue green that you saw written about in association with Van, Cle uh, sorry, not Van Cleef, Louis Vuitton, and all those other big brands. I only have forty though, jewelry makers. Could I do a showcase of Amazonite? No. Moving forward, there might be something on the horizon. Something very special on the horizon. However, as we speak, no. And remember what Dave said. We, as a rule, don't tell you about things that are in the pipeline. That's not to be mean. <laughs> it's because basically if I tell you something and then it doesn't happen, you're going to get cross. So Ross is, is giving you this slice of information because he has personally worked on it. So there's something on the horizon. But even then, Ross, it's not a guarantee until it lands. Until it's in the building, even our birthday, when, which work, we work a whole year for, is provisional. You know, we basically, I've done birthday shows over my 12 years that have changed last minute because the product hasn't landed. Yeah. So it's not guaranteed that we'll be at that item that whatever's on the horizon is going to get here. There are 40. Good luck, everybody. We had 400 originally. Yeah, well, that speaks volumes. We're down to the final 10%. Yeah. Down to the final 10% opportunity. Good luck, everybody. Straight away, the multi-buyers. Um, oh, this comes with instructions as well by our lovely Yvonne. That's amazing, isn't it? Um, who's who's visualising an hour's night tassel right now? <laughs> Gorgeous. Four millimetre fasted rounds in a tassel. Yes, please. First price crash. When you saw the prices of Louis Vuitton, a simple bracelet, £2,060. Wow. I mean, you're paying no way near that price. Everybody that has purchased is multi-bought. Are you ready? Next price crash. 
but also not where we're closing. I've only got 40 though. Not where we are closing. We had 400. I've got 40 today. And we're going even lower than 19.99. It's so pretty. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It is one of those gemstones that everybody loves. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, completely. It's, yeah, it's one of those things where everybody loves the colour and remarks on it. Yeah. Because, you know, we spoke about teal earlier on. Mm. Amma's Night for me is that same sort yes. of, uh, the same description. You love it. Every It complements everybody's That's skin right. tone. I, mean, I you can't know, and it's what... it comes out of the ground looking so I know. beautiful. Colors. That's natural. It's madness. Totally natural. Not stopping at 19.99. Wow. Louis Vuitton, Ashley Clark, Monica Vaneda, Irene Newis, David Yeoman's another one I haven't mentioned. Misoma. None of those are bringing them to you at £12.99, are they? So you can you understand the challenges that we have here at Jewelry <laughs> Maker? Um, um, guess what? Oh, Ross. We launched this, Ross, didn't we? And the, we launched it at a crazy deal. If we had 100, we'd be double that price tag, at least. If it was 100, but we had 400. Because we had 400, we were able to do a mega deal. This is the last of the new Amazonite night that we have in the building. Let's keep everything crossed for whatever's on the horizon. Good luck, because we go even lower, jewellery makers. It's madness. We're already at twelve ninety nine for a gemstone that is firmly in the limelight. You've seen it literally plastered across headline to headline to headline and associated with the high-end luxury jewellery houses. And here we are going even lower. Um, get it while you can. I only have 40 from the original 400 that we launched. I remember launching it. Doesn't that speak volumes, Carol? Yes, but it's stuck in your head. I know I, know I launched this. Yeah. And I've, I see probably thousands of gemstones on a weekly basis. I know I launched this strand. But this is such an affordable way of joining that trend, isn't it? Yeah. You can be bang on trend with all those high names and... Tiffany's. Yeah. £530. Absolutely. Ashley Clark, £350. Or you can make your own for... Not £12.99. Not £12.99. <gasps> One thing we can say, jewellery makers, and please don't make any complaints about this. Moving forward, we cannot honour prices like this. There's no way of us getting natural Amazonite for $9.99. You know, this is something else. The popularity of Amazonite, yeah. Look at this photograph. These jade beads have been dyed a light Amazonite colour. They're dying <laughs> jade to look like Amazonite. I never thought I'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> the days of us bringing you natural Amazonite for a tenner is so far away. So far away. And that's because Louis Vuitton, David German, Miss Soma, Ashley Clark, Monica Veneda, Tiffany's and Co. You've got to remember we've got to compete with all those yeah, brands to source it for you. pushes the price up, doesn't it? Yeah. And, you know, when I went to Tucson a few years ago, I saw the buyers for those establishments and they will throw their money around. Really? Yeah, they do. And like they I said... outbid everybody. Yeah, they do. Cause, because their clientele immediately will pay those prices, won't yeah. they? So, I mean, £31,500 for a necklace... People have that budget. I don't. I don't. I don't. Definitely not. I but suspect they... I never will. <laughs> no, nor me. But you know what? Even if I did, I don't know if I'd no. spend it. Yeah, nine ninety nine. But again, don't complain when we ha I do bring it to you. We we'll still endeavour to bring it to the best prices. That's what we do and we do best. But at ten pounds, it's irreplaceable. Patsy's got two. Christina, Ayrshire, Mirtha, Tidfield. Denise has got four. Well done. Angela, Kathy, Midlothian, Lorna, Julie, Julie, uh, Julia, Linda, Kerry, Isle of Wight, Maker in Yorkshire, Maker in London. Do you know what I'm seeing? Four, four, two, 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 mm -hmm. four, two. Loads of multi buyers. Yeah, but stock up now while you still can. Mm. It's absolutely the right. While we've got to. quantity. Yeah. There is no new Amazon night in the building hopefully on the horizon but that you know ross are you what three six months what are you talking 
Tail end of the year, mm. six months, yeah. Okay. So you've got to get enough now to keep you going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Susan in Lancashire, we've got, we had 40. Have I got single figures now? Yeah, I thought so. Eight left. Uh, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Um, it's going to be an on-screen sellout, so I'll leave that with you. I'm still doing the single figures. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> over Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, I was just referencing Beyonce. Oh, the single figures. <laughs> yeah, next up, sorry, Ross is like not even entertaining me. Next talk, Chanel. <laughs> He's trying to save me. Um, he says, I'm not even bothered if these don't sell. Okay. You just want to see them. The new red jade. Oh, I was looking at these earlier. We were looking at these we were, earlier. Yeah. Okay, so hang on. It's amazing. Red jade eye is the rarest colour. Not imperial green. Red is the rarest. And that's because if you can imagine a boulder of jade eye, usually they're vast. They can be the size of this desk, they can be the size of a car, they can be the size of a house. They can be vast. Um and they don't know what colours inside. Jade experts, they buy jade blind, which I find fascinating, and they'll kind of shine their jade torches inside. They knock it. They knock it. So apparently different colours give different vibrate wow. vibrations or something like that. Um, but to put this into perspective, the rarest colour of all is actually red. Because if you imagine, I don't know, I'm holding a boulder of jade, it'd most likely be bigger than, than this, but if inside, say, it's got the finest imperial green colour, but you've also got some red, the red will literally be like the skin of an apple. It's where the boulder actually oxidises. So you'll only get a fraction of red colour. So a gentleman we've referenced over the years, and again, a good, a good friend of the Gemporia partnership is Roland Schlussel, who is like a guru of jade, has absolutely... Um, contributed to lots of the jade books and, mm. uh, and education around the world. It was him that we um, I had the privilege of meeting over in, in, in Arizona and he actually said, you don't get solid red color carvings. You don't get it because it's so rare. <laughs> um, however, what I see before me is precisely that, a solid red jadeite carving. But there's a hidden surprise to this amazing piece. It blew my mind. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> because carvings are amazing. You'll remember this is a gemstone which is physically as hard as steel. But, and this would have been one boulder, okay? Are you ready? I'd sit yourself down on this. I've not seen this before until today. So, look at that and it's double carved. Do you want to see the hidden secret? It's, How is it possible? I don't, I don't know. It's amazing. I don't know. That's carved out of one piece of jade. You can solder a shank, for example. You can solder gold around a gemstone and make it spin. Mm -hmm. But to actually carve a gemstone inside a gemstone yeah. and have that spinning. It's amazing. Of course, the horse as well is incredibly auspicious in Chinese culture. I'm going to double, look, flip it round. The whole thing's so tactile, isn't it's it? It's amazing. Look. No. It's internal, a pendant inside and a pendant. I remember seeing the first time, again, I'm going back to my early 20s here, but Piaget introduced spinning rings. And I was ah. like, oh, that's incredible. And you had basically, it's actually not so incredible because you can solder them together, can't you? Yeah. But the internal rings sort of span, um, span within, uh, um, kind of like this, almost like a runner, Yes. I guess. But you can solder that. Not so impressive, actually. But to carve out of a physical boulder by hand and it be in red jadeite. 
There are seven of these in the world. <laughs> no way. I was fully expecting, Ross. Did you notice, everybody, that I didn't say type A? Because I was fully expecting this to be type B. It's huge. Mason and Kay, who, again, got a fantastic relationship with them. They only sell jade. They say red jade can be heated to increase its redness, okay, but the usual, it usually results in a dull brown, okay, and translucence is lost. The process by uh, the way is irreversible and still considered type A, but some labs may uh, put a mark as heated. Okay, so same as, same as, the reality is, like tanzanite, for example, a tanzanite is classed as treated, mm. but it's not because... I know, I know that you can bury tanzanite in the ground, in and around Mount Kilimanjaro. If you wait long enough, it acts as an oven and it will transform the colour. It's, nice. it's, it's basically replicating what the sun does. Wow. Is that any different? I mean, it's just a definition, isn't it? You yeah. have to say certain things for certain reasons, but no. I was expecting you to say this has died. Yeah. Or polymer impregnated because the color is that vibrant I've got six of these available in the vault that blows my mind what a, when we talk about Jade we talk about color this is the rarest of all yep. it might not be more expensive than Imperial green color but it is the rarest yeah then we talk about translucency you can see how fine that crystal is you've got that beautiful kind of mottling but the translucency is still there but then we also add when you've got a carving like this artistry it's the skill i can't believe to carve inside something like that oh it's just so clever that's absolutely incredible isn't it that noise is really pleasing as well yeah or well, the music of yes. jade in the past I've, I've i've actually spoken about i think it was uh sotheby's one how you who um spoke about the um, artistry of jade yeah. basically he said what jade e experts look for it's not the same as looking going into an art gallery and go oh look at that the mona lisa for example is she is a hundred centimeters by so such and such and the canvas is this it's not that they talk about the artistry don't mm. they jadeite should be the same yes it's not about the carrot weight it's about the quality, the skill that goes into yeah. creating that work of art. But you've got, in addition to that, the rarest colour of all. Yeah, that's right. Um, look at jade, not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art shaped, made by Mother Nature and shaped by human hands. Well remembered, Adam. We're going to go down to your price tag. I only have four. Good luck. Even here, £2,000, that's absolutely mind-blowing. If you went to Mason & K, if you went to Pillar & Stone, which is Roland Schlussel's uh, business, you ain't going to find something like this for anywhere near £2,000. Um, and it'd be highly unlikely that you'd see it at £249. Absolutely. Sally, Marie, Deborah, there is a queue on our call, on our phone lines, jewelry makers. We are busy today across all the channels. So if I can encourage you to shop on the web or on the phone lines, if not, bear with our call center. They, I promise they will get to you as soon as they possibly can. They are fantastic. 249 pounds for such an amazing work of art. Beautiful, but there was only what seven at the beginning of this auction opportunity that tells you the rarity mm. down to the final four I'll leave it with you because I can see you there waiting on the phone lines the next one. I oh I've got ten off That's amazing. You've got rolling hills it, it, Again, it's your red jadeite Can you see the detail in this? That's beautiful. Are they the fields? Can you see? I can almost imagine. There's a little figure there on, on a bridge. Aww. Amazing colour. It again, this is not an industry term. This is very much an Ellism. <laughs> um, but for red jade, it should look like the super ripe cherry tomato. It's not a, that's not a, an industry term. <laughs> 
but it should look a nice ripe, ripe juicy cherry tomato and that's definitely what I see here good luck everybody I've got 10 available I'm gonna do it in one price crash that's exquisite because you've got three dimensional carving in this yeah. as well haven't you the skill that goes into it I'm yeah just, I wouldn't even know where to start no and remember never lose sight of the fact that this is the this is the skin of the boulder yeah so uh, uh, carvings that I've seen in red jade have been like a proportion haven't they they've been like a um an, one area and if you do see a, a you know a solid red jade like carving they're absolute fortunes yeah. what was that one that you saw, you had at the bottom of the screen earlier on Roscoe um where it was yeah what that's it here we go ten thousand pounds <laughs> natural type a burmese jadeite set in 18 karat gold on a uh, gold on a cord it says diamonds but they're tiny ten thousand pounds but again you can see that lovely color 149 pounds with us today jewelry makers to get hold of your burmese beautiful burmese jadeite amazing and remember the mine is closed so no more of this is coming from the ground um did i just see there as well earlier on oh yeah this the, the picture of the horse should have spoken about that earlier never mind um the meanings behind behind the horse um 149 well done plus you can get hold of it on your split payments less than 50 pounds um, I only had 10 available opportunities. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay. We're going to do the final few illusion set. I've only got two. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they, horses? So beautiful. Um, okay, speaking of beauty. One of the newest in, um, inventions, that's probably developments, let's look at it that way. Developments in carving. When you've got, again, I know I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but Burmese jadeite gone, mind out, 800 years done. Um, Kotan done. It's now illegal to mine Kotan jade because they're trying to retain what is there. Guatemalan, not deplete, but not being mined because of that Mayan mask. So what they are trying to do is retain as much carrot weight in each and every single one of the pieces. So they're not carving it so much in the three-dimensional, two-dimensional pieces. They're, they've introduced a new technique called illusion carving, where you don't lose the carrot weight. Um, look at this. It, so if I, if I, can you see that there? It's almost etched onto, you have to have Fei Chi, firstly. You have to have the finest translucency of your jade. But look, under certain lights, if I turn it under a light, so can you see clever. how the carving almost disappears? Or if I were to put a torch behind this, the carving disappears. That's because it is literally on the surface, not transferred, etched into the carving. Look at that detail from the wrinkles on his nose. <laughs> To his tendrils, yeah. the tongue, his teeth. It's incredibly detailed. Is that a double-headed dragon as well? Is that two dragons or double? Can you see? Because there's two heads. Look at that. That's mind-blowing, isn't it? And they do say that you never see the whole dragon in Chinese culture. You never see the whole dragon because they're considered so powerful. If you did see all of it, oh yes, it wouldn't be good news. No. But also in the East, a dragon is not something to be feared. It's something that brings, uh, um, they look after the waters. So we associate them with fire, don't we, yeah. in the West? Whereas in the East, it's all about the water. Oh, interesting. Um, we're at £999 for your beautiful illusion set Guatemalan jade in the black colour. Look at that. It's yeah. absolutely incredible. Lovely size, that as well. Yeah, very wearable. Yes. We're at 149 How many do we have, Roscoe? There's only nine available within the vault. So if you've had your eye on this, then now is the time to do it. Yeah, I think that cow raises is a really good point. It's a lovely wearable size. Not everybody wants the massive carvings, no. do they? Do you like this ad? Would you wear this? Yeah, I think it's very unisex, isn't it? Yeah. 
It's got Father's Day on the horizon. Yep, absolutely. That'd Put be lovely, nice wouldn't it? Cord. Yeah, cool, because you've got the drill hole at the top there yeah. as well. Absolutely beautiful. Hazel, you've got yours well done. I've got another maker there on the web. In three seconds, we take it even lower, <gasps> the final nine opportunities. And that artistry just blows my mind. One, two, nine. Amazing. Wow. You couldn't get, if you were to do a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional carving, yeah. you wouldn't get the detail. No, the same. Not at all. You get lovely detail, don't get me wrong, but it wouldn't be though. the same. Yeah. It's like the difference between sketching and um, an oil painting. Yes. Do you see where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. There's the, I mean, look at the scales on his body. Every single scale has been beautifully, intricately carved without removing the bulk of the carrot weight. Just incredible. It's really ingenious, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Michael, have you got your phone on you? Oh, no, I've got my phone on me. <laughs> Hang on. You've been doing sneaky shopping. I have been doing sneaky shopping, yeah. <laughs> and the reason why I ask is because illusion setting is if I was to do that, the illusion, uh, sorry, the, the, the carving disappears altogether. Can you see? Look at that, can you see? Wow. That is amazing. He's literally like coming through the darkness. Wow. How amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out. Your basket's on this one. I only had nine remaining. Um, hello to Justin, David, Hazel. Uh, I've got one more of these to bring you. And she's, he, I was going to say she. It's a he. I love this one. I love it so much. Peacocks are beautiful, aren't mm, they? Always. But they don't, don't, don't they know they're beautiful? Yes, they're very diva-ish. Yeah, of all the birds, so it has to be the biggest strut diva. Strut about. They do strut <laughs> around the place. However, when they can't fly. Can't fly for toffee. Nah. They're kind of like Buzz Lightyear forward they style. They just land. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they are beautiful. Um, so we have, and by the way, again, in China, um, I think I'm saying this right. The peacock is um, like the phoenix in, in oh, true right. form. Um, so they are very much celebrated. Um, look at that. Just fabulous. All those beautiful, that detailing so of that detailed. tail. Yeah. Gorgeous. Even down to the crest on the top of his head. I love that bit. Why is it in the, in the bird world, the boys are always much more beautiful? It's true. Ducks. Pheasants. <laughs> Adam's like, excuse me, not just the bird world. No, but they are, aren't they? They're always so fabulous. Well, they have to be worthy of a lady. That, that's, it's like that one that dances around and she's like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh>. um, <laughs> look at this. Beautiful. All that detail in your illusion carving at £199. <gasps> Gorgeous. See, now I'd wear the peacock. I would. And I think my husband would wear the dragon. I think, yes. Absolutely. And you can both say you got one. I feel this one's a little more ladylike yeah. than the other one. Yeah, even yeah. though it is a peacock. Yes. As opposed to a peahen. Well, a peahen wouldn't make a great coffee. Do, pe do peahens <laughs> have the tail? I don't know. Are I'm they not quite sure. dull? They are brown. Yeah. I know they're brown. Roscoe, do peahens have the tail? We don't know. They've got a tail, but it's not as long, and they're brown, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 like pheasants, isn't it? Male <laughs> yeah, pheasants are beautiful. Yeah, they get all the flashy colours, don't they? Yeah. Oh, now Ross has just said L. Back to the carving. I believe <laughs> that this piece is the lowest price that we do on any of your illusions. Wow. Your illusion carvings. Um, yeah, purple clock, not the red clock. We're going even lower. Ooh. So if you've always had your eye on the illusion carvings, and you're fond of peacocks too, they are very cool. I think they're cool, and they've got attitude, haven't they? Yeah, they have a. They have a... <gasps> Ooh. All of that detail. 
tail. Wow. I don't know how close you can get, Jimmy, but look at those little feathers. Look at those tiny, tiny little feathers. How many of these were there? Um, how many of these are available, Roscoe? Twelve. No, not many. Of them. Look at that little... It's remarkable. I don't think I could do that with a pencil. No, I definitely couldn't. Yeah, to be fair, I couldn't face. draw that, never mind. No, exactly. Into stone. <laughs> Whose face? All oh. carved into a beautiful gemstone. £24.99, pence, jewellery makers, um, on your split pay. I only have a, a, a limited quantity of them as well. And have you noticed as well, the illusion carvings, we only have a handful. Oh. There's not masses of them. Um, amazing. Make sure you're checking out. Trina wants two. Oh, Trina, are you going for a, a pair of earrings? Oh, lovely. They'd be lovely they earrings. They would. Now... Okay. I'll make blue jadeite donut. And Ross has just said, I can't believe how low this next piece goes to. Okay. 10 carats, which I like. That's a lovely size. Because you could wear that as a ring. It's perfect for a ring or on a bangle, you know, like as a bead on a silver bangle. Earrings? Gorgeous. Yes. They could be lovely stud earrings. Yeah. Oh, I think, I, I think that. Yes. Oh, it's nice. It's a great size. How beautiful. Okay, now jewellery makers, this is totally natural Guatemalan jade eye. Again, it's a lovely size. And Ross has just said in my ear, Elle, I can't believe how low this goes. With that, yeah. Ross says, without knowing anything, if you'd have shown me this piece, this would be the price that I'd guess. These, this is Ross's guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's irreplaceable. In Hong Kong, there wasn't any Guatemalan jade. At Tucson, there wasn't. We know the mining stopped. We've got 18 available. We're going to do one minute for you to get hold of this. Because it is priced too low. Who's launched this? Have we launched this, Ross? <laughs> We're just in damage limitation now. Yeah. <laughs> It's that That's translucent. Madness. You could literally see my fingerprint then, couldn't you? <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. There we go. So you could have earrings. You could. I I agree with what you just said there, Ross. That that is far too low. Yeah. Look at that translucency. Oh, it's beautiful. Denise has snapped up three. Well done, Denise. Hello to you, Catherine in Yorkshire. Patricia in Merseyside. How many do we have? Sorry. Eighteen. But clock to close, um, so make sure you're checking them out. And again, if you love all things luxurious, you're going to absolutely adore the masterclass that's moments away. Um, for the first time, diamond encrusted clovers. Yay! Unbelievable. Um, hello to you, Hertfordshire. Hello to you, Malik in Berkshire. Hello to you, Julie. Lisette in Germany. Hello to you, Catherine in South Yorkshire. Julie in Tyne and Ware. Patricia in Merseyside. Denise. I've got one more before the break. Then we'll do the World of Fame. And then it's all about your diamond encrusted clovers. Unbelievable. <laughs> Next auction. I've got 30. And it goes what? Under 20 pounds. Nothing on this in this vicinity should be under 20. Type A, Burmese jadeite. What price did you say? Goodness me. Under 20 pounds. I've got 30 though. They're beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. In your lovely free form shapes, they're not small either. No, they're, they're definite tumbles as opposed to your chips. They're very nice. Nineteen ninety-nine for a full thirty-eight centimetre strand. Sixty second clock on your screen. Clock oh, to close. Wow, these. <gasps> yeah. Really Love nice. that the textures that you get from your tumbles. Your yeah, free well, I just think they're so unique. One makes a really nice ring or you know, things yeah. just yeah, each one's its own little story, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And I love that. You know, Adam's just said, Director Adam is like, oh, this is a great opportunity for you to get hold of Jade Out, where yes. most of us probably wouldn't have been able to afford it. Absolutely. And under 20 quid. Yeah. You know, go, never mind outside these four walls. When Jewelry Maker first launched Jade Jade Out, not, not over the past few years, yeah. I meant before that, they were 80, 90 pounds. Absolutely. Per strand. And that was great. 
Mm. That was great. Look at the quality that you're getting now for 20 pounds. Coming yeah. up after the break, jewelry makers, like I said, we are um, inspired by the mizzle. That is Van Cleef and Arfels, <laughs> all things Alhambra. First time ever, jewelry makers, we have a diamond encrusted clover. So very excited about these. And of course, the inspiration with Carol. Join us after this. <laughs> Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Jewellery Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you on Tuesday the 11th and we've got some fantastic projects in store for you. So at nine o'clock we have the most beautiful multi-wrap bracelets. They come with meter long gemstones and our, uh, sterling silver buttons. They're really cute, you're gonna love them. And then at 12 o'clock we have one of my best selling items. We have inlays. We have inlay charms, we have inlay rings. You're going to absolutely love it. I can't wait to share that with you. Some nifty little tips and tricks in there that anyone can do uh, so I hope you can join me I'd love to see you there can't wait to be back see ya have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com go to your order history find your order and click on download content from there you can save to your computer or print off a copy Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Good morning, everyone, Mark here. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Monday, the 10th of June. I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. Nine o'clock, I have got my favourite gemstone of 2024 so far, Avocado Alashan Agate, the most beautiful, beautiful gemstone I think I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And at 12 o'clock, the long-awaited return of the Bugle Bead. So tune in this Monday to see what I'm going to make with these little beauties. So that's Monday, the 10th of June. Join myself, Carol and the team. You will not want to miss this show. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. It's lunchtime. <laughs> Where has today gone? That's why my tummy, right? What we <laughs> were talking about those. I said, like, they're not chips. Adam Adam says, mmm, chips. And now I just want chips. Now we're all desperate for I chips. I just want chips. Yeah. Chips are good. Chips are good. Anyway, <laughs> you, <laughs> you've got your wall of fame. But before we do, I've been teasing you about Carol's masterclass, haven't I? Shiny, shiny, shiny. Yeah, things. they are. It's the first time we've always we've, we've well, I say we've always we haven't. We've introduced the inspiration of Van Cleef and Arpels over the past couple of years. I think it is. Would you agree? Yep. Um, however, for the first time today, we're bringing you diamond, genuine diamond, encrusted clovers. Take a moment to have a look at the first ever diamond encrusted four leaf clover. I'm thinking, um, Carol, I mean, is that a hard piece of jewelry to actually do? Not the way we've provided it. So the, there's, there's various things about these clovers that I really, really like. They come with two attached jump rings, okay. not just one. So that right. gives you new options and then they are drilled through the center so your diamond comes already set in a peg all you have to do is pop it through and secure it so it's it's actually a super easy way to make what looks like a super complex piece of jewelry now the hole is there but you just can't see it on that yes. photograph and also you know you just mentioned that double connection point that's what van cleef and arpels do mm, it's but not, it makes it's such not a on difference. one difference it's, it's like yeah but that means because so for the ring i did I have reduced it to one connection point because I wanted it to be a charm ring. Um, so it doesn't mean you have to have the two. You no, can, you, you can, can always remove it. Remove one because they're precious metals. You can buff it down. So you, you get lots and oh. lots of choices. And that's because that's a charm ring and obviously the clover moves around. I put another peg in the other side so you've got a different colour. Oh my goodness. Side. So, do you want me to flip it over? Yeah. So you've got your white diamond, which is beautiful, that They're diamond. Pretty, aren't they? But then, hang on, we flip it over. Um, is that an emerald? I don't know what it is. It came in a mixed pack of pegs. I think it's either an emerald or an onyx. We've got some little mixed packs. Yes, yeah, it was in one of I'll those, so I bit. don't know which one it was, but it just, oh, my when it flips goodness. over as you're wearing it and your hands move, you obviously see the different colours. And the malachite's gorgeous. It is. Uh, we were just saying that. The, co the quality of the malachite, mm, absolutely beautiful. Fabulous. Anyway, it's available on pre-order right now, jewellery makers. I'm hoping we've got enough of these to go around. Fingers crossed. Um, so, but first, your fabulous creations in the Wall of Fame. Can I, can I have a plea? Not nearly enough people entering the Wall of Fame of late. Mm -hmm. And we know we have thousands of people that tune in on a daily basis. Get your, get your entries into the Wall of Fame. We want to see your amazing If we don't mates. see it, they'll take it away. <gasps> By the way, they've never said that. I was going to say, would they do that? Shock, horror. <laughs> that is me speculating. <laughs> <laughs> she made that up, ignore I, it. <laughs> no, it's me speculating, but it's true. If you, don't use, if you don't use it. I suppose so, yes. So get your entries into the Wall of Fame. they think people don't want it. Yeah. Exactly. We've been doing it since day one. Uh -huh. And it doesn't cost anything either. You know, like you, you do, you do, I don't know, one of those phone in uh, competitions on like a radio oh, yeah, station. They charge you, don't they? Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah. They're like £2 a time, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Every week we give away £100 to a winner. It's literally just pulled out of a tombola. And £50 to a runner up. It's not done on merit. 
It doesn't matter whether you're brand new to jewelry making or whether you're fully established. It's a case of us showing you amazing pieces. The only rule is that they're jewelry maker products. It's brilliant, isn't it? And I think viewers really like seeing what other people have yes. made with the same stuff as well. So it's kind of an inspiration for people. It's just lovely to see what you've all been up to. I say that because we've only got three entries today. That's not very many. No. So please send them in. Please send them in. It's very simple. You yeah, email us at Jewelry Maker Studio. What is it? Studio at, I think. Studio <laughs> at. Studio at jewelrymaker.com. Anyway, <laughs> take it away. You were admiring these, weren't I you? like this very well. I did a lot of snake stuff when I did Britain's Next Gem, so I'm a bit taken with this. There you go. So this is number 732, Brenda Chibnall Smith. Hi all, this is my make for this week, watching Alison's snake ring demo. Could do with a win. Good luck to all Waffers, have a great show. Thank you for all the laughs and great deals. I really love these. They're gorgeous, Brenda. Yes, very nice. Loving those, good luck. Oh, you very, got, I think ooh. I can guess the gems. Yes, I thought so. <laughs> um, number 733 is from Jade Cousins. And, and Jade says, uh, hello, jewelry maker. My entry this week is a pair of Botswana agate pear drop earrings. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to use the others from the beautiful strand, all from oh. jewelry maker. Good luck, everybody. Jade, they're stunning. I, I even love how you've got like the cherry blossom in the background of that photograph. I Your number Botswana 700 agate. and me. It's really nice. Isn't Lovely. It? Do you know it's one locational? No, I did not. It's one locational. I've, all my years, I only just found that out. Wow. I know. Um, oh, I know yeah. it's called Botswana, but it can sometimes be called Botswana after it's the place of its discovery, couldn't it? But no, it is, it is one occasion. <laughs> 733. When you've finished scrapping, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last one for today is 734 from Deborah Richards. Hi all at JM. My entry to this week's Wall of Fame is a simple stretchy bracelet. It's a gift for my brother's partner, personal to her, with a mother, mother of pearl initial and zodiac sign and birthstones. The tiny yellow tourmaline beads give sparkle and colour, added a couple of opal chips and black tourmaline with pearls to add substance. I did it while watching the make along last week. I didn't zoom in, but I enjoyed the show. Maybe next time if you ever do it again. I remember launching these star signs. I think they're yeah, lovely. Yeah, they're lovely. Isn't that a great gift? Gorgeous. Fantastic. Can't go wrong with something personalised, can you? No, and it shows so much thought for yeah, the recipient. Absolutely. And I hope we do that again as well, Deborah. It mm. was good fun. Yeah, it was super. It was good fun. Um, if we do, then obviously I think we'll advertise it so that lots of people yes. know. Yes, good idea. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? If we talk about Van Cleef and Arpels, um, or let's, let's, let's retract that. Tiffany's, what do you think they, is their most iconic design? Tiffany's and Co. Would you say the padlock, maybe? Yeah. The heart? The heart, I think. The heart? Mm. Or a classic solitaire? Yes, definitely. When you think Cartier, would you go the Panther? I think it's probably their most yes, probably. iconic. Um, but you could also go the Love Bangle. Um, if you go to Van Cleef, it's it's definitely the Alhambra. Yeah. Isn't it? And the Alhambra reached a milestone recently. They celebrated a big birthday. Oh. I can show you. Um, can we go to the beginning, Ross? Yeah. So we talk. There we go. The history of the Alhambra. A value dear to the Maison is luck. Luck as a perennial guiding light for Van Cleef and Arpels, inspiring some of its most iconic creations. Four-leaf clover motifs first appeared in the Maison's archives as early as 1920, embellishing select creations over the years alongside other symbols of good fortune, including wooden talismans, charms, and benevol benevolent fairies. <laughs> Jack Sarpels, nephew of the founding couple, an avid collector would often pick four-leaf clovers in his backyard, offering them to his employees as a good luck charm. Oh, There's a story lovely. there straight away. To be lucky, you must believe in luck, says Jack Sarpels, <laughs> nephew of Estelle Arpels, an avid collector. Like I said, he used to pick those four-leaf clovers in his backyard, offering them to his employees alongside the English poem, Don't Quit. Oh, how lovely. So having that, I mean, again, straight away, 
the Alhambra actually has meaning, hasn't yes. it? Whereas before you just think, oh, I just thought Cleef. it was pretty. Before. Yeah, it's Van Cleef yeah. celebrities, but it actually has got meaning behind it. Yeah. But there have been developments onto on on of this style over the years. Um, the classic uh, Van Cleef and Arpels, where it had like literally the same motif. Um, you, you sometimes had just one in the in the yes. centre of the neckline. Then you could have some with five, right the way to the long line necklaces. And I can show you countless different celebrities all wearing. It's still as popular today as it was back then. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you look at Here's just the one. So not only have they got the clover, they're now bringing you different symbols. This is a flower, obviously, but it's got the diamond in the center now as well. Mm. So there you go. How much is that? Three grand. Oof. Yeah, ouch. Can I just point <laughs> out, yours are not topaz or zircon or a, a crystal. Yours are diamonds too. They are. So here we go, back to the four leaf clover, you can get the tiger's eye version. £3,700. That is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Mm. But it's actually, it's not a big diamond. No. To, ju to justify best part of £4,000. Yeah, absolutely. But again, they're iconic, aren't they? Yeah. They're recognised. 100%. Yeah. Fast forward multiple decades. When we first saw four-leaf clovers in Van Cleef and Arpels, it was as early as the 1920s. Fast forward um, over a hundred years, they're still using that motif. Yeah, enduring. Yeah, it stood the test of time, hasn't it? But now, like I say, they play with the, the shapes. Um, we'll show some of these because They've, they've invent, reinvented, okay, with the magic Alhambra, where you've actually got asymmetry in this as well. That's the mother of pearl that you can see there. I love that one. Um, there she is, actually. Oh, that's a lovely picture, isn't it? It is. Gorgeous. We have got a malachite version, by the way. Notice how um, our queen now um, actually doesn't have the diamond in it. You can see her there on the wrist. She's got the agate. In the ear, I think she's Bor Boris Princess Catherine's. <laughs> um, the Queen of Pop, Mariah Carey. Again, you can see the different shapes. Um, but look at this one here. This is this is this is perfect. So that that's Naomi Watts at Van Cleef and Arpels. Can you see in the background? Oh yeah. Um, now, alternatively, because they mix with shapes, I think they're mother of pearl, but they're diamond encrusted mother of pearl. Can you see that? Ah. In the center. So they do gem encrust them. You saw it with tw with. Uh, um, Tiger's Eye, uh, you've seen it with the Malachite and now we're seeing it with the Mother of Pearl. So for the first time here at Jewelry Maker, we have never actually in introduced the diamond peg opportunity. No, brand new. Brand new today. I'm really hoping, Ross, there's enough of these. I... Oh. oh dear. There's 50 of each. That's not massive. Right, okay. I'm gonna start with the Black Spinel. Oh my goodness me, Carol. They are beautiful. Adele wears carnelian, black spinel and malachite, yeah. Yeah. Well, onyx. But hers hasn't got the diamond in. No. Okay. Here is... This is how they come. There's 50 jewellery makers. There's the double link, which if I hold it like that. So this is how it comes. So shiny. So shiny. But then if I just, sorry, Jimmy, turn that round. You've basically got a diamond stud, yes. haven't you? It's basically like a diamond stud. It's a, yeah, so it's a little stud peg, but it's got quite a long back, which means that you can do different things with it. Okay, and you're going to show us how to set I'm these, right? I'm going to show you, yeah, one, one of the ways I do it. Ooh. And then I might tell you about the ring, because that was slightly different. Wow, I have 50 available opportunities, jewelry makers, that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's the first time we've ever actually introduced diamonds to our um, Alhambra inspiration. So yeah, so they basically go through the center. Yeah, it goes through the center um, and then you can loop it at the back and use it as an attachment, which is what I've done on the Spanel necklace. Um, or if you want to put one on either side, you can trim it down and put them in that way. But don't oh they look beautiful? Goodness. It just takes it to a whole nother level, I think. Doesn't it? 
Okay, the graphics are live. Now, obviously, if I turn this around, you can see the pegs literally poking out the back. Yes. But hang on, I'm also thinking, there's a stud earring if I wanted it to be. Yep. You could glue that into place and make it turn them into stud earrings. Yeah, absolutely. And because these are precious metals, if you want to remove the jump rings on the top, you can snip them off and buff them down with an owl buffer and get it all smooth and shiny again. And you won't notice? And they won't, no. Wow. I wish we had more of these. I don't think 50 is enough. I don't think so either. <laughs> and that is a genuine diamond. It's not topaz. It's not zircon even. No. Nope. It's not a crystal. It's not a cubic zirconia. It's a genuine diamond. And it's not teeny tiny either. No. What? Three mil, isn't it? It is a good quality diamond. You can see colourless diamond there in the centre. Uh, I hope I've got enough of these to go around. Well, no, I know I haven't. 50 isn't going to be enough. You have been shopping ahead and pre-ordering on this. If you have any questions for our Carol, then do text in 0800 655 Today, you know, not £3,700. <laughs> £99.99. £99. It is a genuine diamond. And a big one at that. And I think I'm right in saying that's gold-plated silver. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's... Precious metal. It's absolutely encased in precious metal on a precious metal stud. And really easy and simple to use. I think they're brilliant. Wow. Um, just so I know, we've got three colourways, yeah? Four. Four colourways. Yeah. So in terms of the colourways, we've got black onyx. Black Sorry, spinel. black spinel. We've got the malachite. Malachite. Carnelian. Carnelian. And what? And this blue agate. Oh, that's the first. We've never had the blue agate I before. I love this one. I think it's my favourite. Oh, that's gorgeous. And it's got a blue diamond. Wow. Aren't they pretty? Ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only to get hold of these lovely jewellery makers. Not your price though. And also, the size of the diamond alone. I know. That's not your price either. Oh, I don't know what they're going But to. for the diamond alone, though, that's amazing, isn't it? I mean, diamonds, yeah, where, where else? Because also, you don't have to set this diamond. If I buy loose diamonds, I've then got to set them into a bezel and all of that. This is all done for you. The hole in the clover is drilled for you. The diamond is set for you. All you've got to do is pop it in and secure it. Yeah. We've never done this before. Never with a diamond. We've done the, we've done the four-leaf clover. Yeah. Done that, and the beaded detailing in precious metal. We've done that, absolutely, and we'll continue to do that. But can you imagine now actually introducing a genuine colourless diamond to your Van Cleef and Arpels inspired pieces? We're not even stopping here. Suzanne's got four. Well done, Suzanne. Good for you. Good Karen's work, yeah. got three. Sally, Janice, Wilma, Cheshire, Jenny, Ayrshire, Pauline, Kent. You've got to remember, that's what... 20% of the stock gone? Yeah, straight away. Gone. I like we're not even at the, the price. The two sides are different because you've got the beaded on one side, but then equally the other side is the other side's pretty just too. as pretty as well, which is why I wanted to do the charm ring because then you can use both different sides. You can flip it the, over. Yeah. So here you go. Of the design because I like them both. Yeah. It is. You can see that quality, that yeah. consistency of quality, They're front lovely. and reverse. Beautiful. Oh, oh mm -hmm. hang on a minute. Obviously, I'm... <laughs> it's all got a bit risky. <laughs> pop it there in. There you go. Pop it back in. Obviously, you would set it properly. I'm just uh, positioning it there to, to show you. Uh, at 49.99, that's good, isn't it? For the diamond alone. Yeah. Will you try and get diamond stud earrings of that size for 50 oh, quid? I just can't. No. Um, absolutely not. 34 pounds and 99 pence only. That's brilliant. Get two and make yourself some earrings. Definitely. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Well done, Karen, getting three. Sally, Janice, Wilma, Cheshire, Jenny, Suzanne getting four. Rosita. Um, good luck to Kent, to Pauline, to Ayrshire, to another Pauline, uh, to Birmingham, to County Antrim. It is busy today, jewellery makers, if you love all things Alhambra, but don't have the Van Cleef and Arpels budget. I, I, I'm not ashamed to say I don't. No, me either. I don't. You know, we, when I went down to London, it was the beginning of this year, actually, um, and I, oh, I was poorly then. Oh, I was poorly then. Been in the wars. Yeah, mind you, I suppose it was six months ago. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but yeah, I was like thinking, I must, I've got to go. I want to go to Selfridges. I need to yeah. see Van Cleef and Arbel. And I peeled myself out of bed to oh, go. Bless and you. and it, like literally, it. I know what prices they are on Van Cleef and Arbel's, but just to physically see them. And I can tell you though, jewellery makers, it was more the fact of, I've only seen them in photographs. Mm. I've never seen them in person. Is the quality that much different? It's really not. It's really not. I mean, there's, well, what, you know, what more can you do? It's a simple shape with a fairly simple setting. And it's, finished. Yeah. A genuine diamond. Absolutely. That okay. makes it so special. I can't believe we're doing this. We've got four, four gems to launch. 20 minutes on show. You've got your demo as well. We're going lower. Wild. I, I, at this price point, if your budget allows, can you imagine creating the magic Alhambra and, and having a few of the oh, different beautiful. gems? beautiful, with different diamonds, with oh. different stones. Yeah. So are they different diamonds? Yeah, I think so. I think the blue's got a blue diamond. So the agate's got a blue diamond. The malachite has a colourless diamond as well. Wow. Oh my goodness oh, me. Yeah. 29.90. If these don't sell out, I'm all over this. <laughs> oh my goodness me, they're so beautiful. And Carol, something like I I'm not the most accomplished jewelry maker. I've never proclaimed myself to be. You know, but even I can actually set that in the center, especially after you've told me. You genuinely just need a pair of round nose pliers or yeah. if you really don't want to mess with pliers, you can epoxy resin it in. Really? Yeah. There you go. And that's how it comes. How beautiful are these? Twenty nine ninety nine. Again, can we shop ahead on the other projects too? You can. So you can shop ahead on the carnelian. You can shop ahead on the malachite. You shop ahead on the blue uh, blue agate as well. Okay. Malachite is very striking. Yeah. Well, that's iconic, isn't it, to yes. Van, Van Cleef and Arpels? Um, you know, when you think about the Alhambra. Probably one of their, I don't know this for certain, obviously I've never been to one of their board meetings. <laughs> um, but I should imagine, I should imagine that Malachite is probably one of their biggest sellers. Yes, I would have thought so. You know, you see, you see it probably the most in their marketing campaigns, don't you? Um, so here it is. Yeah, that's amazing. With a white diamond. And I love that it's in the silver, this one. Yeah, beautiful. One price crash going straight down to it. Half oh. the stock's gone. You do get Carol's instructions as well with these purchases. You do. You get the instructions for the necklace. For this beautiful necklace. Just but it's here. so easy. There are only six steps. Okay. That's how simple it is. Well, we don't need to overcomplicate no. it, do we? I, well, I just wanted it to be something that everybody could make. Yeah. How amazing is that? Just choose your gemstone. Yeah, exactly. Going straight down to it, lots of multi-buyers on this. I'm not surprised. And lots of you sh are taking the initiative to shop ahead on the different colours as well. Tw I can't believe we were... Yeah, for it's £30. Pounds. You gotta, let's not forget. Let's not forget. A clover is the most, the hardest shape to actually carve. Um, but that diamond on its own should be more than £29.99. Yeah. On its own. That, that arm stack which is a very expensive <laughs> arm stack that I'm seeing my peripheral vision. Yeah. Can you see, um, can you see the gold where, that's not actually a diamond that's just literally beaded. Yeah. But they actually do that with a diamond as well. And again, the price absolutely skyrockets when it's got that diamond in the center. Wow, jewelry makers. And again, it literally looks like a stud earring. To get the diamond for twenty nine ninety nine, it's a beautiful, pure, colourless diamond, round billiard cuts. You've got fifty seven stroke fifty eight facets. Um, yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Fifty seven or fifty eight facets. It's fab. I think some of our viewers were saying as well on Facebook that they want um, the, these ones to complete the suite of ones they've been collecting from us. Mm. So it's an ideal chance at that price. <laughs> Yeah, just to top up your collection, isn't it? And have uh, and also we'll get yourself a diamond. A diamond. Version. Yeah. Wow, well done. Okay, we're going to do the demonstration. 
and then we'll bring you the other two. But you can shop ahead on those, okay? So um, if you want the carnelian, I'm loving the carnelian. Um, or if you want the blue agate, you can shop ahead on those. Yeah, Over gorgeous. To you, right. So I'm going to show you the same project that's in the instructions, um, but in a different colorway. And this is the necklace. So it starts with, you need to get yourself a finished necklace chain mm -hmm. um, with a clasp on. Then you have got your clover and your diamond peg that comes with it. Now all I've done is pop that peg through the hole from the front and I've used my round nose pliers just to bend it into a little, can you see that, a little loop at the back. Um, now, if you wanted to leave it as it is, you could just fold that loop flat and wear it like that as a charm. But we are going to add a drop from the back of that as well. So I'm going to use that loop part of the peg as a connector. So what I've done is popped just some complementary beads that I found in my stash onto a head pin. And I'm going to feed that through the loop at the back of the clover. And that's going to make, it's A, going to hold them together, but B, let them dangle so that they move and you can see them changing in the light. So we'll just make a simple wrap loop back there to secure that and snip off our excess. This is all in the instructions as well with the pictures, so you can have a go in your own time. So. That's attached now, the two loops are joined together. I'm going to take my nylon pliers because I don't want to mark anything and I'm just going to squash that loop flat now like I was describing before. And that's simply so that it will sit flat against your chest when it's been worn as a necklace. So that's the first stage completed, easy peasy. The diamond's in, the dangle is attached, the loops are flat at the back. So all we need to do now is connect it to the necklace. Now obviously you could just put it in the center of your chain if that's what you want to do but i decided it was because it had the two rings it was quite a nice way to shorten a long necklace and then have it sitting in between so to do that i need to find the midpoint of my necklace which for me is here and then put my clover part way up so that the chain hangs all the way around it and then i'm going to take a pair of pliers use two if you need to and these jump rings are open, so you can simply twist them open and attach them up one side of your chain. So just put it in a link and then close it up again, and that's secure. And then what we're going to try and do is the same distance up the other side of the chain so that this bit will then hang underneath. So I take my other jump ring Again, just with my pliers. You need so few tools for this project as well. It's super quick and easy. I think it looks a lot more complex than it is, which is always good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so again, open up my little jump ring, take the second side of my chain, wiggle it on, Oh, it's being naughty. <laughs> right, one more go. Very gentle coaxing. <laughs> there we go. TV as well. I know, you've got to, got to go with the process, haven't you? There, shut that little jump ring. Make sure everything is tight and secure. And basically, there you have it. So you've got your wow. diamondy necklace, uh, your diamondy clover in the middle. You've got your chain hangs down either side. You've got your matching dangle. You can put any beads on that you want. And it took, what, five minutes? Wow. Super quick. Such a high-end design. I love this colorway, this blue one. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow, and it was that simple. Do you know what? I don't think you need to have made a single piece of jewelry you to actually work with You don't need many tools. These. You don't need lots of fancy skills. There's no heat work involved. You don't even need to set the stones. You're just bending loops. Wow. And moving jump rings. 
And I guess, like you said earlier on, you could always glue it into place if you want to. So, yeah, the charm ring, because I wanted the stones on either side, mm. I don't know if we've got time to do yeah. the ring. Yeah, yeah, carry on. Um, so, because I've run out of flowers, can I borrow your flowers? You please? can borrow some flowers. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you the ones that we've already shown. Thank you. you. Yeah. So, because this is something I wanted to have a stone on both sides of, obviously, I needed to do something different with how I attach it to the stone. Um, so I have essentially snipped off most of the peg on yeah. both stones. I think we have the other pegs, if you want extra pegs to make this project, I think we have those available separately. Yeah, I think they're on the website. Um, and so you snip off almost all of the stud on the back of the diamond until you've got just a little nub and then you do the same with a second peg of whichever you choose those there and so you end up with two tiny little nubs that you can then push through the hole in your flower so um, you pop one in one side use some two-part epoxy to do it because mm. you want it to be super super strong and then pop the other one in the other side and if you can fill that gap in the middle between the two stones with the two-part epoxy it basically makes them into one piece and they hold through um, now, if you want to do it as a charm ring, you can do it with the two rings, but I wanted mine to be more movement. So I took off, I literally snipped off the tiny little ring that holds the jump ring on. And then just with a file and a nail buffer, smoothed that out so you couldn't see it had ever been there. And then the ring itself is super simple. So this is a piece of one mil wire. I've made a loop at one end and then I've wrapped it around my ring mandrel and when I've got it to the size I want I'm literally just pulling it around the loop I've made you might need some pliers if your fingers are a bit wonky like mine wrap it round and round and round and what you end up with is a sort of little I don't know like a little bird's nest or a little rose and you can tuck it round and round and round and when you get to the end you're just going to take your loose end and tuck it underneath so that it's hidden away and it's super simple this there's no soldering again no nothing that you need fancy equipment for so once you've put that on your mandrel just give it a tap all round just to strengthen it up work hard on it and make sure it is perfectly round because you've been yanking and pulling on it don't hit the loop bit obviously you pull that off and then all that's left to do once you've glued your pegs into your clover and left it to dry for 24 hours is to attach the remaining jump ring to that little loop you had on the top and you've got your charm ring gorgeous piece of cake amazing so effective i know i just love it and i like that they don't take loads and loads of time to make no. as well um okay shall we bring you the next project the blue agate, which you've just been oh, working with, which you were just saying my, is your favourite. It is my favourite. It's so pretty, isn't I'm gonna it? I'm going to wear this one for sure. Yeah. With the blue diamond. I like blue diamonds anyway. But yeah. So instead of a colourless diamond, you've got a fancy blue. There you go. Isn't it pretty? So, so pretty. Oh, that's a lovely teal my blue. Think Hope gorgeous. Diamond. It's like a teal colour. I might put this on the desk, actually, because then you can yes. really see the quality of the, of the diamond. And then, yeah, amazing fire, amazing brilliance. It's lovely. Here is, for the first time, I think. I think. I don't think I've seen this colourway before. I've not seen it in the blue agate. Have we got 50 of these as well? 50 of each kit. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's like so a little powder delicate. blue. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's very summery. Gorgeous. Shall I put it in? Yeah, pop it in. They look amazing together. Hang on. Oh, it's so oh, pretty. Come on, that is lovely. Isn't it's it? all those cool tones, isn't it? Yeah. They look lovely together with the silver. Not stopping here. 
absolutely my favourite one. Although yeah, I'm I really can see why. It's, it's very taken with the malachite as well. Yeah, well, at twenty four ninety nine, I have to say. Yeah, you don't have to just choose one, do no, you? No, you, yes, exactly. Especially when you compare it to what they would be elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you I'll know? have a bucket full. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big difference. Um, a beautiful, I, mean, I don't know if it's blue lace, but it's definitely giving me blue lace vibes. Yes, it's um, sort of Make feel. sure you check it out again, you can see Ah, oh, perfect. For the diamond alone, £25 is absolutely That's unbelievable, isn't it? fantastic price. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, jewellery makers. Um, all that sterling silver, all that beautiful beading work. Cheshire getting two, Kerry, Bernadette, Denise getting three, Janice getting three, Sheila, Suzanne, Jenny, Zoe. Hello to you. Another Suzanne getting four, Channel Isles. Pauline, Karen getting three, Linda, County Antrim. Well done. Um, I had 50, so they're all very exclusive. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Not many people are going to have the same. Nope. How lovely. I bet you when Van Cleef and Arpels make theirs, there's more than 50. Yeah, I bet there are. <laughs> bet you. Um, well done, everybody. I've still got one more project to bring you. <gasps> one more project, and that's in your lovely Carnelian, too. It's lush, this. this oh, is amazing. Sunshine See, colours. I reckon this is my favourite. Do you, you think? Know? Yeah, I the do like the Carnelian. One. It looks lovely with the gold. So. I pop the diamond in. <gasps> Oh, is that canary diamond? It's very pretty. Oh, look at that. It glows. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful carnelian. Amazing. And then you can see the lovely beading work all the way around. Graphics alive. Only got 50. We're running out of time as well. Reminds me of like vintage dresses with the big floral patterns on. Yes, I was thinking that, yeah. getting a bit of a sort of 70s yeah. vibe. Isn't it funny, just because it's carnelian? Yes, because like the others don't. Yeah, it must be the orange and the yellow. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. My mum and dad had orange, an orange dinner set. We had an orange bathroom suite. Oh, we had the avocado. <laughs> when I was growing up, it was like that proper avocado colour. They're worth a fortune now. Are they really? Yeah, people buy them. Do they? And tiles, which were basically like little apple trees. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it, they count the apple trees in the It really was the decade taste forgot. Oh, it? absolutely. <laughs> Heavy pattern carpet. Oh, yeah. £24.99. This, however, very classy. Um, £24.99 pence only, jewellery makers. Again, Amazing we only price. had 50 opportunities. Um, well done. You get the diamond. You haven't got to buy that separately. You haven't even got to set it yourself. It's all done. Gorgeous. Look at people multi-buying on these. Well, don't blame them. Well, look at that price. You can have iconic jewellery for... I don't think your diamonds are much smaller than that of Van Cleef and Arpels. They might even be the same. They're good quality as well because you can see them twinkle and twinkle in the yeah. light, which I think is always the key thing, isn't it? That's what you want from your diamond. Well, yeah, there's no point putting a diamond sparkle. in if it's not going to perform. No, you don't want a, no. a dull one. Well, round brilliant cut, 57 to 58 facets. You can yeah. see all that beautiful lots sparkle and lots of reflection. Um, Kerry, Cheshire, Ayrshire, Deborah, hello to you, Julie, Bernadette, Jeanette. I have got some additional pegs if you wanted to oh, do the double side. Lovely. So this is what I did the pearl with as well. If you've got little stud pegs like this, you can drill holes into pearls. Hmm and literally set them in and you've got a gem set pearl then that you can pop on any old you know a pig bale or the like i think i've got the right ones yeah they're little tiny ones like this. here we go little short so ones. you get three gems can you read out the gemstones yeah they're packs of three. Oh, okay they're all citrine right okay i see what you mean I see what you mean they're lovely. So which one did I put in the pearl then? The pinky one. Um, Under five pounds, end of the show. Wow. Which ones have you put in there? That's so they're brilliant. Like, yeah, they're pink. So they're um, pinky. They're pinky ones. Uh, four pounds and 99 pence. They just what are they? Jazz everything up. Possibly. Beautiful, yeah, and you can use these as well, as well with your with the, yeah, as you've just yes, shown you there. can pop them in the, the reverse side of your clover. Yeah. You can do all sorts with them. They're really handy to have around. Actually, I always keep some in. <laughs> or even you know, if you have a through drilled pearl, but you make a half drilled project with it, I tuck one in the end to fill the hole. <laughs> That's a top tip. That is yeah. well done, everybody. Um, we're running out of time. 
All the others are on the website, so you can have a little look. There's lots of different other gemstone pegs like this that you can use in your pearl projects or in your Alhambra projects as well. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. The graphics have disappeared. Oh, hey, is it that time already? When, when are you back, Carol? July now. Back in July? Yeah. Are you having a nice little bit of rest? I'm having, I'm having a couple of weeks off and then I'll be back. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I don't suppose you know um, I don't suppose you know what you've got in July yet. Not yet, Probably no, it's not, all not. a surprise. Remember, everything arrives quite last minute it here does. at Jewelry Maker. Um, coming up on tomorrow's show, you're going to be joined by the lovely Carol, um, who has wonderful Mark R. Oh. Um, so at 8 o'clock, you've got your shell letter beads, which are absolutely amazing, the initials. Nice. Uh, which we saw a little bit of, didn't we, on the um, Wall of Fame? Yes. Um, talking of my bathroom suite. Um, <laughs> no, way more beautiful. <laughs> 9 o'clock, um, Mark is bringing his favourite gemstone of the moment. That is your avocado, a lash and agate, uber rare jewellery maker. Oh, absolutely. Go. Nice. Exquisite. Ten o'clock. Then you've got your brand new head pins in different gauges. Ooh. Eleven o'clock. You've got Burmese spinel in a, a selection of choices and colours. And then at twelve o'clock, Mark's masterclass is all about bugle beads, which wow. we haven't seen in absolutely ages, have we? Loads to look forward it's to. It's been such fun. Thank I you. I know. We've had a lovely time, haven't we? We, Thank have, you. we always have a giggle, don't we? we? Do. Never take ourselves <laughs> too seriously. You have a wonderful afternoon, everybody, and I'll see you now on Wednesday morning. Do take care. Bye. Thank you.